Oh, Boy. let me go to our. Uh, let me go to Mahler's channel. Oh, is that what we're doing it? Um, I, I was doing probably. it on your channel, but fuck. <coughs> so yeah, that's we good. is yeah. our lives is. We the is prayers. our lives is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Good to know. Everything wrong with Avengers: Infinity War with Sin Sins. That is. That is it. Well, e fat blood for the e fat gods. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what that is. What are you saying that for? That has nothing to do with anything. Rags, what's, what's wrong with you? One watching now. It must be me. <laughs> no, it's Cunderthunt. Oh, there's two. Oh, okay. <laughs> hello, Cunderthunt. You're the first. Um. But yes. Hello. Who, because because Cunderthunt is the first person in the chat. He gets to make a special. Uh, he gets to make a, there's a special message. He gets to he he says a comment and will say it out loud on stream to the 21 people watching. Hello, all my n words. <laughs> oh, you, looks like you you've been given a great power, Cunderfunt. Don't don't squander. <laughs> Nate Riggers? That's true, that's true. Yo, it's like Show right your appreciation by with... sending a super chat. <laughs> Bitch, I am in the... I did that last time. I guys, spent $2 to say hi, Rags. Guys, we're, we're trying to... Con Guys, we're trying to convince the world that we aren't racist. Chat, you're not, you're not helping us right now. There's King Edward. Darth King Tito. Edward's always the... He's always a fun one. Mostly because I have to like get through his full name before I can even find what he said in the chat. Uh, King Edward Longshanks the first, Hammer of the Scots, Lord of Wales, King of England. Exactly. Which is an esteemed yeah, position to have, by the way. His name is almost as long as Daenerys Targaryen's like <laughs> list of titles. I love a uh, Davos in response to that. He just goes, "This is Jon. This Snow. is Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah, uh, King in the North." <laughs> <laughs> About the only line I liked in that whole season. There, uh, there's more than just that. That's good. It's just so much bad. Sure, so sure. There, I, I like, I liked the John and um, Beric Dondarrion talk. That I was like the only. That was the only good part of episode seven. The conversation oh, right. that Jamie and Olena have too. Oh yeah, that one was good. He's a viper. Yes. Hello. Uh, let's let's see. What have we got for? The fun little updates. We got um, 31 funny kittens. That's not. Oh, God, oh no. that's a good one. Stop Look it. at him. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. I should probably. Wait, yeah, I usually. Put oh, the... look at these kids. Uh, look at that. He's so cute. The kitten's doing a blep. Look at him. Oh, oh look at him. They're so. Oh, he tried to. Oh, that's violent. We don't... That's the hate speech. He's numbing. He's him. bathing. Oh, that's nudity. Don't click the so. <laughs> Oh, this is like this is encouraging <laughs> tribalism. This is violence. <laughs> this is WWE kittens. This is all just this is, fame, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a little black one. <laughs> you see? <laughs> what? What? Why would you? It's just the word "little." It gets to me. It is. There's nothing wrong with being little. There is something wrong with being a black cat. Though. All right, the EFAP cover is on now. No more, no more kittens. This one's got a see? name. You see, everyone, you asked us not to do The Last Jedi, so now we're reviewing kittens. Wait, we're reviewing kittens. kittens. Skip. No, go big. No, I, okay. think, I, think this, I think this show needs more Last Jedi-based episodes. Uh oh is this going to make it off-screen a bit? God damn it, it is off-screen a bit. <laughs> what the one-year anniversary of The Last Jedi. Um, <sighs> we're in someone said, of all time. Someone said that uh, those were alt-right kittens. They are, except for the little black one. Yeah, he's a BLM that. kitten. Right. Well, actually, nowadays, I mean, if if I can be if I can be alt right, and if Ian Miles Chong can be alt right, and if Sargon can be alt right, why don't you mention me as and, well? By the way, <laughs> I think he'll be yeah, alt right all the time. Any, everybody can be alt right, so being black is no excuse anymore. It's not a get out of jail free card anymore. I'm just going to say now, about I don't think I've things. ever been called alt right. Yet. Oh, you will. <laughs> oh, just, just you will. This, I'm pretty sure just appearing here is going to do it. Uh, I, I stay away from talking about politics most of the We're time. We're too egalitarian I, to I, not I, be called alt right. I, I don't think I have any controversial opinions, really. Oh, well, I used to no, think that I do, too. But, you know, There's no such thing as ones. not having that. It's 
possible. You thought you used to be pure. Oh no! I just your most controversial opinion. You are not that the Catwoman of film is okay. <laughs> yeah. Just wait until just just wait until Destiny invites you to a debate. Then Anybody. you'll be exposed. Um. Yeah. What may may as well considering you just we've just mentioned that. Uh, Rags, do you wanna do you wanna read? Oh fuck! Where's this going? Stupid start mm -hmm. menu. Hang on. Let me drag it across. <sighs> oh, this is the 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 gentleman from Reddit. <laughs> this is about <laughs> EFAP. The okay. gentleman. So this is how you know you've you've struck it big if some randy on Reddit talks about you. I don't go to the Reddit myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just I have a subreddit. Um <laughs> Cinema Sin Sins has a subreddit. I'm sure his is much more positive than the, the one this came from. After, yeah, he has the word sin twice in his name. It has to be. Two negatives right. make it positive. That's true. Yeah. To, be, to be fair, sins backwards is sniss. That is true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. That sounds so, evil. This comment from Reddit is as thus. <clears throat> it's like, let me get a beer. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I was just gonna say. By the way, apparently, there's there's some news that came out that um, TLJ's script was finished before TFA's script was. Yeah, I heard about that. What? How is that the thing <laughs> could happen? Well, I I don't uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's it's come from so. someone who worked with it and someone who's actually in favor of TLJ, but I don't know. How, that How can you be in favor of TLJ and think? Brain damage. Oh, yeah, this is this is fun. <laughs> that, that's true. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not serious. It's okay to like the Last Jedi. So no, it's not. You. It's... <laughs> um. But yeah, no. I, I thought it was the interesting. Says. The comment says. <laughs> They are three YouTubers who are known for making three to seven hour long streams attacking people who both enjoy and defend the Last Jedi movie. Triggered snowflakes? Hmm? For instance, I remember hearing that they made a six hour stream attacking a video that was responding to Rag's quite <laughs> terrible response to <laughs> I Hate Everything's video on how certain reactions i.e. the rampant negativity, towards the movie and actors were unwarranted, and the people who made them should be ashamed of themselves. Note that IHE's video was not aimed at attacking or criticizing people who hated the movie or had flaws, since he holds some of the same opinions. They and their followers are known for having an arrogant tendency to silence opposing views on the matter by claiming that they have addressed every possible argument against them and call them objectively wrong. Hence, the numerous comments saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, it, it follows logically. They will search every video and claim that a five to six hour long video series by Mahler, the one without the furry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only a matter of time, is the <laughs> only video one should watch about The Last Jedi and why they say it is bad. However, the biggest claim that they make is that all people who like the movie attach to the Star Wars brand and that they can't come to dislike it because of that. Irony. Politically, to lean heavily towards the alt right. <laughs> your your next sin sins. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like just by talking to people who have already been accused of being alt right, I will soon be but accused by everyone. someone. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> chat. Hey, chat. Make sure uh, post F if no. you think that sin sins is alt right. <laughs> Cinema sin sins. You have been called alt right. You just don't know it. Someone, I know now that someone it. is going to meme it, and now someone's going to read it, and someone's going to believe it. <laughs> don't worry, people don't really believe that we are. Like, five people, and... Yeah, no one ever has crazy things on the internet. <laughs> the whole chat's so, typing uh, F, so it's true, you are alright. That, that last sentence, though, Rags, just, uh, just get that one. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. If you've heard about the complaints that the actors had been harassed constantly, their views were heavily connected to that. What does that mean? <laughs> it means connected. that because we have negative opinions about the movie, that we are directly connected 
with the people who said terrible things to the actors and actresses, even though we explicitly state over and over that you should not attack the actors and actresses for the character that they are portraying. Because that would be retarded. It's ju I just... Yeah, like, the way they phrase this whole thing, it's it's like they're reporting it. It's like, this is what I've heard and seen. I'm completely objective here. This is just how it goes. You know, like, they're just objective. The, the, the bit about how we silence uh, opposing views, it's like, how could you ever come to that conclusion with what we do? I love that part, because we literally... we uh, like, I've been on once before. Um, you generally, generally will show the video you're talking about. You know, as, as a general rule. Well, that's where we fuck up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We, we just we, we, it that nobody would know. We silenced criticism so much that we brought on Sin Sins twice after, you know, destroying his video. How dare you, Wolf. Oh, yeah. Technically, I have been on uh, twice before. We still get right uh, on the same capacity. Oh, yes. He was more of a, a subject and then a... What's the opposite of subject? Uh... A, 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 you're an attacker now. You're, you're I did a, bring up Rhino Milk both times, though. You're so. a silencing attacker alt writer. That's what you are now. But yeah, we're like the um, Borg. That's fun, you know. You get a lot of these crazy things. Um, that is a very strange. I a part of me. I don't think this person has ever actually watched an episode of EFAP. Well, I mean, how can they? They're like five hours long. <laughs> <laughs> no one can well, watch this shit. <clears throat> That is fair enough. Um, what was that one? It happened on Twitter today. I think I sent Wolf and Rags it. Uh, let me see if I can find it, because it's quite funny. Uh, oh, the guy who called you alt-right because you don't like uh, Black Panther. Wait, give me, give me. Why? Is someone, did, someone had just liked it recently. I could find it. <laughs> Why don't you just go to the hard conversation where you posted it? There are so you many said, ways to find it faster. I was just hoping that it would have been All of a been sudden, my mouse... Is sensitivity going vertically <clears throat> is way faster than horizontally, and I have no idea why that happened. Well, how's that? What kind of mouse do you got? Fuck. It's a it's a Logitech G six hundred. I've never had this happen before, but it Ooh. just now happened. We got the same mouse. Well, yeah, it's fucking amazing. I know. But I have no idea why it's doing this. Um. So yeah, did this... you accidentally click one of the buttons on the on the left no, side? No, they're they're all bound to um regular uh, keyboard buttons. Hmm. That's interesting. That's very. It's very strange. Uh, so there's a conversation between people on Twitter about yeah, whether or not I am like uh, politically in line with the right, even though they start out talking about whether or not I like PLJ, so it's just weird, but uh, the conversation well, ends... It, it follows, Mahler. It makes complete sense, of course, but uh, this guy com completes the conversation with blocking me and the person he's talking to. One of the last things he says is, sure, and the fact that he hates movies with minority or female protagonists and like a, likes a movie whose main character is a sympathetic dude advocating for genocide for the Oof. greater good is totally not influenced by anything other than logic and facts. Praise Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> ah, yes, Ben Shapiro, who regularly advocates for genocide. So because I criticize TLJ and Black Panther, I hate any film with women or black people. Well, minorities, he said. Anything, any, any race that's a minority, I apparently What if I hate. told you that white minority. people are a minority? Yeah, actually, Thanos is the protagonist of Infinity War, and he's a minority. How many purple people yeah. are there in the universe, exactly? Yeah, how many Very purple friends do you have? <laughs> my, my friend is purple. <laughs> yeah, I'm not racist, my friend is purple. I once dated a purple. Someone in the chat said, the alt-right, sponsored by Logitech. Sponsored by Mueller and the EFAP crew. Um, yeah, there's a couple of people who sent me it, so I figure I'll, I'll, I'll mention it. There's a, there's a video, this, I think it's called something like Bad Media Criticism. And um, the reason it apparently came to me, among other things, was that Eric Taxon said, like, this, this, you couldn't talk about Mueller on this, because if you did, it would take you like an hour. Or whatever else, and I was just like, it's funny because I agreed with a lot of her points. Not like the entire thing, but the kind of thing that's, you know, undeniable, where she says like, when people get facts wrong, it's like, who's gonna disagree with that? Nobody likes it when someone gets facts wrong, but, um, we could totally watch that video on EFAB sometime, but, um, Eric moved on to Twitter and then was, was, has said that he's apparently working on a video about me specifically, and the topic up for discussion is how I avoid criticism. 
So he, he he knows we like do these like. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, considering he referenced EFAP in the Wolf video, he must know that this exists. So it's probably. But hey, he this. even said he doesn't watch them. Like like people can come on whenever they want. Like every person we've covered has been invited on. Like rags, if someone had a gun to every single person you ever cared about, and they said, "Make a good argument for how the people on EFAP avoid criticism," having watched all the episodes, what kind of argument would you make? Let me see. Because personally, I'd go for something like they try their best to uh, probably break up videos to the point where you can criticize each like sentence <clears throat> or something. Um, yeah, but that wouldn't be avoiding criticism. That would just be the way that we criticize. Well, no, this is what I mean. I don't think you can make a good argument, but what's the best you could come up with? Because that's obviously what he's going to do. Or try, I mean, because <laughs> he's like um, saying that we, if he just says we avoid criticism, that's not going to work. It's just funny how the guy who disables ratings on his videos is the one accusing you of avoiding <clears throat> criticism. Also, the guy who refuses to talk to me because I'm too toxic and then continues yeah, to make I, videos that relate to me. <laughs> it's like, cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I completely agree with the guy who commented about it a few episodes ago where he said the only reason he wants to talk to me is because I'm easier to anger, so he would just pull a destiny on me to try and make himself look better without making any actual good arguments. Well, this is the thing. Like, me and Rags, <clears throat> I don't see how he could possibly consider us... I don't even know how you consider us toxic. I don't know how you get to that point. I'm really a nice guy. <laughs> you have to tell I people really that because apparently it's just not true. That sounds exactly the kind of thing a bad guy would say. Yeah, you wouldn't That's have to true. tell people you're a That's good guy. That's true. That's how they get you. So, yeah. But we're, uh, we're, we're really nice people. I, um, I said... Any, you're welcome to come on, he's, Eric. He's just never going to do it. I imagine he'll address it in his video, but yeah, he said it's currently at 7,000 words and he's still going on it, so this might be a TRO situation where we have to have like eight hours of e-fapping on whatever this video comes out. <laughs> well, you've already done that two weeks in a row. So. Criticism, but like in your videos, you will even start off by saying, based off of what I have heard about the last episodes, I'm changing this, and I'm amending that, and I'm clarifying this. Yeah, that's how I avoid criticism. I don't, I really am, I mean, I'm super confused. That's not going to end well for him, I warrant but he is welcome to give it well, his like, best shot. Some people in my Discord rack and he's doing it to try and... Because uh, with Wolf's... The video he did on Wolf had a decent amount of views, and, I, and people are expecting it's more just to try and bank on criticism of me because it's it's something that apparently gets views, which is bizarre to fucking hear, because... <laughs> like, I'm just like, I was I fucking... I had, like, 2,000 subscribers a year ago. Like, what, now it's a good... Th it's a thing to get views to make videos on me? That doesn't make sense to me, but... I can tell you that it is. I, I have had, you know, a little bit of experience with that. Well... Whatever do you mean. <laughs> he... I just... But, like, is it worth it for him to do that? Or also getting all of the crap he's gonna get for it? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't need to deal with any of the crap. He already yeah. deletes criticism and hides the likes, so... That's true. Well, either and, way, and if if it gets dislikes, then it's just brigading by trolls or 4chan or whatever. So whatever he said, I don't know. Um, uh, I asked him oh. if he'll do a video on Rags as well, just you know, to complete the three, and uh, he said Rags isn't worth mentioning. Yeah, okay. So uh, get wow. It's weird though. You'd think I'd be the easiest to go after because pretty much all of my content is off the cuff because I don't script or anything. Not yeah, to no. mention, <laughs> people have gone after you before. Yeah. Me and Mahler haven't had a whole lot of people go after us. That's true. Um, Maybe they know it doesn't go well? well I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> he, He's afraid that you're going to do what well, you was, did to uh, Jared Genesis. He had a conversation on Twitter about like all the biggest problems with my videos, and one of them was that um, he says it takes me too long to make a point, that apparently I do have some good points, but I've got too much fluff in them, and it would be much better if I reduced my videos by like a third, I think he said. And I was just like, that's but a, that's not. That's a lot of content. I was, but I was just like, that's not even that bad. Like, is that worth making a video over? Like, your videos well, are just too... we've talked too... about this before. If people's big criticism of you is that your videos are too long, like, you're pretty much set. You're good to go. I mean, yeah, it's not the worst of criticisms, is it? It's like, well... Yeah, it's not like you're lying, or you're taking things out of context, or you're being dishonest, or you, you don't have enough understanding of the source material, or, or we can't understand you, or... 
things like that. If video's too long, hey, it's, it's pretty good. You know, pretty good. Yeah, I just, you know, it'll be interesting to have possibly Sinsins, possibly even TRO, whoever, when we eventually cover that video, to bring one of them on. Especially with Wolf 2, just because it's living proof that the whole doesn't listen to criticism thing just doesn't necessarily apply. I mean, it would be really awkward if there was a tweet out there that said, you know, in order to talk about your video on how we don't take criticism, you're welcome to join you are welcome to join us on a live stream to discuss it with us in person. Well, like that would be kind of awkward to have that exist as a thing out there, you know. <laughs> that I mean, you turn down. I'm curious if he knows about the TRO podcast, because that's us, you know, breaking down the criticism that was addressed to us, responding to it, and then having the person, the author respond back. Like, it doesn't get much more clear than that. But I was thinking, like, it goes both ways, too, because we've had, I mean, I know this is this is just me and Wolf's word, but we, t we spoke to Wyatt everything, we addressed all of his criticisms, and he fucking retracted... I dare say most of them. I can't remember what all of them were, but uh, um, and then on the other on the other end of the scale, there was a YouTuber with, I think, something like two thousand subscribers who made a video that addressed me and a couple of other people in terms of like toxic TLJ hate, and um, the section on me involved the whole like objectivity thing. It was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, all the standard stuff you've heard about me, and so I just put a comment saying like, here's the Discord link. I'll talk to you about it if you want, because he actually said he would in the video, and I did. And we had a conversation for about, I want to say, like, two hours, I think? That's a tweet he put out after it. I'll put it in the, um, in the chat as well. Nice, nice dude. And, um, I'll be interested to see what he puts out in future. You know, everybody, yeah, everybody does George. this stuff. But, um, the, <laughs> like, he liked my tweet about, uh, not being able to take criticism, apparently, from, from Eric Tax. And I'll just be like, there's too many people that this has happened with the, for him to make a strong argument, but, uh, you know, we'll just have to see what he says by the time he makes it. You know, it's like a lot of people are really, really, they're kind of invested in the idea that their only real tactic against us a lot of the times is just to try and convince people that we're something we're not. Um, well, it's because they don't have any valid criticisms of anything we do, so they have to rely on saying they're all right. I mean, it, yeah. If you guys were legitimately trying to criticize what we do, I think the biggest argument I would make is that uh, we'll miss stuff. Or we'll we'll make a point look something like something else because we take it too early. But if we find that's the case, we'll usually correct the record. So yeah, then moments later we catch it. And so my my conclusion would be they're not perfect. But then again, is there a show that does what we're doing that is perfect? Like it's pretty tough. To get everything perfect. I mean, we try and we try to have fun too, obviously. But uh. Yeah, well, Fun's you know. not allowed. Criticism is a serious business. This is a no fun zone. Oh yeah, so that's another thing I should probably mention. Um, we did say we wouldn't cover Cinema Sins uh, after the Predator one, but like I saw this one. He just gets so much wrong; it's insane. Um, but on top of that, it's the fact that I mean we've never been able to talk about Infinity War. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Always well, a bit of we fun. had that one video. Um. Oh, movies about, with Mikey, wasn't it? The thing yeah, is, the that one was about, like beating, beating your, uh, <coughs> like, like domestic violence and stuff. Well, it was, it was oh. his argument was the film justifies abuse as love. Yes, written by the it. same guy who wrote Aliens, Colonial Marines. So you know, <laughs> I still, I don't, <laughs> I have no Colonial idea what the storyline is for that game. Okay, Mahler, uh, chat. You say yes if you want me and Mahler to do a stream where the two of us play co-op Colonial. Why Marines. would they say no? <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. You could have I'll play it. Tell us to do it. All right, <laughs> we can. I can play the shitty game twice. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it. Um, Actually, how many people can play Colonial Marines at once? Maybe it is like four people. I. Don't oh know. my gosh, we could be like a trio. We could be a squad. And Sin Sins can be there, and we'll be like you can a play the alien squad. <laughs> yeah, let, let me see. Split. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Wow, it's got a six out of ten. On the that's that's way too Some high. Some people will clap at anything. Uh, B, I was gonna uh, say. Was I can't tell how many people with, can go on it. it. Might be four people though. Movies with Mikey was sort of addressing a concept, while this is like him pointing out plot and character errors or whatever. So much easier breakdown. And hey, <clears throat> we were actually gonna have Sin Sins on again at some point, and I figure this is much more suitable. You know, I try and 
execute the right content for the guest. It doesn't always work. The, the way I do it usually is just, are you okay with this? And then they're like, yes. And so that, that works out. But this just seems right, you know? And for those, there's a lot of people asking, like, you know, when when is X guest going to come on? And it's like, seriously, I am, I am trying to get all the people who've been requested on. It's just, it's tough to get the right videos. Because, um, you know, like, like, like Logic, for example, he was an awesome guest. It's just that he didn't have huge amounts to say on The Last Jedi, because he's not that invested in it um so we'd rather Imagine get that sorry no i know right so imagine someone <laughs> being not that invested in the last show well, he's, 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 he's got a cameo in my uh in my tfa series so you know he, he likes uh he, he likes star wars enough it's just yeah we we, we try and i don't know get it get it quite right but we, well, we're getting Apologia, there. he he's uh he's invested in star wars and we talked to him a little bit on logic stream Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it was depend. That, the, didn't, the, didn't go very well. Well, it. I think it got sorted out. It was that was a weird conversation because we didn't realize we were dealing with somebody who, because like he accused us he of being like prequels. rampantly hatredy of it, right? I guess he wasn't used to it. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine. We 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 oh, we fine. explained it. Um, yeah, Bobby's a good guy. Yeah, it kind of started off weird when we were all like, oh, The Last Jedi sucks, and then like 20 minutes later, I liked it. And he's like, yeah, I worked on the set of the prequels. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm, I'm, when I do my prequel videos, I'm totally going to talk to him. That'll be interesting. Um, oh, yeah, I like the prequels. They're terrible, but I love them. But yeah, by the way, because of how terrible our structure is, by the way, that that's, yeah, so our guest today is Sin Sin's. Hello. <laughs> I Hi. I have opened with that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Hello. Um, but uh, you might have noticed a fourth icon. <laughs> it's a beautiful. Yeah, the icon. only one who doesn't have a Christmas icon. How dare you? What do you mean yes, it's a Christmas icon? I'm wearing a. It, I'm wearing a it actually hat. doesn't show up for me either, but I see it on the. Uh, I was gonna say, it's on oh, screen. now I see it. Okay, I like it. So, I so you're like not, it. You're not perpetuating the war against Christmas. That's good. War against. Oh, it's a war, Wakandans. Rhino. It's a yeah, war for Christmas. Sean Hannity would be proud. <laughs> War for Does Christmas. that mean the rhinos were fighting for Christmas against Black Panther? <laughs> I can't I'm gonna Black go with Panther yes. It. I, oh, um, I, it's a war against Christmas by the Kwanzaanites. The last thing is a lot of people want us to check out Linkara doing a comic review on, I think it's TFA, and he has this like crazy rant against TLJ hatred. Yeah. Do, do you guys know Linkara at all? No. No. So he's from the Channel Awesome days. He's a comic book reviewer, and I think there's very few of them, or at least there certainly was few of them back, like, rewind, like, eight years. And so he's, he's, he's got relatively popular. He's got 9,000 subs, so he's... But, like, I saw it, and it's just... It was just embarrassing to watch, and I was like, we don't we don't need to cover it. We don't... None of us get mentioned. It's literally him just going, Stop talking about The Last Jedi! And it's like, oh, okay. No, it's bad. <laughs> um, but hell, maybe we could uh, check it out if if we don't get a full fap. I mean, efap out of this, you know, this video. Full fap. I don't know who, who said that. What? I, I, Speaking I of full fap, our subject video for today is Cinema Sins: Everything Wrong with Avengers: Infinity War, which hopefully some of you may or may not have seen. Um, I haven't. We have. I liked it. I haven't. But I may have given some people the wrong impression of my video, even though I had a line for it. I don't think it's a flawless film, and we will probably cover <laughs> the things that are that are uh, fucky in it. <laughs> lack of a better word, but uh... aliens, colonial marines is four player. We can do it, guys. <laughs> when would we do well, that? When would we plan I, for that? I don't know, Mahler. I'm going to gift you aliens, colonial marines on Twitter. I am. Twitter. Steam. <laughs> Play it through Twitter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I might have it. I can't remember. I pull up my Steam, but I don't want to do that right now because I don't know if it'll come on screen. Which is I hope. shall look and see how much it costs. I'm going. I don't oh, wait, want to I waste my do money it on it, but I will do it. Right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, Colonial. God damn it! Colon. It starts with colon. Colon eel. <gasps> it's only six bucks. I can get it for you. Wow. And then the th the three of us can suffer together. Well, no, it won't be sufferable. We'll I'll laugh at it. I'll, I'll, I'll oh wait, it. yeah, it's... I guess I don't have it. Well, it makes sense that I don't have it. Why would I buy oh, that game? You don't have it. It's fucking <laughs> awful. Well, I'll buy it for both of you, and we can all play it on stream together and laugh at how awful I'll, it is. Now I'll, that you, I'll, I'll buy it. It's fine. Would I we make it. that like an EFAP, like a special edition of EFAP? <laughs> Aliens, Colonial Marines Collection. We can call it EGAP. Every game a pause. That makes some sense. But that doesn't have FAP in it. <laughs> yeah, you can't take FAP out. What the fuck? Every, every, fuck, every, 
Damn. Sorry, someone in, games, someone in games still have frames in them. Well, this one fra has like stuttering frames all the time, so. <laughs> well, apparently Wait, you can. Every, every frame of stutter. There we go. Apparently you can fix it up by doing changing something in an any file, right? No, but... no, we we can. I was gonna well, say I don't want to do that. We should we have to play it in its yeah. original. Splendor. First off, that doesn't fix that terrible game. But second, we should not do that because it's too funny to look at all the horrible shit in that game. Russian someone, language. someone desperately wants to know why Jay sounds like Paul Bettany. Jay, do you wanna? I I don't do know that is. This that's that's vision. Flash. People in the chat oh, oh, right. said uh, every game a play. Yeah, there that's, we go. Honestly, as as for all of the people whose voices I get compared to, that's the one that I'm like, yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, a lot more often I get compared to H. Bomber guy and I'm like, <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I, I could hear a bit of it, but it's probably just because you guys are you know, from similar areas or something. What's interesting know. is that this $6 is is for everything. All the DLCs and the packs. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's $6 for everything. Okay, well, I'll definitely buy it for you guys. And we'll do it as like a cart. How we'll many do DLCs it as like a... does this game have? Well, let me tell you. Oh, no. More than it deserved. Nine. Nine. <laughs> State just interrupted. Movie map pack. Bug hunt DLC. Reconnaissance pack. Um, uh, sharp sticks. Sawed off double barrel shotgun. The collector's edition pack. And the limited edition pack. We gotta play it, guys. Mm, we gotta, we gotta give it. We, we can even do like the terrible DLC that people are like, this fixes the whole story, but it just makes the story even more retarded than it usually was. We'll, we'll figure something out because assuming the online still works, it's like a co op campaign thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we don't need to play the multiplayer. No one cares about well, that. Well, I was gonna but... say, do you know that it definitely is a co op campaign? Yes, I looked it up. Oh, okay, good. Uh, but, All yeah. of the DLCs are the same price as the full collection. Well, that seems they would desperate do it. Does this, does this come game. with the the game? Does this come with the actual game? <coughs> Someone suggested every frame a game, and you could call it EFAG. I don't know if <laughs> EFAG. <laughs> People be like, "Did you mean EFRAG?" And then we're like, "No, no, we didn't." <laughs> um, sounds like bearing. Jay does not have an Australian accent. How could you possibly? Yeah, um, and he doesn't steal art either. Oh, true, true. He hasn't gotten his channel nuked for that yet. I don't, I don't, this is this, uh, this is something I'm definitely not getting. He's, Bearing is a YouTuber who used a bear for a while, and then the people who own the picture of the bear, like, claimed don't, it, here, and got his look, channel nuked. The moral removed. of the story is don't sell merchandise with copyrighted material. Make it, just get a fan to draw you something, pay them, and then you're good. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't grab something off Google and then put it on a t-shirt, that's not a good plan. Don't do what Soldier Boy did. <laughs> you know about that. I agree to the terms of his team subscriber agreement. I don't know about that. Um, oh, Soldier Boy like bought a bunch of knockoff uh, Chinese consoles and started calling them like the Soldier Console or whatever, and started selling like illegal Nintendo ROMs on them. And Nintendo's like seeking to put him in jail. I like how so far I'm that character in, like, if this was a movie, I would be that character who doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> and the rest of us are, like, <laughs> giving you all the exposition. So the audience can tell. There's, there's a whole law book to read through Free Fab, let's be fair. Basically, you're Frodo, and the rest of us are Gandalf trying to tell you <laughs> like, how everything There's so much is. to explain, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still haven't seen those films, by the way. What? God. What's wrong with you? I told you to do it last time we talked. <laughs> oh, that, that sounded genuine. All right, we're going to need a new guest. Um, I literally just watched all three of them yesterday. Really? Really? Yeah. Well, I, I do it like seven <laughs> times a year. Seven times. They're my favorite movies. I watch them all the time. Pretty sure. Well, let's watch this. Let's watch this movie. Let's watch the Cinema Sins movie. Yeah, I was, was going to say, but do, do, I, do I read Super Chats as a thing before starting it or wait until we end it? We'll, we'll take a break. All right. You can catch up. I can go outside and pee. Just go outside and pee. Well, he's, yeah, he's a doggo. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking piss where I sleep. Yeah, Jay. that would be disgusting. So yeah, come on, dogs are better than that. Jeez, um, dogs at least care about their hygiene <clears throat> to some extent. Oh my god! All right, we will, we will read them um, at, a, at a break. I will, I will run through them. But until then, yes, uh, 
Is everybody quite ready? I was born <laughs> ready yes. and be naked. Beautiful. You know, I just I do think it's important to bring up for the people who are going to be in the comments inevitably saying it's all just for satire, satire and jokes. <laughs> if you look I at the comment say, section of this video, as um, a response to that, we don't care. As if you look in the comment section of this video, like. All of the top comments are people correcting him about stuff. So if this is satire, then Cinema Sins fans are not aware of that. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're satire, okay? So, yeah, we're satire. So fuck you. So if you criticize you us, criticize us. Now. We're gonna tell our tax in that and put all over his Twitter. Yeah, satire. It's satire. I'm pretending to be a person who would do this. So if you're annoyed at me, I'm nailing it. Yes. Apparently, <laughs> I'm playing a character. Mm. Someone in the chat said satire is implied. <laughs> yeah. Curiously, by the way, you know the whole. The, the the ding slam of the hammer noise thing. What did you? What was your thought process for coming up with the um, your reverse version of that, Jay? Exactly. What we, what we were gonna do? Because that's what a lot of people will just do the dings anyway. We when I when I have a you mean the ding I use on my channel. Yours is like a boom. So um, I went into my music software and I made a sound. Oh, I was, was I was curious if you would have considered like reversing the sound of the ding just for the hell of it. They do that in their own videos anyway to oh, um, to take sense off. I, I just wanted a uh, a distinct sound that was like similar enough that people would know what it was. You had a fart sound would have gotten you so many more views, dude. So occasionally, I do use like um, you know the scene in in Alien Three where the guy screams "fuck." Wait, Wait you, you mean that in the sound. cafeteria? In yeah. the cafeteria when the guy is like "fuck." Yeah, I use that sound bite. <laughs> That's <laughs> occasionally. Funny. And on videos that don't mind being demonetized. <laughs> it's like the best part of that whole movie. It's, it's the best part of that entire film, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, to, I, don't mean to I had to pause it because I was laughing too hard. Fuck. I don't mean to read a super chat ahead of time. It's just the guy said, uh, that reaction is why I always hesitate to tell people I've neither seen Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's like, it's people <laughs> okay. out there who are scared to How? <laughs> I know, I'm impressed. You know, I, I, see I, I know a guy from high school who had never seen Star Wars, and I was like, how do you live in the West and you've never seen the biggest movie ever? I guess... Like, literally ever. For us, though, like, between us four, probably, well, even me and Wolf, even just me, like, the amount of movies we've seen is is probably unrealistic for the average person by far. But... Well, yeah, Lord I just spent my whole entire yesterday watching Lord of the Rings, so... <laughs> well, you know, it's a good way to spend time. Yeah, woke up at 7 in the morning, got done at, like, 12 at night. Still frustrates me that he says the in 22 minutes or less thing. I just don't... I just don't know why. It bets this is 23 minutes. Yeah, but he's... It's gonna... It doesn't account for the intro and outro rags. Jesus. Oh, okay. Idiot. Yeah. Spoilers, by the way, guys. Thanos dies. I, I mean... Wait. <laughs> what? He doesn't, though. He doesn't. Even for giving the nine seconds a black screen, this logo There's takes a theory that he dies and then comes back to life immediately. Okay. I mean... Um, that, that was the thing I said in my comments. Wolf said in his original video on Infinity War that Thanos healed himself. Did you say via the Time Stone or did you just say in general? Well, um, I don't know if I said he healed himself. I think I just said that he used the Time Stone because it looked green to me when mm -hmm. he, like, vanished. So I was just like, all right, so we just used the time stone. Well, because uh, a friend of mine was like, you said that's not a thing that happened to me. And I was like, it's not, though. He said, look at the scene again. And if you look at it really slowly in HD, it looks like something's happening with his wound. Like it might be sealing up and there's a bit of green on it. Like yeah, implying... It looks like he's healing himself. Yeah, Maybe and I was Thanos like, is that something he can do? Blood. Yeah, I mean, I, I genuinely... Like, it wasn't me being disingenuous, I genuinely no, thought of course, I think it's funny, because from just seeing it in the cinema, I'm like, no, Wolf was wrong. And then I saw it in the Blu-ray, and I was like, wait, he might have been right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Seconds for one goddamn studio. Uh, I don't know about you guys, especially being as less invested in the MCU than me, probably, but, um, I enjoyed every fucking minute, of, every second of the intro because of the whole anniversary and this is the big finale sort of thing. Especially I like how you're uh... wrong, it's a sin. <laughs> I I liked the uh the different music rather than like the heroic uh yeah. kind of tune that it usually plays. Isn't it like, like the, oh, they play the distress signal over this, right? Yeah. They they have like Thor saying, We are refugees, please don't kill. 
I'm pretty sure it's, and again, not, not just to correct, but it's just an interesting detail, because I think I've said this on EFAT before, I can't remember, but um, the voice is Kenneth Branagh, who uh, directed Thor 1. Wait, is that um, the voice in the in the distress signal? Apparently, but I, I remember thought, checking. I always thought that was Thor. No, it's uh, it's the director from Thor One. You think all white people sound the same? Yeah, man. Yes. What the fuck? Yeah, not all I mean, Asgardians. It should have been. Uh, it should have been Taika Waititi doing the distress signal. Yes. Supposedly kills half of the people he encounters. So is this half of what was left of Asgard? Because it looks like a whole lot more. <laughs> um, um, it's half a ship, could... so. I can tell yeah. you as well, I counted those bodies when I was doing my video on it, and there were 16 people uh, on bed on the floor. I've That's half of Asgard. Correct me if I'm wrong, but at the end of uh, Thor 3, there's quite a lot of people in that throne room-ish look scene, if you remember, right? Like, they're all standing. Yeah, and... it's literally full, isn't it? Yeah, so... Well, this... Not literally. I mean, it's, it's, well, it's figuratively. Well, there's like a ceiling and everything, they're only so tall. It's like mostly full god, but uh... The, the floor is full. This is important. Of course. This is what one would call a nitpick, but I don't even know if we can call it that because I don't think it's accurate. Yeah, not an accurate nitpick. I'm also nitpick. wondering... <laughs> not if, accurate you with, nitpick. if you have a problem with nitpicks, then this is not the channel for, like, you. I'm, I'm fine with the idea that they're nitpicking. Just make it right, you know, be correct. You know the part that gets me is that you would have split the, the, the ship in half and somehow Korg and Valkyrie ended up on the other half. Like, you'd think... But, well, I mean, you know, I don't know how that happened, but it happened. The film's telling us it happened, and the oh, everyone got split. news. <laughs> oh, in part two. Okay. okay. Steam, Steam has finished downloading Aliens Colonial Marines. <laughs> okay. I have even better news. Someone in the chat said, Rhino Milk balances the universe. Purple retard. It's, it's true. <laughs> it's a purple retard. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Since Asgard lost so many at the hands of Kate Blanchett in Thor Part 3, does Thanos update what constitutes 50% population of a I don't think so. You know what? I'm glad the movie didn't go into this. I don't I don't think Thanos gives a shit really. I think you know if you told I'm... Thanos, um, let's just say there's a thousand people in the universe and five hundred will be killed by your actions, he's like, good. And then if they go, however, if you don't be very specific, five hundred and fifty will die. And he'd be like, That's fine too. <laughs> like I'll get over close it. enough. Yeah. You know, this this film is really missing a scene where Thanos sits down and then does some math. <laughs> He's like a calculator. Yeah, He's got like a calculator. He's like, <laughs> okay, okay. Million, I've killed 3. 20 6, people in this battle. Um, carry the four. Um, it's, it, he, he's in a coma, so he's not technically dead, so that's point five. He's about to, like, fuck up Thor, and then Thor's like, wait, a lot of us have died already. And he's like, oh shit, really? Like, how, how many? <laughs> He's like, how many? Exactly half. Like, <laughs> Points oh. in, how many? <laughs> what if there's an odd number of people on the ship? <laughs> I'm just picturing like a Thanos in like a business suit with big old glasses, just like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. he, he just sits down at his little desk and he's like, alright, gonna, gonna pull out my pocket calculator, guys. It's his like thumbs are like bigger little, than that. He prints out a little ticket and hands it to you. He's like, alright, I'm here. <laughs> you, I owe you 200 lives. And it's yeah. like, oh, Your sorry, next okay. 200 babies are on me. <laughs> um, I like that he's counted himself, though. I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but it says, or should we give him a pass since he couldn't possibly know the devastation Asgard just went through? Well, like, he could know that. No, he could, yeah, but um, yeah. even still. <laughs> it's like, I don't the think Tesseract. Or your brother's head. This two-hour and 30-minute incomplete movie where Thanos locates all the Infinity Stones is only necessary so that Thanos can snap half the universe's population to death. Just so he can be lazy. All this trouble he's going through to find Infinity Stones. He could have traveled planet to planet and did this job faster. Like six years ago, when we were introduced to him in the first Avengers. What? You, what? you think it would be faster to go to every individual fucking planet and have an individual war on every single planet in the universe? So... My my thing with this, right, because a lot of people, this, he's not the only person, a lot of people have said, like, number one, why didn't Thanos collect the stones any earlier? And number two, like, why did he take so long? Why didn't he do it himself? Oh, well, there's all these other things. But it's like, um, I think it's implied that he was trying to send out subordinates to get them first, and then Loki kind of failed him and Ronan betrayed him. So Wasn't that... there that, like, that uh, after credits scene, it was, like, one of the first times he was ever shown where he, like, grabbed some weapon and he was, he said it's something to the effect of, I like, it myself. That's Age of yeah. Ultron's it, it was, it was... stinger. He grabs the gauntlet, doesn't he? Yeah. I think. Which, I, I think it's implied that the first place he goes to is Xandar, and the reason he does is to get the Power Stone, which I assume, they haven't said <sighs> this, 
I assume he needs the power f power one first, otherwise he can't wield any of the other ones. Like the power one gives him the power to wield the rest, if you know what I mean. It'll just make him stronger in general anyway. So uh, it's probably a good one to go for first. And the second one he gets is the one that allows him to teleport. So it's like, this order seems seems worthy so far. And then he goes after the one that's the hardest to get. Um, but to do that, he has to bait in the Guardians, right? That's why he does that first. That's the whole plot line. And then his, his men have to go to Earth, because that's where two of the, the, well, the remaining ones are. Um, Timeline-wise, it makes enough sense. I don't, I'm not sure where exactly the contradictions would lie. Like, is the complaint that he wasn't fast enough, from what we know? It's like, people are saying, why didn't he do this sooner? Like, the same question is just like, why didn't anyone do anything sooner? It's like, this is this is just how long it took him. Like, if he was born sooner, maybe he would have done it sooner. Maybe if he had more time, he would have got to this quicker. And I might have like, had an issue with it. It takes people time to do things. If he had lost, I might have agreed with him, but he still wins. Like, what difference does it make? Maybe if he wasn't purple, he'd have <clears> got off his ass and done it faster, but, you know, you what know how thing? those purples work. The gauntlet had to be made. We don't know how long that took. Well, we know that he has it at the end of Age of Ultron. Yeah, but isn't that, timeline-wise, we would then assume he goes to Xandar, which means he has to travel there. You know, however long that takes, destroy the whole planet, take the stone, and then meet up with Thor. That would be his timeline. Probably enough time in there to say that's what happened, I don't know. It's like, is it three years? I feel like the thing that's going to take most time is him just doing his research first. <laughs> It'll be tough to find this out. Someone Listen, said, guys, it, there is an old Chinese proverb that says, measure twice, cut once. I don't know what that means, but I agree. Someone in the chat said, why didn't Thanos just fly the eagles to Endor? <laughs> <laughs> This trouble he's going through to find Infinity Stones. He could have traveled planet to planet and did this job faster, like six years ago I, when we were introduced to him in the you, first Avengers. I yeah, I don't think you understand how big the universe is. Yeah, I was about to say, we didn't even address his actual retarded point, in fairness. Um, <laughs> you, you can't just <laughs> jump across the universe instantly without the fucking space stone. That's what he does it with. But yeah. So yeah. And have the Tesseract. It was destroyed on Asgard. If Thor doesn't send Loki down into Odin's trophy room at the end of Thor the Third, does the Tesseract survive it and float around in space? And does Thanos' quest end when he realizes he can't possess the Space Stone? Does the snap only produce impotent sparks at that point? It's a hypothetical. What would happen if the movie was completely different? What, what would happen <laughs> if, if <laughs> something else <laughs> happened? I, some part of me thinks that the Space Stone would be fine in space. Yeah, I doubt yeah. it would be hurt. <laughs> Um, as for him finding it, they would probably have to make up a reason for why he could, but, uh, again... Well, they don't do that with any of the other stones. Well, this is the thing, I, I just assumed, why not go with... Because as writers, you know, the Russos do a lot of things that I, I appreciate, but... I figure it's an easy explanation to just say, if you possess one stone, you get a sense of where the other stones are, you know? So he just had to get one, and he knew where one was, and from there on, but they don't ever have any explanation for that, so... I would rather sin that. They'd be like, how the hell did did Thanos know exactly where all the stones were? But, um, you know, that's another that's another thing. This one is just, what would have happened if Loki didn't pick up the Tesseract? But that's not what happened. And I think I talked to Jay about this before, but, like, it, it's, it would be out of character for him not to have grabbed the Tesseract. Yeah, that was when we were watching the film uh, yeah. on, on call. Um, Someone in the chat said Thanos Ben and... <laughs> Guys, you, you know what to do. <laughs> Thanos Ben. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's see those Thanos Ben you photoshops. Want a, you want a Michael Cera Thanos? <laughs> yes. A purple Michael Cera head on Thanos' <laughs> big <ass> body. <laughs> hey, man, it, it would look better than that awful Quentin Thanos photoshop. That's true. Ugh. Can someone make that better as Can well? Can you imagine Quentin but physically fit? <laughs> Could you imagine Quentin without a unibrow? Um, That's I need to essential to his look. Quentin essential. Quentin essential. It's a genuine question, though. By the way, the the uh, the big dude and the telekinetic guy—they literally like teleport, or well, fly right to Doctor Strange, and they refer to him as Stone Keeper. It's like, how do you guys know? But it's almost the movie plays as if we should have known, and I I, I don't remember any detail that would have explained it. But hey. <laughs> Well, with the Time Stone, I feel like it doesn't really need an explanation because the Time Stone has been with Doctor Strange for a while now, and that's just something they could have researched. Like, you get Possibly. the impression they're prepared for a really long time for this, and if every stone was in, like, a constant place, 
then it would be fine for them to know where they were. The ones that I have, the ones that like it seems weird with, are the ones that are moving about, like the Mind Stone. The oh, Space Stone. It's weird that they know it's Wakanda. Well, yeah, I was about to say the Space Stone has been with the Asgardians for ages now, but it only recently nearly left Asgard, and I guess Thanos cut them off right as they were leaving that area. But also, I'd like to bring up the fact that there are no war rhinos in Wakanda, and that makes me very unhappy. They account for that in the dialogue. They're part of a tribe, and then they say that tribe's not interested because they're still recovering, or there's something like that. God. Yeah, I don't, look, I don't care why. I'm rhinos. just upset. They're in a <laughs> rhino milk shortage. Yeah, they're in rhino recovery. The, the rhinos are trapped recovery. in an impenetrable forest. <laughs> but I'm sending it anyway. We have a Hulk. Why does Hulk hold back during the battle while Thanos destroys the Asgardian ship until the end when Loki says we have a Hulk? What the fuck was he doing before then? I just imagine that he was out for the count from a previous fight or something. Unless he was banned. Like was... I'm not I feel, sure. I feel I, like I, this one is fair. It could be, yeah. Well, it's like the is, thing. If we I don't wait for an epic one. entrance. If we were asked to make a scene that's 10 seconds long to explain why this is the case, I would probably just argue that he went back into banner form before then, they get attacked, he's concerned, <sighs> and then there's just a scene where he's like, come on, oh, come on, and then he, he comes out, and that would actually inform the rest of the film better in a way. Yeah, well, and it's well, not like writing it's the movie for them. by anything, we just No, that's don't... what I'm saying, if I was, if I was tasked to write it, <laughs> that's oh, yeah. what I would do. Yeah, I probably would have started off with the very first thing we see is Thanos beating the shit out of Hulk, rather than have this little jump ambush that doesn't really make I mean, too I, much sense. It's there yeah, no, so yeah. that Loki can be the one to say we have a Hulk this yeah. time. But it's not like it contradicts anything in the film. It's just that we don't n see it. Yeah, why, why did it take so long to happen, film? But, but it's enough, yeah. like I said, there could have been a reason for it. There's no, it doesn't directly yeah. screw up. But I, I will give CinemaSins leeway for this one. All right, CinemaSins, high five, okay? <laughs> hey, like, oh, all right, you, you got one thing right. Let's see all the other things you're going to get wrong. Thanos destroys Hulk with only one stone in his glove. Later, with many stones in the glove, his punch will be held by super angry Captain America. After going toe-to-toe... -to -toe, um, he doesn't use the stone for either of these things. Like, uh, what I will say is, as far as I am aware, possessing the power stone makes you powerful, quote-unquote, you know? Oh. Like it, well, but I mean the count. As far as I'm concerned, he's countering the Hulk here. If you notice the way he fights, he's not just brawling. He's like dodge at the counter, dodge counter, dodge counter, and he and he throat punches him as well. Uh, with Cap, do you guys remember him struggling to defeat Cap? I'm pretty sure the scene. I, I wish he would have showed it. Um, is I thought he kicked Cap everyone's ass. Like Thanos is just surprised. He's like, this is a normal human guy. And he's desperately trying to stop me. And then he just beats him into the ground. He could have done it the whole when, fucking scene, but he's just staring at him. When he fights Cap, I have this scene like just memorized now because of the times I've had to bring it up. He doesn't use any of the stones. He like reaches out towards Cap with his gauntlet hand. Cap stops his hand, and then he's like, huh, this guy's pretty yeah, strong. Yeah. And then Thanos just punches him straight out of the fight. And that that's that's it. Completely done. Yeah, it doesn't Power level wise, and I'm confused by the point because Thanos beats everyone. Everyone. Is it just he didn't beat Cap fast enough? That's the problem. He, he literally beat Cap in like two seconds. I just thought it was always an epic moment because Cap is only a normal man pushed to his best limits, sort of thing, and he's the final line before he, he gets to his goal. That's really cool. He is the final. He's final Avenger. Evolution. Well, he's technically. He's pumped full of autism. <laughs> Why? He's reached <laughs> oh evolution. shit, the Predator reference. Fuck, I could totally miss that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, technically Scarlet Witch is the last one, but you know. The next part, though, the uh, he goes toe to toe with Iron Man on Titan for a while. He does. Iron Man does seem to put up a better fight against uh, Thanos than Hulk does, but yep. I feel like Brain's he's brawn. actually using like yeah, he's using tactics. <clears throat> Besides, technique. didn't Iron Man defeat Hulk? Uh, did he? When was that? <laughs> With a really, really, oh, yeah. really big Iron Man suit. Yeah, he did do it. Uh, True. Ultron, Ultron is like my least like memorized oh, MCU film, me, but, uh... except Dark World. But yeah, yeah. That that scene was also just hideous. I thought that the MCU was pretty clear about Hulk not being a smart fighter. Remember, he just throws himself at the enormous Satan creature. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> just like yeah, fuck it. Woo! <laughs> I love that scene, by the way. It's awesome. Go with Iron Man on Titan for a good bit. And the power distribution slash comparisons in the MCU have never felt more squirrely than All in this movie. That. I mean, they seem fine to me. I don't know. Also, where's Valkyrie? 
Valkyrie should at least shout out. Valkyrie should have at least been shouted out in this movie. Thank Odin, Valkyrie got half my people away to safety, is all Thor had to say later. Uh, isn't that implied? Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, I, mean, I, I can't say went, that word without it being memed now, but... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I went into this thinking, oh, <laughs> so are they all dead then? Because they never really do mention them. When, the when the scene with, opens and it shows half the ship, I was like, oh, that's a reference, isn't it? To the whole 50, 50 people die, 50 people don't sort of thing. The problem with um, Jeremy's suggestion of putting in a line later of Thor saying, thank God, Valkyrie got half of my people to safety, is that he literally doesn't see anyone else that knows who Valkyrie is. I mean, what, but how clunky would that have been? Yeah, I mean, you could, <laughs> you could put in a line to that effect if he was is... talking to, you know, if you're like, oh, did... Thanos destroyed my ship. Oh, were your people okay? Well, half of them were okay. Valkyrie, so you know, you could you could write dialogue that 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 communicates that. <clears throat> Maybe if you but, had Thor say something like you've you've killed my people, and then Thanos just says half. And then that was, or yeah. like it, or um, in that conversation with between uh, Thor and Rocket, he could have been said something to the effect of at least half my people are safe. But well, he, doesn't uh, he? Yeah, he does say that later, doesn't he? Does he? I'm pretty sure he does. Jay, use your powers. Does does, does Thor say I don't remember people that. are alive? Uh, I don't remember Rocky? him saying that. Oh, I mean, it wouldn't be fap without being pedantic, so Infinity War script. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what does he what what does something he does say in that scene, just so I can control F it? Um, um Dab through the heart? Rabbit. He says rabbit through the whole thing. I was gonna say that's that's <laughs> <useless>. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking through half the movie when we watched it. Stab through the heart is, is a line from, I think, the scene you're talking about. Wait, wait, look up sister, because he talks about um, his sister at that point. Uh, birthplace, hammer, dead brother, annoying, blah, 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 blah. Killed by Dark Elf, particular mid-mission. Oh, I think it's earlier than that. It might have been in the scene where he first wakes up. I can't remember. Someone in chat... There's a couple people in chat who said that, um... Thor says to Rocket, half my people are dead. Alright, let me search for that. Half my... Oh yeah, he says, um... The power stone, because he stole it last week when he decimated Zadar. He stole the space stone from me when he destroyed my ship and slaughtered half my people. That's what he says. Okay, so that's a really tiny... But Okay. Yeah, is, but that's what we were gunning for, right? Yeah. A little bit of exposition. Just mission who the f*** is this? What? It's a mission accomplished. That's true, yeah. Pedantry wins, folks. Pedantry achieved. This is why the streams are seven hours long. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> We've sat through 18 goddamn films, and if I'm remembering correctly, 75% of the MCU has been Thanos bitching about traffic on the freeway, and we haven't once been introduced to these powerful f***s that follow him around or why he needs them. F well, I mean... Was there a reason to? I mean, I, I guess I agree with him. It would have been cool to have had these guys pop up in the other movies in some way, shape, or form. No denying that. I don't think they needed Thanos, to be. They don't need to. It would have been, you know. Thanos was yeah, like three, I think four movies previous just scenes. Effective, but that's true. But yeah, I think I the the mistake because I, I can't remember if Red Light Media talk about this, but um, the lack of Thanos scenes was always implying that whoever ends up with Thanos has the freedom to do a lot instead of being locked down to whatever happens in those scenes. Or it was literally because they were just like, we have no idea what we're doing with this guy. So we just give him tiny scenes. But, um... Purple you know, big man. It's, it's almost like he uses uh, Loki and... What's his name? Uh, Ronan. Because they were, like, not the people he actually cares about. Because, I don't know about you guys, but it, it looks like he cared about these four more so than... I don't know. His, his The other people. It, it would have been nice if he showed up more in the first Guardians film rather than the most bland villain ever conceived in the history of film being Ronan. Yeah, Ronan is like the weakest part of Guardians 1 for me. Isn't he returning? I've heard, I've heard Oh he is, god, yes. why would he? He's gonna be in Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm assuming it's why? just gonna be a cameo? Oh my god, please what? don't. If they have an emotionless, boring protagonist, why not have we a villain a that Ronan reflects prequel. that? I want Ronan it to prequel. be good. <laughs> At least make the villain good. Don't stick us with Ronan. You just, you Mr. Just I'm like, bad because I'm bad. You just don't like blue people. No, I don't. Especially when I'm... they wear shitty eyeliner. Them, my children, and bring them to me on time. Like sure, put like Infinity that. Stone retrieval in the hands of your henchmen. That worked so well in the 39 other movies. Didn't you? Well, clearly you trust these guys more. That's what I was always they thought. Children of Thanos, right? 
Loki and Ronan weren't children of Thanos. As a side note, Rags, yes. do you? I, I pointed this out the last time we watched it, but do you look at that that female alien and just immediately get uh, Hellblade vibes every time her face shows up? Because every time so I see her, I do. I just so see much. that that blue mark over her face, and I'm just like Hellblade, Hellblade, Hellblade. Kind of. By the way, Hellblade was my 2017 game of the year. You should it's play. It's a very it. good game. Very good game. That's like your opinion. It is. <laughs> Excellent. I've literally never heard of this game. Hellblade, Sin and with Sacrifice. Yep. Pretty good game. The sequel Very to good. Colonial Marines. Oh, that it looks good, good for my PC to run. <laughs> it's actually oh, really well optimized. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Like, what, what graphics card do you got? I'll be honest, I couldn't tell you right now. I would have to check. You can fucking tell us. I don't, I don't know right now. What's it say on the side of it? I don't know. It's There's in my no computer. Rags. Wait, you don't? Did you buy it pre-built? I did not buy it pre-built, but um, so how did you? PC for me. It was a Christmas present. Oh, and he didn't give you like the the side that shows you all your parts and all their glory, where you can uh, like. I, I trusted him with it. He knows his shit. Well, that's your problem. You know what happens when you trust people? You get the Inquisition. That's true. So go to <laughs> the Inquisition. Um, go to system. Um. System. Uh, look Just at look the, up system specs. Isn't that something you can do? Something, I don't know. I've, I've never actually looked system because I've always in, known. System information. Look up I'm that. On, I'm on Windows and 10. It'll, it Me too. Yes. Yeah. You just right. type into the little search bar system information. And then I'm looking right at. It's right under your. No, not right under your processor. Um, fuck. Where is it actually? People are saying. Actually, GX no. Diag. This might be the wrong. But why? Why oh, yeah, is this happening now anyway? Who cares? Because we're pedantic. <laughs> it, it, this is important. This is important. Go to. I just go. I just. I put it in myself, so I just know what it is. I don't know. No. Wait. 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 Right. Right. Click on the home screen, and then go to display settings, and then from there you go to about, and. <laughs> Oh fuck! That doesn't show it either. Damn it! Here, look. When you when you right click on your desktop, does it have Nvidia Control Panel pop up? Um. No. Wait. No. Hang on. It this just... is what card do you have? <laughs> just right right click on your desktop. This is why the streams are seven hours long. This is true. <laughs> because you. Because. Because I don't know my way around my computer. So right click on your desktop, and it says like view, view sort by refresh all that. Does yes. it have Nvidia Control Panel? No. Oh, okay. Christ Almighty! Do you have AMD? I mean, I have an AMD processor, but do you have it? Okay, hold on. No, I will I'll find, find this stuff out. out. What GPU I have? Oh shit! I should probably do Windows. Yeah, 10. I don't actually know how well, to. Find it. If you like legit okay, looking okay, for it. I will find this stuff out for you, and I will let you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna click in the the box at the bottom left, and you're gonna type in "run" and enter. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Did you do that? Yeah. Okay. Did a little box pop up? It did. Okay. Now. Type in D X D I A G. Hit enter. Hang on, well, I've forgotten no, literally no, all of those letters. Just go to task manager. Oh, God. Go to DX. task manager. Just just go to task manager and then hit perf the performance tab, and it's right there. It's like this is like being uh, on the phone to tech support, but you're on the phone at once. Please, 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 task manager and then hit the oh, performance tab. And then you can see that. That's and racism. GPU. This is me. Your credit right. card information. Yes, we also accept payments of IP cards, <laughs> Walmart gift cards, and Target gift cards. <laughs> okay. Reality did, wins to my wheel. Did you go to DX Diag? No, just go to Task Manager and hit the Performance tab, and it's right there. Oh. Uh, okay. Hang on. This is right. Okay. Hey, well, have you got the performance? Up? What? Have you got the stream? Scroll up? down. It's GPU. I do. You see that? GPU. See yes. what? Just hit performance and it's it should be. <laughs> um, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. 
wasn't entirely what I was looking for. I was expecting Michael Sear, but hey, that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? What does it say? Uh, it says, <laughs> it. It says uh, AMD <laughs> Radeon. Yes. Uh, RX uh, Vega Eleven. RX Vega Eleven. I'm not familiar with. Uh... Okay, time uh, to Google search it. Right. Oh, what was it again? AMD. You should be able to run it fine. AMD Vega RX something. Eleven. Was, I've I've closed it. No. It was RX eight. eleven. Let's see. RX Vega eleven. Okay. What? We're gonna look it up. This is your GPU. Jesus, I've never even fucking heard of this. Why do you have AMD GPU? I don't know. I mean, I have a Ryzen seventeen hundred CPU, but I have a GTX ten eighty GPU. What the fuck are you doing with? When was this computer made? Uh, recently. It was last Christmas. Hmm. Last Christmas. Christmas. Ah, just I just buy Hellblade, that. put it on the low settings. Oh, is, is that the conclusion we've come to? Just buy Hellblade. Just <laughs> buy Hellblade. That just buy Hellblade, okay? Just buy Hellblade. Yeah, make sure you listen with headphones The man will not watch on. Lord of the Rings and you're expecting him to buy a game. Well, it's, he needs to be to fair. Be... You can beat Hellblade sooner than you can watch all three Lord you can of the actually movies. play hellblade three times before you finish all three lord of the rings movies no you I see that's, that's any game hyperbolic that but mine wasn't um uh, that wasn't hyperbolic though the you game only takes like Hellblade in two and a half hours what the lord of the rings is 12 hours that's what the fuck are you talking game? about 12 yes you can't beat Alien, you can't beat Hellblade three times. You, okay, you may, maybe it. two and a half. It's only like a five-hour game. Uh, uh, no, I mean, if you really rush through it, but do you want this man to rush through rushed it? Rush through it? <laughs> <What is laughs> dude, I, dude, I played it. I like played the whole thing in like five, maybe five or six hours. I don't remember exactly because I played five it like seven times. Five or six is an important distinction. Is it's only an hour or... difference. It takes yeah, me that long to beat Ori in the Blind Forest on Hulk. Comparing it to 12 hours, it's a big deal. Is this it's the kind of, the, is this the kind of game where you can get fully really distracted true. by side quests? Like, it is... there are, and there's no side quests. There, there are collectibles. Quests. Okay, oh, I so will, I will, beat I it in eight hours. You just suck at the game. No, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. That's why I played I it multiple it times. I enjoyed it. Three what do you hours mean you more? enjoyed it more? You fuck. I mean, I, I enjoyed it three hours more than you did. Well, I enjoyed it enough to replay it multiple times after that. No, nope, one's hours. for me. Once it. Well, you're a cunt. I'd well, rather play it once through, but a quality playthrough. Oh, than your quick, quality playthrough, dirty, huh? Worthless playthrough. That's like all the people who are like Halo 5's a game and interpret it that way and it's I, only like four fucking hours your, your mic's cutting out because whenever it hears bullshit it just turns <laughs> off oh so, uh, so that's what happened the last Sorry, time what? we streamed huh no I, I what yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, what happened the last time we streamed right you were just I, filled with bullshit at the end you, you keep cutting out what's that you fuck so I've been playing elevator music this whole time are we good to go um yeah Excellent. So, like, this is movie Infinity War. Oh, I like that movie. This is video. It's saying, got Michael Sarah in it. That's true. <laughs> this is one of them videos that says, "Hey, it's not as good as you think it is." All right. Oh. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna see about that. Once been okay. introduced to these powerful f**ks that follow him around, or why he needs them. He calls them his children. Much. That's your opinion. Okay. Hey, look, it's Hellblade in the corner over there. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Very Thanos when he said that. <laughs> that ain't Hellblade at all. Children, bring them to me on Titan. Sure, put Infinity Stone Retrieval in the hands of your henchmen. That worked so well in the 39 other movies. Didn't you literally grumble, fine, I'll do it myself? I mean, even if they stole the stone, which they probably can't wield, is something that is implied by the fucking old dude. Uh, pretty sure Thanos could take it off him with, you know, how he does that throughout the movie with everyone else, but... What is that better? Oh, in the 39 other movies. Didn't you literally grumble, fine, I'll do it myself? Oh no, Loki's gonna die, again. Like in Thor The Dark World, which definitely means he's probably not dead. And even if he is, I'm sending it anyway, because that Dark World scene did not get sent enough. I mean, he dies in Thor 1, too. He, he dies a lot. <laughs> he's like Sean Bean. And, yeah, I- No way, Sean Bean doesn't come back. 
Actually, yeah, he does in the next movie he's in. In a different movie. <laughs> he's the same character yeah, throughout oh, all of those movies. Loki doesn't come back in a different movie? Well, he did come back in Hitman, so I guess he had to transcend different, like, Wait, Loki media. Was in Hitman? But... man can do it. No, no, Sean Bean was in Hitman. The new one? Yeah. Oh. yeah. People, people got banned on Twitter because they were like, I'm going to kill Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I found out uh, Destiny got removed from Twitter because he made a joke about how he was going to bomb the offices of his ISP. That's what he said. <laughs> and, and got reported and removed from Twitter. I was like, wow. Don't make All jokes right, on Twitter, the, guys. This is the internet you created. Yeah. In previous movies, we were told Hulk and Banner have different memories. So how does Banner remember shit the Hulk alone No, Is that true? Yeah, what? they do have a... Uh, uh... Banner doesn't uh, recognize Valkyrie. Hmm. He's like, I feel like I know you, but he doesn't know who she is. Is there any other references to that, or is it just Ragnarok? I couldn't tell you. I'm trying to remember if there's if a we... scene where they kind of establish that Hulk's <coughs> memories and Banner's... Does... Well, it would, it would depend on what Banner was doing on the ship before we see him in the scene with Hulk. That's... Oh yeah, see, this is the thing. Ragnarok closes out with the Hulk form, what if he then turned into Banner and had a cup of tea, and then they got attacked, he saw Thanos and went, oh my goodness, and hit himself on something, fell over, and then when he finally woke up, Loki saw him and went, hey, do the thing. There you go. Continuity fixed. This is why you should write for movies, guys. Yeah, it's not that you can't fix it with making, without making continuity errors, we just don't know. Yeah, we, we there's, there's multiple reasons why Banner may have known that, but I suppose... Uh, Maybe if to to help correct it, you could have had him turn back into Banner before getting sent away. I don't know. That probably would have made Someone it said that they established that in the original Incredible Hulk, but in fairness, nobody <laughs> fucking remembers that movie. Even Marvel was like, let's never speak of this well, again. Genuinely, the only reason I want to see that movie again is to try and remember it, because I can't tell you anything other than... Liv it is Liv so Tyler's forgettable. Let's just walk, what, let's watch The Incredible Bulk. <laughs> <laughs> that film's amazing. Oh, Tony Stark, famous Avenger, is running around Central Park and nobody's bothering him. This guy is more famous than any president or celebrity in history. Tony Stark. I, I, I want to say I, I agree with that, especially <laughs> that that unfortunate pause frame. Yeah, I was I'm, say. I'm going to lay it on the down low for you here, Cinema Sins. Mm. So, I met Michio. Um, no, sorry, uh, George Takai. Mm, I met George Takai in person. Um, and he was walking, he left the hotel that I was working at and he walked down the street and he passed a fair number of people and nobody stopped him or anything. They just didn't either notice or they saw him and assumed he wasn't actually George Takai or they didn't recognize him. But wait a I mean, minute, this, what? this hotel thing was real. I thought that was just a joke for the last No, time. I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm deadly fucking serious. <laughs> oh, I thought that was part of the, like the fictional rags lore. No, like I've talked to I've talked to famous people. I shook his hand before I learned that he was a fucking cunt. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I was going to say a lot of people will notice a famous person and then decide to themselves, I'm not going to say anything, but that's so cool. And maybe try and get a picture. Um, but to be uh, surrounded in people like he's not Justin Bieber or whoever boy band people. If he was Justin Bieber, someone might have shot him. I mean, back when he was like a super famous teenage girls person, you know, like, I don't know how old he was when that was the... <sighs> like, I'm trying to think, who would be comparable to Tony Stark walking around in... Elon Musk. Yeah, see, a lot of people in my <laughs> town wouldn't even recognize him, I don't think. See, no, um, but he does bring up, like, the next one he brings up is the fact that Doctor Strange literally opens a portal in the park and still no one gives a shit. Okay, yeah, um, that would... Yeah. But they're not going to run to it. The, at most, they would just be surprised but and stare at it. People don't look up yeah, from their phones like Yeah, I would be observing us. from a distance. <laughs> well, in that case, yeah, that, that might just be bad uh, control. In fairness, the in, in the Marvel world, a portal <laughs> opening in a solitary park is about the least interesting thing that could possibly happen. I just, I'd be like, is it the apocalypse, guys? Is that why this... The, is it bad? I leave. <laughs> you gotta be out of here. So how does Banner remember shit the Hulk alone knows? Tony Stark, famous Avenger, is running around Central Park and nobody's bothering him. This guy is more famous. So, I guess he is. I was about to say like he wears the Iron Man suit, but I guess people 
see his face enough just because he's a celebrity anyway. Than any president or celebrity in history. Tony Stark. Do normal people see this sh While I know New Yorkers are up on their Avengers knowledge, I'm not quite so sure they've been informed about the Yeah, they should have had all the extras, like, stop for a second just staring, I suppose. But, um... That's minor, as far as most people would be concerned, right? I reckon they should have had one, like, all of the extras act completely normally, except one extra who takes out their phone and just, like, takes a quick picture and then carries yeah. on going. It's just like, for the realism. yeah, this is, this is normal in the, in the Marvel Universe. Who gives a shit? The Masters of the Mystic Arts. Big bangs and six elemental crystals hurtling across the Virgin Universe. If the universe is infinite, or at least close to it, then these stones were sent in directions that should have guaranteed... <laughs> close to infinite. <laughs> um, uh, um, the universe isn't infinite. Even if it it's was, just a it's a, just a little bit shy. If it was just two inches more, in it, <laughs> <laughs> just for the left, yeah, it'd be infinite. But yeah, not that's, quite. That's funny shit. Um, no one could ever combine them all, just based on sheer math. Also, yeah, no. why was why so, is six a sin? There this, has to be a number. Well, no, he said that if. If there were six and they were spread across the universe, there's no way they'd just be like miles away from each other. Oh, universe miles, <laughs> like light years away from each other. But um, <laughs> universe, <laughs> universe miles. <laughs> you can quote me on that. <laughs> um, but but where you know one of them, the tesseract. Where, where's that originally? It's it's in like a weird wall in Germany or something or Poland. Like it's in it's Captain America film that they find it right. That's the original tesseract location. I don't know where it was before then, but whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm not certain about, like, who made the Infinity Stones, or... What... Well, what he's commenting on is two of them are on Earth, one of them is, uh, on Vormir, whatever. The, the Reality Stone was with... Norway. It, it was the... People are, the people red... Chatter sign. Oh, right. So that's, that's Norway. The, the, the Reality Stone got put inside Natalie Portman after they opened up a weird portal. <laughs> I'm fucking, I don't remember the Dark World. Who does? <laughs> I wish I could put my stones in Natalie Portman. We can't say that. That's against the rules. I'm just gonna, just gonna say though, like the universe is what, like tens of billions years years old. Yeah, is like that, thirteen, is that billion, right? thirteen and a half like, billion years. The thing I was gonna say was where they find the stones aren't necessarily where the stones started. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's like there's like faster than light travel in the Marvel universe, I believe. I mean, of course, there's like the Bifrost and shit. So. These these stones are going to have been moved around by people like for basically since there have been people to move around the stones who knew what they were. So of course they're going to be like you know they're not going to be just in the places that they would have gone to as soon as they were made. Yeah, they've been found, collected, moved around, kept in locations. So hmm, the most yeah, powerful um, thing. And just, just going to ignore it. There's Fuck like it. A, a tree picture on where they find the tesseract in Norway, and someone's just said it's, it's assumed to be left there by the Asgardians, and it's like that would make sense because there is like a pattern or whatever so yes yeah, that's that's the point is that it's not just convenient it's not even convenient anyway thanos has to jump around all over the place to collect these things and technically all the movies been leading up to this so yeah they've ended up where they've ended up there's no real problem there why six two weeks and yeah, you yeah but, go but, vision the whole, but the whole ding for there being six is fucking stupid i don't even how is <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, like there has the to number, be a number of them if it was like it's a thousand satire. or one he would have been like yeah, that's right that's higher yeah, that's true. Our Based six on infinity cheer. stones. Ding, ha 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 Matt. ha ha. Because... Cinema sins makes videos. Ding. <laughs> Look, there's no pink stone. Ding. We go through all the colors. This... No, that's not So, true. why six? Two weeks ago, Vision turned off his transponder. He's offline. Okay, if he had a fucking transponder and knew it, he wouldn't have waited until two weeks ago to turn it off. So, this is some bullshit. Why? Yeah, why? If he had a transponder and knew it, he wouldn't have waited until two weeks ago to turn it off. I don't understand. I mean, he was on good terms with them until a while ago, well, so... Well, he, he turns it off so that he can secretly meet Scarlet Witch, right? So he would have turned it off just before going to meet her. That would be the idea. I just don't see why that's a problem. Maybe he was just like, ah, fuck it, nothing's happening. Well, the way Maybe he phrases like, this... I wouldn't have done this for whatever reason, yeah, the, or... The way he phrases this makes it sound like it would be an inherently... a thing that Vision would do. Like, he would not allow a transponder on. It's like, why wouldn't he? He's like the most team player out of all of them. Yeah, I mean, he was making sandwiches for him in Civil War. <laughs> I mean, for for Civil War, he wanted the pact. Yeah, he wanted he everybody signed. to stay together. So... Yeah, that's a weird... So, I don't understand that point. 
Yeah. We both here. Captain and I fell out hard. We're not on speaking terms. Really? What was that letter Cap sent you at the end of Civil War then? He specifically said, if you need me, I'll be there. And then Iron Man needed okay, him. Okay, this is coming from <laughs> Iron Man's perspective, where he didn't really like him at that point. Well, it, it, they've not made up since then. That's what the film's saying. They've not made up. And Iron Man has kept a hold of that phone in case he it's needs really him. Tony just said there that they're not on speaking terms, and yeah, they're not. If you need, if he needs him, he'll be there. That's not like that's not speaking to him. Really. Call me when you. Yeah. yeah. If you if you call desperately me, need maybe. me, the world is in danger. Call me. That's not. Hey, just just we'll have a chat whenever you know. Hey man, want to get burgers downtown? <laughs> <laughs> if you need me for burgers, I'll be there. <laughs> There's a sale at Penny's. Like, yeah. dude, I my credit card's maxed. Do you have do you have like twenty bucks for me? I only know this thanks to the um not movie Bob Bob Vids video on Cinema Sense. They're very two different content creators, and I feel sorry for Bob Vids that he gets mixed up in movie Bob. But um, he shows a clip that I hadn't seen before. You probably know about this, Jay. But um, Cinema Sense Jeremy he actually like had this little bit in a video about how stupid it is that um Captain America Civil War was trying to happen when you got Batman vs Superman happening. And he was like, you'll never be able to be more interesting than Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman will destroy you at the box office. And it's like, <laughs> like complete reverse. Oh, oh dear. Uh -oh. I, I haven't seen that clip. Oh, have you seen the Bob Vids video on CinemaSins? I have. Uh, I must have. It's like I right at the end. Actually. Remember that part? It's right at the end, I think. It's quite amusing. I could play it, but I mean, that'll just be another thing we could possibly do later. <laughs> All these dudes are superheroes, and they all sense something sinister is happening outside. But instead of instantly leaping into battle, they take several seconds to gape like children at the strange noise, like dickheads. So? And like, yeah, they take a few seconds to go, hang on, there's something going on. Like, they sense that something's wrong, they don't... Yeah, like, they, they hear they a noise, do? and they're like, what's that noise? You don't, don't sprint to every single noise. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, imagine that's if, like, noise. the floor creaked, and that Asian was just like, I got it! He Die, floor! Die, floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird complaint. Like, it's literally like windy, isn't it? They only go outside where they start seeing things that are quite big moving through the wind. They're like, oh shit, something's going on. Like, imagine Iron Man suits up and he like busts out of his house <laughs> and then it's just like Pepper was drying her hair with a hairdryer. It's like, oh, well, you know, uh, there is it's even better that be than. Captain, I heard a noise outside. I need you. Better be, better be too fast and, you know, one day, I mean, I, one, one day if I don't do this, I run the risk of standing around for a few seconds looking like a dick, so I have to do this. It's mm -hmm. important. The alien ship causes Peter's spidey sense to go off, and Homecoming didn't give us any indication spidey sense even existed. And now this movie is just thrusting an army like, well, almost like they forgot it was a thing in her own- He has it in Civil War. Does he have it in, um, in Homecoming at all? I think people um, there say is that there a is... very brief scene, as far as I'm aware, there is just a very brief scene where he dodges an attack without seeing it, and that's about it. Oh, well, yeah, the Civil War reference is awesome, because it's... He detects something that's being thrown at him before it's thrown at him. That's that's the scene. Cinema Sins obviously missed it. It's okay. We all, we all have these moments, you just have more of them. It's fine. Guys, can spiders actually do that? Hmm? Can spiders actually tell the future? Oh, no, no, spiders can't fucking tell the future. <laughs> I don't, I don't think. I, where I did you get like that maybe, from? Like <laughs> what a well, stupid if Spider Man question, can. <laughs> if Spider Man can, surely real spiders can. Okay, okay. Spider Man can't I'll, tell the future. That's I will not cut what he, you. Look, <laughs> can. look yeah, if can. spiders could do that, then she would have survived. All I'm saying is that spiders can probably You're tell the future. You're ironically asking if spiders can tell the future. telling spiders. No, no. All I'm saying is that, yeah, spiders can probably tell the future. Yeah, if it's in spite if spider-man can do it clearly spiders can do it as well well it does follow since when did spider-man yeah. tell the future he, he can tell when something's been thrown at him before he's been thrown no, it's, it's doing it being tell the thrown future, they would be indestructible isn't the logic that when you go to hit a spider it like goes <laughs> and it's just like how did it do that so fast it's because they have spider -sense. i think that's flies that do that that's your opinion flies on that's really. every I just have fucking really bug ever time. Yeah, that's Spiders why I have so much people. trouble killing all the goddamn gnats in my house. You know what, flies have very Tell little like. mass, so they could take off like a shot, and they have very fast reflexes. Uh, people say it's spider also, milk. Also, they fly. It's in the name. Spider milk! <laughs> spider milk. <laughs> <laughs> people posted spiders oh. and, like, oracle <laughs> things. <laughs> Spiders and time. <laughs> Look, 
just imagine Saruman is a spider and Gandalf's like, we can't use the Palantir. We, they aren't all accounted for. Just, just... Saruman shows up. He's a giant fucking spider on top of a they tower. Had Shelob, though, that would just be that would just be iterative. Well, point. yeah, well, Shelob, clearly she would have killed Frodo if she could use the She couldn't fucking know. tell the future. She just oh, wait, spoilers. Sorry, Jay, you'll you'll see the film eventually. Time spiders. Uh, I was um I was I was zoned out for just a second there, so I missed that spoiler. I was you were just putting collecting the fucking the emotes with you. <laughs> yes. How many fucking like how is it that these people just have all these goddamn emotes? <laughs> Rhino, <laughs> like, I, ghost, butterfly, milk, spider. Like, <laughs> like I didn't know there were these many emotes on YouTube. Ghost, spider milk. Ghost, spider milk, to the Rhino uh, egg. Right on. <laughs> spiders <laughs> tell I still can't get over the idea. Like, if science tried to study spiders and their ability to see the future. Like, guys, we seriously need to fucking concentrate on stuff on this. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> <All the honors? laughs> Almost like they forgot it was a thing and are only now implementing it. I need you to cause a distraction. Holy <laughs> We're all gonna die! Ned, you are a treasure. I, I approve of him approving of that. I love that bit in the cinema. Okay, yeah. Like an amazing reaction. Maybe none of the classmates on the bus see Peter do this, but plenty of other drivers and passengers on this bridge do. What the fuck are they going to do about it? Just that, gonna is, say, that is my first question. Might, what the fuck could they say, do? Some of them might have been distracted by the giant fucking spaceship hovering over the city. That's another that, fair point. No, but there's a boy on that bus. <laughs> Well, so let's picture Rags. You're on your way to work for some reason. Okay. You work in a building to go on your computer. You have to you have okay. to travel there, and you're like, da, 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 and you go, oh wow, that's that Spider Man. Oh wow, guy. that's that that Spider Man guy. I, I mean, what's more face. shocking, a giant? I mean, what's more shocking, Spider Man jumping out of a bus or a giant flying donut over New York? I mean, what you um, to tr the most benefit of the doubt, Rags then pulls the bus over or follows it to the thing, and then goes. Who on this bus is not accounted for, and who was at the beginning of the ride? And then they go, uh, Peter Parker, and then you go, <laughs> I know who Spider-Man Very Spider interesting! Is. And, and Rags could be the next Spider-Man villain, because he knows who Peter Parker is. Dun dun dun. But yeah, I don't see why that matters even a little bit. I'd be the, the dash green cam. goblin. Wait, so about dash cams as well? This wouldn't Maybe. blow what, what, his what cover. What would it matter? <laughs> This Half is the thing. of them die anyway. We can't even, that's actually another really good point. <laughs> Nobody would care because everyone is dust. ...and government surveillance, this transition was definitely seen and captured on film and Peter's cover is blown forever. Why would it blow his cover? You can't see his face. Yeah. You can tell he's... Like I said, the best you can do is know that he's from that school. That's about it. What's the matter with you kids? You've never seen a spaceship before? Yeah, sure. They've seen a spaceship, and it usually means bad things. I've seen a tornado before. That doesn't mean that when it happens, I'm going to sit on the bus reading you Madame Bovary. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to... Wait. He's complaining that... That guy's complaining? I just, I just want to say that um, my guess, based on the fact that he sends the Stan Lee cameo, my guess is that he made this video before Stan Lee died, and then just kept... Like sat on it until the well, uh, end game trailer dropped to release it. Does he have any kind of like rest in peace, Stanley, in this video at all? No. Yeah, that does make it sound like he didn't account for that. Bring me this. And it's really weird to send that as well because it's obviously a joke. Like this is a fucking Stanley cameo. But I suppose for Stanley. <laughs> it's the fucking. This is a good satire. I can't make fun of it as a joke. It's like yeah, it's an old dude who said you have never seen a spaceship before because. It's probably referencing the fact that he's seen all kinds of crazy shit across all of these Marvel movies. If we have you heard the theory that it's the same guy, throw all the cameos. Yes. I, like, like, I, I like, like that a, theory. <laughs> he's like a super powerful being or something, is the one I've heard. Yeah, he's the Count Saint Germain. Read a book, people. Stone. Dude, a minute ago you were making metal fly with a flick of your wrist. Why do you even need he the might futuristic not, space but axe it will dude to increase his chances of success? What? Yeah, why not? What if he just send... doesn't give enough of a shit? Why not send enormous Hulk man to go and do the job for you? Why not? <laughs> I mean, look, has Squidward ever been like a model work? Besides, besides, he does do it himself in a moment. Once big man takes the other big man away, like it's what a strange comment. Do this for you. I did a good. Bruce's Hulk transformation what? troubles become an impotence metaphor. And does that mean when he's successful, it's like he's a huge green boner? And what does that say about his character? That he can only become erect when he's angry? This is the most embarrassing mark. 
What? Anyone got a comment for that? I don't. Um, it's just uh, yeah, I'm, I don't I'm even know what to say about that. It's like, clearly, okay, a, it's clearly a joke. It's like, like this isn't really so. Like, ha ha, erectile dysfunction. But he's like, hey, ah. he's angry. He's also listen. Forty percent of men over the age of fifty struggle with erectile dysfunction. It's totally normal, and it's nothing to be ashamed about. You shouldn't joke about it. Thank you, Rex. <laughs> Garoppolo's been since in the cut. I realize that nanobots are legit real-world science to a degree, but Tony Suit is okay. applying it in ways that make it utterly unbelievable. <laughs> This is a movie about a purple man okay. who kills half right. of the universe by dissolving them one, by snapping his fingers. That's like, believable, all right? The part, th 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 this is the problem, cinema sins. You're targeting that as the unbelievable part with all this other shit. There's literally a magic portal on screen right now that leads to a giant yeah, like but... crocodile man. <laughs> but here's the thing, it's believable when it's magic. All right. Well, you're saying it's not believable because Tony's just a human and all this technology it's is. It's not believable if it's technology, but if it's magic, you see, as long as it doesn't have any explanatory power and it's literally magic, it's believable. This well, movie, this, these, uh, this franchise uh, combines like magic and science, doesn't it? But uh, in the first Thor, he says uh, your your ancestors called it uh, magic, but you call it science. Well. Uh, I was just gonna say the only Iron Man suit that I think is believable, and obviously I'm I'm a layman, is the first suit he builds. That one actually looks legitimately like it would work. The other ones seem a bit science fiction, like they're extremely compact, considering the amount of weaponry that are in them and the amount of functionality they have. Yeah, there does get a point where even I'm like, oh, okay. and this is before the nanobots thing. The nanobots thing is still like OP as fuck, but I mean, his his technology got into the realm of magic well before. Uh, remember Iron Man 3, the fucking suit that, like, flies individually and can travel across the world to attach itself to him and attaches itself yes. to other people at will? Like, come on, you believe that? I don't believe that. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah, on the subject of Hulk's boner, think of how big that dick is. That was an important comment that we needed, <laughs> right? <laughs> Nobody judges. The it. universe. Hey, hey, I mean, man. only Thor knows about it. Oh, and this is an actual problem I have with the film. Uh... He's, he's highlighting here. They show us that the wizard people can literally chop arms off, and uh, then the the big bad of the film has a gauntlet that's destroying. It. It's like, can you can you can you chop his arm off? To be fair, they are only able to do that because he puts his arm through the portal. Yeah, but when they when they put him in stasis, Thanos, Doctor Strange could open a portal. They could you know slot him through just by his arm, but then poof, cut it off. No? It's plausible. This is the thing. Like, I don't think this film's perfect, but I, I would like it if I was writing it. I don't know how I would answer that. I'd be like, uh, it doesn't work because he has a power stone. I mean, okay. What if he just opened the portal beneath him and then closed it really quick so that it just chopped off his legs? Oof. But then you don't got. He still has the gauntlet on. What if he can change reality and get himself new legs? You know. Mm, that should have happened in the film. Yeah. Likes off the legs. And besides, he uh, may have spoken to a spider oracle before then to know that that was going to happen. Thinking about it, <laughs> Doctor Strange. Is, <laughs> Doctor Strange is essentially a spider in this film. I mean, he does to have that little twitching moment, so mm. erect when he's angry. This is the most embarrassing Mark Ruffalo's been since in the cut. I realize that nanobots are legit real-world science. I just do, do you want to bring up as well that this is a world where alien technology crashed on Earth. Well, like what about Wakanda? That shit. Yeah, is, Wakanda. They have balls yeah. that can fix your spine if it's snapped it off. <laughs> yeah, they know how to do that somehow because of a metal. That's that makes sense. <laughs> it's like, okay, they have a sure. really strong metal, which means that they're super smart. Because people reasons. Look, people posted the spider, then the clocks, and then Earth after it. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree, but Tony Suit is applying it in ways that make it utterly unbelievable. Here's some shit we definitely won't use later when it could sway the fate of the universe. I mean, there are much more important and dangerous hands that this can be used for to cut off in this film. Yeah, I agree. Unlock 17A. Yeah. Thank God, Stark had pre-designed and oh, no. built and voice program for deployment oh, a no. space-worthy Iron Spider-Man suit in the, I'm guessing, a few months since Spider-Man Homecoming? If we take this point for it actually being accurate, is it unrealistic that he could have made a Spider-Man suit in a few months? No. I, I, I can believe that. Didn't believe he mass-produce Iron Man suits for himself in the third this Iron the, Man movie? If he has the measurements of Peter, then that's it. He, he, surely he would be able to... But that's not really relevant because this suit was built and, and available in Spider-Man Homecoming and, and Jerry forgot. 
How did you get Peter's measurements? Because <clears throat> Peter is really surprised when he sees the first suit. Um, I don't know. I'm an... Tony's a smart this man. Is, this is the real plot hole. Well, it's <laughs> possible that it's a one Tony size fits all, but it him. like shrinks down to his. Do we want well, to know look, how Tony he... measured him? <laughs> Do we want to know he, that? He more than likely consulted a spider, and the spider was <laughs> like, "Oh yeah, he, he's like five foot eleven. Consulted like people can. If ever a spider crawls into you, you're like, "Oh shit!" He goes to his backyard and he looks for a spider. He's like, "Look, a spider to me." He's like a really <laughs> big, <laughs> stressed. Like I'm thinking of a cartoon, like a big stressed face with a spider right next to it. You're like, "How do I die?" <laughs> the spider's like, you don't want you to know. You truly wish to know, Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> he just me. goes up to, he goes up to Pepper, and he's like, "Listen, if you see a spider, don't kill it. I need to talk to it." Yeah, at this point, I could totally imagine T Tony just having measurements requirements, and he just puts it in a machine, and it makes it for him because of how much so. everything's automated at this point. But uh... he literally has nanobots that can build different weapons for him when he needs them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a bit of a bit of a flub there, but you know, it, this is the first mistake he's made. Friday, send him home. Yep. Um, why oh, didn't the suit just on, fly is, him back to wherever is, Tony wanted no, to go? I'm going to mention the fact that it was um, like, the fact that he gets the time since homecoming completely wrong, and the fact that it was literally in homecoming as well. Oh, well, we didn't mention that, did we? Did you mention that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit. We yeah, got yeah. sidetracked with spiders. The spiders are distracting, it's it's only fair. Um, now that we've established they can tell the future, it's very distracting. But yeah, they should have so, seen this coming. So he's, his problem here is the why didn't he make it so it flies him back instead of using the, uh, the parachute? If you're telling me that the suit doesn't fly, then why doesn't it? If the suit does fly, then there's no need for the parachute set. Why doesn't the suit fly? I don't think... I don't think Spider-Man needed flight when he made it that made that suit because of the whole web slinging thing. But um, you know what? I I don't even necessarily have a problem with that. My question extends past that to why doesn't Iron Man just make everybody a suit at this point, outside of just himself and Peter? Oh God. But um, yeah, the suit does not fly. That is that is that is true. Send off, especially if you've got Friday controlling it. <laughs> Somehow after that massive battle that ended in that one park, Banner retraced his steps and found Tony's phone in the rubble. Like a needle in a haystack called and thinks you're making this too difficult. Isn't this just where they originally started the fight? This was the, yeah, I thought this is where they were. It looks kind of like it. And it would make sense if Wong was here because he got knocked out here. Well then again he went back to the- yeah, I don't know, like, that doesn't seem too far-fetched to me. Yeah. <laughs> They were, like, flying through the city, though. Well, I mean, at one point. I will agree it's a convenience, I guess. Yeah, it's I'll, I'll agree it's a convenience. Well, this is 100% definitely not a reaction to CinemaSins complaining about text place names and movies being used when they're unnecessary. This <clears> is 100% definitely not a reaction to CinemaSins complaining about text place names and movies being used when... Does anyone know what that means? I think... No, I got nothing. Uh, all I have to say is that this was obviously a joke. The, uh, I mean, the fact that they called space space. Yeah, that does seem like a that does seem like a joke to me. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we know this is. And it assists the tone as well because we were about to jump into the guardians. That's probably what they were going for. Yep. I don't I don't know what he's saying. Citizens here. complaining about text place names and movies being used when they are unnecessary. Of all the retro references to make, Groot is playing Defender. What a fucking infuriating video game. Why is he even good. playing ancient Earth games anyway? Aren't there modern alien games to download? Uh, why do they have ancient Earth music on board? Oh, because Quill is from Earth, and he likes all the shit from Earth. He probably played Defender, because it's like from the 80s or whatever. When was Quill, when did Quill leave Earth? Was it 90s? I think it was the 80s. Let's have a look. When did Defender release? Wait, that's not what I'm looking for. Defender Arcade. I imagine they probably did try and find a game that matches. 1981. And Peter... Will left Earth. I mean, has Cinema Sins ever wondered how difficult is it to keep a tree entertained? Oh, and Peter Quill was ab abducted in 1980. Well, oh, <laughs> they were wow. one year out apparently. <laughs> but uh, well, it doesn't even matter because Quill's listening to music that was beyond when he was in because he got like updates and stuff. But um, yeah, I imagine it's Peter Quill is the reason that Groot has that. From the nebula? That Thor is convenient and illogical, but I do love Fig Newtons. After that, he what? 
convenient Wait, and illogical when they were responding to his distress signal. What's what's the Fig Newtons bit? Why would he? What what does Fig Newtons have anything to do with? Well, if... it's clearly a joke. That Thor. What, what's satire. the joke though? Satire. That Thor is convenient and illogical. And illogical. I, I would agree it's inconvenient that he slammed the fucking hood of the ship, but the reason they're here is the distress signal, which is fine with me. <clears throat> and so then the big news. This just whatever. saves time. It's not like a plot contrivance or anything, because this doesn't need to happen for the plot. I, I would. Or it's convenient, right? Well, this part does because Thor gets them to go to nowhere. Yeah, but would they? You think they would still find Thor, Thor if they didn't have like him just slamming? Oh into this? yeah, no, they would eventually have found Thor anyway. They would, they could have just done the whole scan for life signals, and it's like there's only one. It's oh, Polly someone, someone said it's a Ricky Bobby reference. What's that? You don't know what you've never seen Talladega Nights. And oh, Kenny, 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 Kenny. I saw it when it came out, but I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I saw it a long time ago, but I if there's a reference to it, I I don't know it. I mean, I I haven't seen it in a while myself, but okay. it's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Moving, I on. like it. And illogical, but I do love Fig Newtons. After that encounter with a sudden new alien being, Groot is still playing handheld video games. There comes a point when a parent's got a parent, and clearly no one aboard He's the a tree. Uh, do you want to say, um, like, an encounter with a new kind of alien being for the Guardians has just got to be, like, a normal day? day. Yeah, the, why would Groot care? I don't know why he would. It's like, oh, they're doing what they literally, like, normally do. I should look up from my game for this. Isn't the whole point is that they get annoyed at him for not paying attention in this film? Yes. They, they, that's a recurring joke, so, yeah, okay. This ship ever did that. So Groot and I love how he has the arrow, by the way. Like, if you guys did realize I was talking about Groot holding the game. Oh, wait, when he talks about Groot, you like, on screen, he's referring to the on-screen character Groot? No, he's referring to Drax, the big purple guy. Oh, he that's confusing. fucked up the arrow. That's confusing. ...ends up like that affluenza kid in Texas, and everyone around him acts like, Oh, snap, he's such a bad seed, why didn't anyone do anything? He's anxious, angry, he feels tremendous loss and guilt. So basically every single American, then? Or even every human? Aren't we all anxious, no. angry, and feeling lost these days? Do you guys feel tremendous loss every day? Yes. No. <laughs> I feel it every time, like, I finish my bag of Doritos. <laughs> don't, it's like, think well, of, don't think of the Doritos that you've lost, because really, you've gained them. <laughs> every time I look at my notifications on Twitter, I do get these feelings. <laughs> don't be sorry that the Doritos are gone. Be happy that you ate them. It's like mm -hmm. some guy who's like, I'm, I'm alright. And then Cinema Sins is like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, God, now I, now I want to go to the party store and get some Doritos. <laughs> you probably should. I know I shouldn't, but... Whitakers and Species. Who the hell are you guys? That's an awfully rude way to greet people you don't know. I once woke up in this room and this dude tried to do all this gnarly shit to me with these strange tools and I was like, who the hell are you? And he said, I'm your fucking dentist, asshole. Dr. James Packer DDS was tough, but fair. Thanos Ah. Yeah, what can you say, you know? He's like, yeah, that was that. Okay, that was a attempt to- I don't understand why you skip over a lot of sins here, James. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I just noticed your fucking icon. <laughs> you, you put the hat- oh, the hat does make sense, actually. It's the Christmas, it's Christmas! <laughs> no, I mean, like, it looked like he'd put it on its face, but then I was like, oh no, spiders have big asses, in which they tell time. The future time. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the like their time glands are kept. Mm -hmm. They basically time, shit out time. time. <laughs> shit time. <laughs> you know that if spiders didn't exist, time wouldn't wouldn't pass. The so that's spiders... why God made tarantulas. Thanks, before, Jesus. Before spiders, there was no time. I mean, technically, there was a point where there was no time, but. So is there like a passage in the Holy Bible where it's like, on the first day, God created light, and on the second, He made spiders? That's actually well, no, what it says word for word. Spiders first. Yeah, it'd be first wolf. What the fuck? Light, yeah. Well, you have he to need have time for look, existence. He, he can't make spiders if he can't see them. You have well, to make he time have first. To. He did have to make you time can't, first. You can't make light before you make time because existence is temporal. So, are you saying <laughs> that the reason that spiders look so fucked up is because God couldn't see what he was making? Yes. Probably. Okay, that makes sense then. Retrieves another stone, he'll be too powerful to stop. He already is. How exactly did they expect to stop Thanos, who doesn't even need <laughs> Infinity Stones? Someone said a holy powerful, Bibble but... Baggins. 
already has two of them. Plus, Thanos needs Gamora to get the Soul Stone. Keeping Gamora away from Thanos is strategy 101, but because there's no time, they hastily conjure up some no-ass plan. Uh, I would imagine a big reason for why just trying to get a Gamora to safety is never gonna work is because the more Thanos collects the stones, the more powers he gets. And it'll just be a matter of time before he finds it, as opposed to them being able to prevent him from getting an additional stone that they could then use against him. That's actually what Quill says, I think. Especially since, didn't they say Thanos sent Gamora to find out where the time, uh, not the time stone, the soul stone was. Uh, so if Thanos knew where to send her, surely if he can't find her, he can just go himself. Yeah, I don't think it's the end of the world if, if Gamora had even died here. Like, just she just shot herself in the head. I think Thanos would probably have backup plans. Yeah. I just, <clears> possibly, if, I don't if know. If there was a way for her to find out the information, then there was a way for Thanos to find out the information that well, isn't her. Wasn't it a map? the way that she this found the, out. That's actually, she said she found a map and she read it, right? And then she burned it or something? The map to Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Well, I was always just like, why did she just straight up burn it instead of looking at it first? I think that's what she Possible says in the recording, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh... What was the other point you made? Thanos needs Gamora! How exactly did they expect to stop Thanos, who doesn't even need Infinity Stones to be powerful? So yeah, I'm, I believe Quill's plan was to get the Reality Stone and use it to destroy Thanos. Which, by the way, if they'd gotten there in time to do that, that might actually have worked. Because the reality stone seems pretty OP. I don't know about yep. you guys. It's pretty good. Yeah. Or to get the soul stone. Into bubbles. I mean, they almost stopped. They were really close to stopping Thanos when he had um... all of them, nearly. <laughs> for three or four? I think it was four. Yeah. Uh, keeping so... Gamora away from Thanos is strategy 101, but because there's no time, they hastily conjure up some no ass plan. I think it was a decent plan for the amount of time they had. It's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> also, he says no one... time in quotation What's your marks. Plan, but, like, how they don't have any time. <laughs> no, they don't are supposedly on the run and hiding out from, I guess, the government, but this apartment or hotel room is large as f This looks like a honeymoon, not a couple on the lam. What? But I think Vision probably they has a money. decent amount of money, yeah. yeah they, if they no have one knows money. where you are, you're hiding. Like, if no one knows where you are and that's why you're there, it doesn't matter how nice the room around you is, if no one knows you're there, I, you're and hidden. For all we know, this is one room and one bathroom and that's it? Like, Probably. I would say that that is what I would assume from looking at it. Yeah, that, was a weird, that was a weird comment too. He makes a lot of weird comments. I think it's just because he has to make comments, right? He just has yeah, to find like... something. Poor okay. guy. Hey. Romancing the stone! Also, they went from kind of maybe flirty to kissy face hotel buddies and deeply in love. Entirely off screen? I think it would have been better if we had more time with them. Yes. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's Look, not this unbelievable is the... though. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I love this. <laughs> MCU. I refuse to believe anything is an accident, and I'm losing sleep trying to unravel the meaning of we will deep fry your kebab. Is it a promise? A threat? A guarantee? A cipher key? The sign is taking up way more screen space than Wanda's face. It ha- I just, like, the, the second I saw this, I was, I, like, yeah, Jeremy's not been to Scotland, he doesn't understand what it's like. Like... They deep fry a lot there. That's a thing that happens. If I can go to my local chippy and get, like, anything on them any deep fried, I, like, if I want. Do you think just... that the deep fried kebabs are the reason why they're so stupid that they'll throw um what's his fuck in jail? Oh, Dankula? Jokes? Yeah. They they've deep fried. Oh, those fucking deep fried kebabs. <laughs> they just deep fried their fucking brains as well. I mean, I just the fact that he says it takes up way more space than her face. Is he talking about the sign itself versus the size of her face? Actually, yeah, the sign is about like I would roughly, say it looks like it's roughly the size, same size as her face. <laughs> it's such Let's a strange comment. It's, but yeah, uh, it doesn't. It's 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 gonna be one of those things where they they have that uh, secrets videos for films where they're like everything explained, and then this is the thumbnail. It would help explain. It would just be another explanation as to did they have a um like a like text that showed their location before the scene to establish that they were in Scotland. Oh, I think they do yes. have the, the text for Scotland, yeah. Okay. But it's it's clearly, for all we know, that sign is actually there in real life. Well, it was for the scene. What it I'm saying is, like, it wasn't placed is. there for a reason. It was just, that's a part of the set, the, well, the way they were filming, so who cares? It almost certainly is. Yeah. Do you think, actually, what if this was advertising to get America to deep fry <laughs> their kebabs? No, it's a it's a hidden message about killing minorities. Gotcha. I don't. I don't quite see it, but the kebab so, part. I think. Wait, wait, wait. Deep fry the Jews? You mean? 
No. Clearly says kebab. And that was the, see, that's the first of this stream, I think, Jay. You said we said it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Totally... yeah. We got seven minutes I think that's before the stream started. That's true. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it only took us two hours so... to make a Jew joke. How the f*** did that alien assassin sneak up on an android because without being Because he's an assassin, you dip. It, I love that he actually referred to him as an alien assassin. That's <laughs> How did this alien assassin do something sneaky? How did Ezio do anything you know in the Assassin's Creed game? If Vision had gone, wait, and turns and grabs this, the thing before it attacks him, he could have paused this and said, how the fuck didn't the alien assassin manage to sneak up on this robot? You'll be like, Bing. oh, it's yeah. ding either way, Maybe. whatever. Maybe. Sensed. The blade. It stopped me from facing. That's literally the only explanation this movie's gonna give for why the two most powerful Avengers end up needing help from some punchy fools okay. like Black Widow. Um, that that's apparently how it works. The film doesn't give us anything else. It, it but that's not necessarily something you can complain about. I, I, at most, I guess you can call it an inconvenience. But uh, the the weapon that the enemies have happened to make it so that Vision can't use the power that makes him extremely OP. But um, someone said it's about deep frying your family, Carrie Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> also, surely. Uh, Vision has had the, mo the Mind Stone for a really long time now, and the first <laughs> thing they, they know that he has got it, because they've done their research clearly, so they, they will have brought weapons that are prepared to deal with him. Right? <laughs> oh, no! That, it, there is the, the comment that uh, they know more than the... They know more than we'd assume than nothing. They know more than nothing. Also, I'm, uh, Rags has given us <laughs> an excellent comparison to be able to see if CinemaSins was indeed right, and... Uh, um. Looks I'm, like sorry, I'm, sorry, who, I'm sorry, who did that? <laughs> oh, sorry, Jay. <laughs> sorry, Rags is usually what it snaps things. That's my bad. I didn't mean to say. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, that's definitive proof that CinemaSins, I guess he's right. We do it have to concede this point. He's about the same size as a face. Mm -hmm. But he said way bigger, and I suppose you can say that's, that's bigger, so he's on point. Why the two most powerful Avengers end up needing help from some punchy fools like Black Widow and no longer Captain America. Wanda is hand to handing this henchman. She's a magic witch that fool. She's not hand to handing you. She's uh, using a telekinesis to prevent attacks over and over again. Do you notice how they don't connect? Because she's just repelling. America. Wanda is hand to handing this henchman. She's a yeah, magic witch touch. that fooled all the minds of the Avengers with false visions of awful futures and at once. She what? blasts her away and then she blasts her away with her shit. Why does she have to throw think... her mind powers at people? I do think he makes like a decent point when he's bringing up the fact that she like mind controlled people before. I would, I would also, I would say though that I, I would imagine that if you were doing this, you would, your attention would be occupied. I was about to say, she, she could only mind control people when she gets the jump on them. She's never done it, um, while, be, like, in the middle of combat. Like, um, if, you're, if you're just throwing blows at her that she has to block, or else it'll potentially kill her, she probably doesn't have the presence of mind to be thinking about mind controlling. She's probably frantically trying to block the attacks that are coming at her face. And yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't follow that point. And then the whole throw her mind power thing, I don't, I, I don't, is he asking why she doesn't pick someone up and throw them instead of throwing a thing at them that throws them across the room? Is that his question? But I, always no, I think that's... it's that he's making, like, I think it's that he, she's making hand motions to use her mind powers. Hasn't she always done that? Isn't that how it worked she, in Age of Ultron? She has, but I can, I can understand why you'd be like, she's got mind well, powers, there's... why does she need to wave her hands about? Well, but it's probably she, no, because it's... it helps her concentrate. <laughs> she's not Jean Grey, it's not the same thing. She doesn't, that's never how they've portrayed it, that she can just... She, like, she, um, I, mean, I, I would say the reason is probably that it's a visual medium and we want more visual well, cues what makes, for what's going on, but... <clears throat> it makes it much more interesting in terms of, like, certainly visually, but she always seems to have, like, it's like waves of power. She, like, blasts them out. Um, as for, like, picking up things, she'll always wrap them in the red crap, you know? It's not like she picks them up, she's picking them up via lifting everything around them, if you know what I mean. Like and of course, your mind is, your mind is part of your body. Like it, it's all physical. Yeah, I, it's kind of hard to explain. I'd need to like show visuals, but um, for example, when she like lifts the guy in Civil War, she's she, sparkle bending. <laughs> she doesn't just, she, she doesn't just lift him. She's like wrapped him in the red stuff and then throws the red stuff up. He's inside the red stuff at that point. Did you, did, am I making sense? Yes. I, I got you. There, you know, there's um. 
there there's actually a book series uh aragon and the first Ooh. books are Yes. The first few books are. I hear the film is good, amazing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the exact opposite of that. Oh, yeah. well, I, I heard it was better than Black Panther. That's like uh, no. That's like your opinion. Oh, actually, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's up. They're, they're both. They're both pretty fucking awful. We can watch Aragon again. It's been ages, but the the books are actually. Let's let's good. let's ab let's absolutely not watch that movie. And I'll, I'll just no, I'll just will. stick with the books. We will. We will. Now that you've seen Lord of the Rings, Wolf is we can like, see yeah, Aragon. let's play which Colonial Marines, but we can't. Okay, watch well, that anyway. movie. okay, we we can we can laugh at Colonial Marines. There's no laughing at Aragon. Yes, just there like, is. What? I no, watched it... Death Note. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? Because I walked into it and I it was early in the the night morning and I was busy doing nothing. <laughs> early in the night morning. <laughs> early in the night morning. Picture rise. That's like, the name of my band. Early in the night morning. Tried to explain this to an angry wolf. <laughs> I need you to understand that Aragon is a thing I brought up for a reason, and the reason is that uh, the way that magic, where I li I like the way that magic is like explained and designed in Aragon. It's very difficult to use, and it's very dangerous because you, like, think of things in, like, this ancient magic language, but if you fuck up the words in your head, then, like, then it does what the words actually are that you think of. They don't do what you, like, want want to happen. So you, a lot of the, so when you're learning magic, you speak the words aloud so that you don't accidentally think of something different than what you really want to have happen, you know? Yeah, I think it's in like the third book. Aragon meets like this bumblefuck out in the middle of nowhere who just uses magic without saying anything, and he's like, "Holy shit, why the fuck did you do that?" Yeah, like early on, like when when you're learning magic, it's very important that you say it out loud and you use very specific words as to what you want to do. So it, it helps you to focus what you really want to have happen. So it's very, very possible that she's using these hand motions to direct the power that she wants to do something specific. Rags, I love you even more now that I know that I am not the only person that has read those books. I read Aragon. Well, it's unfair because me and Jay can't read, so that's a bit. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit bookist. Well, well, that's why I'm like biased towards Rags. Rags. I thought it was because I was I was Rags. handsome and fluffy. <laughs> It's a bonus. In With false visions of awful futures. Oh, oh, let's let's go back a bit. Don't want to cut cinema sins out of context. Magic no, witch that, that fooled no, all the minds of the Avengers with false visions of awful futures at once. Why did you didn't do that at once? She had to do them one at a hey, time. Hey, look, it's Hellblade. A that's, little bit. A little bit. She have to throw her mind powers at people. I do like. Uh, there's something about that delivery that I find funny. Why does she have to throw her mind powers at people? It's funny, but it's just... <laughs> she just, like, rips her brain out of her <laughs> skull and, like, chucks it at someone. But, um, yeah, in context, no, it doesn't make sense, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Why did Cap need to make a dramatic entrance into this scene? And why on the other side of the tracks? Why isn't he helping already? I find it funnier to point out that this... Uh, Hellblade decides to immediately skewer this random person who's standing there. It's like it could just be some old guy like her. <laughs> she's, now, like, fucking she, die. She, she's trying. She's trying to kill half the universe. She probably doesn't care. I would care about an old man. Old man, a, a very <laughs> an old man, <laughs> um, like Gary Oldman. It's Gary Oldman. But uh... <laughs> why does she hate Gary Oldman? Yeah, like, why does Cap need to make a dramatic entrance into this scene? First of all, you could ask that about every single entrance for every single character. Does any character ever enter, enter like, on a segue or something? <laughs> really boringly. No, Jeff Bridges does in Iron Man. He's, he writes a segue. Oh, shit, yeah. But that's not a villain entrance at, at that point. He's not quite the villain yet. You know. Gotta... I, I wish he kept that segue, like, even in the final fight. Well, that's true. Cap is old. Someone, someone just mentioned that. Little Potato. That's that's true. Cap Cap is an old man, so I'm not even <laughs> wrong on that. But, um... Yeah. God, now I just have, like, Reznov quotes going through my head because <laughs> you mentioned Gary Oldman. <laughs> he did way more than just that. Get your head out well, of the Well, that's what I... Casual. Well, that's all I know of him. Um... Bruce Banner showed up on a moped in Avengers. Oh my god, you're right! That was like the hilarious, terrible entrance where he's just like, <laughs> it's like oh wait, what? Do you remember in Avengers, Bruce Banner turns up to the war in New York on a moped? He's just like, hey guys, and then he turns into the Hulk like immediately after. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, beats walking. True, but uh, yeah, you know, 
Is he asking him why he wasn't helped? Yeah, why isn't he helping already? I don't know. Cap, Cap arrived there, stood still, preparing to catch a spear. You, you're right. And why not? That's right. Side he was in the Dark Knight. I forgot. Rax. Why isn't he like helping Gary? already? That's the most normal role Gary Oldman's ever played. He's like a straight up normal family man, police officer person. So he's played yeah, so I guess many I, weird fucking roles. I just like love his like obnoxious Russian accent whenever he's like screaming in Black Ops. Yes. And in the time it took both Scarlet Witch and Proxima to figure out who it was, either of them could have potentially won the fight while the other was distracted. Mm, I think it was a fair bet for um, Maybe. Cap to have assumed that they'd be distracted by uh, the fact that he was there. I don't know. But, um, I doubt either of them would have won the fight ever, because Scarlet Witch can just keep pushing everyone away from her. It's a pretty tough person to beat. You know, in fact, if I was going to surprise attack, I probably would have done it to both of them. Instead of just the one, you know. I guess they do surprise attack here as well. Oh. Audience applause break! <laughs> guns. Oh yeah, this is this weird shit with Falcon's guns. They like appear out of his wrists or some shit. You slow it down to like Civil War looks what he's saying, though. I feel like he's just saying that guns should be redundant in these fights. Oh, he's saying like, what's the point in even having guns? Yeah, well, like, in fairness, what's them? the po what's the point of even having Falcon? Because really, <laughs> well, hang on, they stab one of these guys, don't they? They're, so bullets would work theoretically, and bullets do work on the creepy things that attack Wakanda. So they should have the Black Panther spears. You should have Wakanda bullets that, when you attack it with somebody, it's like a nuke inside hey, their body. Hey, listen, black those. I would much rather have a Stargate spear. That's your opinion. These henchmen failed to get the stone they were sent after, and they peace out to save their own skin. And I'm pretty sure even they know that Thanos values the stones Maybe. over his henchmen. I don't even think that's true. I don't, yeah, I don't know. The film, everybody really liked the line where Thanos says, I take it the Maw is dead. Because everyone's like, oh, he cares about whether Squidward died. He actually asks, it's like, <laughs> Thanos actually kind of cares, okay. Because he says the day extracted a heavy toll. So yeah, uh, no, I think if they told Thanos that we nearly died, we had to exit, I doubt he would be like, well, I have to kill you now, because you didn't die getting the stone. That doesn't make sense, so they just keep coming. So what the yeah, fuck are these Thanos minions isn't thinking? isn't like a psychopath in that sense. Is he, is he honestly asking why they decided to bail out instead of die? I think so, yes. That's an interesting question. Only that is an odd question. We can figure out the answer. For Bailing that. out like this. Stay close. Check in. Don't take any chances. Well, I mean, he's not bailed out, and he clearly has like nothing to say here. He's just, he's just, he's sinking with his ship. Who now? Maybe, maybe he's just applying that mentality to uh, to everyone else. Wait, you you saying cinema sins is? Yes. But I think he's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah. To be fair, he's not said much wrong yet. Does anybody, um, no, I mean, no, not that. <laughs> I meant money-wise. Like, I'm pretty sure CinemaSins is probably making extremely large amounts of money with this. Oh, yeah, it. for sure. I think he make, I, according to Social Blade, he makes something crazy like 100,000 a month or something. I was going to say, he's got to be a millionaire by now, right? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Um, yeah, he's not doing, did, did you, were you being ironic when you said that? He's not been doing well so far. Uh, I may, I may have been being ironic. But it's, but there is a there is potential there. Their own skin, and I'm pretty sure I even see. they know that Thanos values the stones over his henchmen. So what the fuck are these minions thinking, bailing out like this? Stay close, check in, don't take any chances. We just wanted time. You know, to figure out the whole having sex with a synthetic vibranium body thing. It's a lot tougher than you'd think. I hope Thanos. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanos is keeping count during all this disorder and chaos because I can't figure out how many are dying at first glance. But I'm sure he knows how to keep the death at half seas. Wouldn't, wouldn't you assume from that that he doesn't actually care about getting it accurate down to the person? Yeah, like, why, probably, why? Yeah, I mean, we, he knows, obviously, from the beginning, Thanos is like, there's no way we can know for certain. Until people I will be hiding. People might be on holiday on a different planet. <laughs> you can't just... It's going to be tough to nail it. And it's like, all right, Johnsons? We've got a, we've got a consensus where are the, here. Where are the Johnsons? The what about we pregnant know people? That's exact that kind of motivation, and it's not that he's like OCD and wants exactly half the universe to be destroyed. The are on holiday, sir. Like I said, oh, if right. if a wizard was like, "Oh, you killed fifty six instead of fifty out of a hundred, he'd probably be like, "That's that's fine." I just like to conserve resources. He doesn't give a shit about like the exact numbers. I just like to interpret this scene as this is the death of Shrek's entire kind. <laughs> and that's the, and that's why he's the last ogre.
he had to go into the swamps because Thanos killed everyone else. In Shrek 4, we see other ogres. Um, the, those ogres are his offspring. <laughs> we have. Oh uh, wait, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot there was like an ogre. I've never actually seen Shrek 4. About... No, no spoilers, please. I ha- I haven't seen Shrek 4. <laughs> you shouldn't. We have we have new memes. Um... We'll we'll see Shrek 4 after we see Aragon. <laughs> oh my god. And that'll be after we uh, play we'll Aliens Aragon Marathon. marathon. <laughs> well, luck- luckily it's only like eighty minutes long, so. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, give, give. There, there is more. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh my god, it's pretty good. <laughs> Put the corner on screen though. <laughs> <laughs> People keep playing the Kylo hair. <laughs> That's <laughs> These streams are gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my god! They even did the thing they suggested. The, the stress face with the spite. <laughs> Finish it off. The spider milk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Never. Never stop being talented, <laughs> audience. Never stop. Uh. Anyway. Yeah. I, I gotta admit that. This. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't. I didn't quite show it properly last time, but I. <laughs> <laughs> the glove has Michael Cera's face in it. Wait, what? The, the first one is Michael Cera gauntlet gems. That's <laughs> 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 so good. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So, um... Second time! Uh... <laughs> That, uh, that second one is insane. The set, yeah, some, like we, some, that's there's some real really talent good. that go into these. <laughs> the fucking Kylo Ren hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These will all be posted to the EFAP memes thing on my Discord after the thing. Don't worry, guys. I can't figure out how many are dying at first glance, but I'm sure he knows how to keep the death at halfsies. What's wrong, little one? The fact that Thanos would ever have stopped on his kill quest for even a moment because of a cute kid is a big pill to swallow. Uh, he's, wasn't he just standing around? Yeah, he's done at this point. There's literally his his men are lining people up to be executed. He what what really else is he gonna do? To do anything? And he's like, oh, doesn't he spot her because she pushes one of the guards away? Yeah, she he, she's like fighting against one of the guards. That Thanos... well, yeah, that would catch my attention too. I'd be like, huh, what was that kid doing? Little, little shit. Come over here. ...would ever have stopped on his kill quest for even a moment because of a cute kid is a big pill to swallow. Why is that a big pill to swallow? Yeah. I could tell, because I was going to say, if you're an evil, soulless son of a bitch who's this like, huge guy, and you see this little thing going like, eh, eh, you'd probably be like, eh, look at that. I could totally see him being interested. You're quite the fighter, Gamora. She asked a question. That's it. She's displayed zero fighter characteristics. Well, other than the, the person she fought just now. Yeah. <laughs> other than that. How did he, How could he possibly have missed that? Is, he, is this one of his deliberate mistake but, things that he does? He just added... I mean, he says he makes deliberate mistakes, and he does, but, like, just... I, I think they're just filler, is my understanding of it. You know, I've made a few videos about cinema since before, so I feel like <laughs> um, I don't get why would you make deliberate mistakes though? Why would you want to do that? So the video can be twenty minutes long. <sighs> and you can read it. I just it, I don't. She's inquisitive, confused, scared, guileless, but a fighter she is not. Clearly, she is. She becomes Gamora, who's like best fighter ever. This half genocide scene illustrates a curious character detail in Guardians of the Galaxy when they told us Gamora was the only. Sur- 
Origin, last survivor of the Zeho Bere people. Yep, that. Unless someone has an explanation for that, that's just a continuity error, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I don't know. Especially, didn't she, did she say that like her entire planet was destroyed in Guardians? Did she was under the impression that her planet is destroyed when she talks to Thanos, isn't she? Doesn't I she say? Now is now is Zeho Bere her species, or just like? A culture within that species, or a country, or a certain like a tribe, or a bloodline. Uh, is that the whole? Is that the whole species? Because normally, when you say the people, it's not an entire species. It's like a country or an ethnic group. God, look how much she weighs—a whole eight hundred fifty-two grets. Oh man, that's <laughs> so, what a fucking fat ass. <laughs> That's interesting, though. Cybernetic skeleton, ocular and respiratory implants, enhanced neurological system, enhanced regeneration implant. I didn't I've, know that. I've googled. I've googled Gamora's species, and she is a Zen Waboris. What is? Wait, Waboris? is that according to the comics though? And this is someone else. I, I don't know. It's a comic picture actually next to it. So. Um. But yeah, no. Uh. There are ways to explain this. She could be like. <laughs> it would be awkward though, exposition wise. Be like. It says here you're you're the last survivor. Then she goes, "That's what I tell people." And you're like, uh -uh. according to the according to the MCU wiki sheet, that is a species. But um, yeah, I would say, as far as I can tell, it's just something that either they just didn't care to fix. Um, Look, if your weight if your weight starts with an eight, don't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's eighty? Oh, a uh, little potato said. Oh wait, that would be an anorexic. The Russos yep. implied that Thanos may have been yeah, lying about her planet being a paradise <laughs> after killing half their people. That could be interesting too, but uh, if I think it's safe to assume it's just a small continuity error, I guess. And there is a chance that this is wrong. Also, how weird is that that he picks up on this, but he misses all of those major details like Spider-Man's suit and stuff. Hmm. Because, like, this is not easy. Isn't this a zoomed-in picture and this is a briefly put-on screen? Isn't this even from the trailer, by the way? I don't know if this is actually from the film. Is this from the film? The only person I would expect to know this is Jay, really. I, I don't know. I remember the trailer displaying the d details. I can't remember if the film does, but that, that would be another interesting thought. Let's go watch the whole <laughs> film right now. Yeah, it could have been a retcon. Let's watch it live on Ethan. No, we can't do that. Thanos gets me. I want you to promise me. One other thing you could do, just find a distant planet to live on, lay low, find a cave, maybe find Spock, and don't allow Thanos to ever get near you. Uh, don't allow Thanos to get near you. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, that's if that's within your power, then, geez. You can if teleport you have the power anywhere. to stop Thanos, then gosh. You can't just, like, shoot her now. Let's just go blow up the Dreadnought. It's just like that he turns up at this, this mysterious cave, and she's like, no! He goes, How oh, did okay. you get <laughs> like, fucking Thanos? No shit. Am I not allowed in, in this cave? And she's like, no. And you're like, oh. Well, I didn't see a fucking door. <laughs> well, you don't have to be so mean, dude. The, the cave was unlocked, I assume. I could just go <laughs> The cave was unlocked. <laughs> I thought I could walk. Your cave door is wide open, I don't know. You left your mail outside. And your mail <laughs> you have an address in the yellow pages. Well, look, look, it's about to rain, and I just wanted to get your Amazon package before it got yeah, your soaked. Your newspaper was going to get wet. Movie you characters think that a promise yesterday will be a bond if they swear on a loved one, but of course it doesn't work that way, cliche. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing that yeah. happens in other movies, sure. Yeah. Uh, she expected him to follow through. Well, hang on, mate. He does follow through with this, doesn't he? Yeah, and bubbles come out. He does He does kill her. Or well, he tries. But that's not even true. And I was about to defend it even if it would be true, because that's, that's totally fine that he wouldn't want to kill her even when he's told to promise, because he loves her, but he does actually do it, so... Mm -mm. I realize she has a hate boner of justice, but goddamn, what was she thinking? She's the one that's been reminding others how fucking powerful Thanos is! Which is why she tries to immediately kill him while he's off guard. I just like the phrase, hate boner of justice. <laughs> I mean... I'm gonna rename my channel just a second. <laughs> <laughs> hate boner <laughs> of justice. Yeah, uh... By the I way, it's a strange powerful. comment he's yeah. making here as well, considering she does kill him from... Like, in, in a manner that she expects to work, as in, she, it makes sense to her. She stabs him in the, the heart and knifes him in the throat as well, right? So, yes. as far as she's concerned, I've done it, and we can assume that that's actually always a way you could have killed him, but obviously he's fucking with reality, so... 
And as far as they know, they, he doesn't have the reality stone. Yeah, all this makes sense, so what are you doing? What is, stop I it. would just like you all to know that I've now changed my uh, Twitter name to HateBurner, just. I think it fucking deleted <laughs> for hate for the speech against, I don't know. Yo, let's talk. I, ho I hope you enjoyed your Patreon. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll go down too. Premature self-reprobation. You knew I'd come. I counted on it. So he assumed that the Guardian ship would get the distress signal from the Statesman. They'd follow it. They just so happened to run into Thor. He'd tell them about the Reality Stone Why and that she would agree to come. Why would Thor is the only person who knows about the Reality Stone? Um... The, so, let's think about The only way Thanos would know they would come there is that he assumes they'd want to protect whatever stone is there. Or he means, could have asked a spider. That's true. <laughs> but he, he would have... He has to assume that they know that the reality stone is there. Which I think, since they've met the Collector previously, and the Collector is one that has it, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's been established that the, the ancient monk guy, he knows about the Infinity Stones. Who else knows about him? I'm I'm willing to in in, in uh, accept that it's Thanos could have been waiting there for a long time, depending on certain things taking place. Um, because there's no reason why he would have known that Thor bumped into the Guardians. That's the part. If he knew that, then this would have made sense, or more sense. Um, because as much as there's a distress signal, that's not a guarantee that the Guardians would find Thor, right? Someone's saying in Guardians One they literally saw it. Saw so what? I guess the stone. Not the reality stone, they saw the power stone. <clears throat> the reality stone gets taken there in, at the end of Thor 2. Um, which is Wait, after did you Guardians. Just remember something from Thor 2? I remembered, I remembered other things, like Natalie Portman gets the stone inside her, I remembered that. I'm just, I'm just impressed that anyone remembers anything. From I don't remember anything film. from Incredible Hulk, that would be more impressive. Yeah, the grenades are like little black holes. Oh yeah, they're like super OP. Neat. I remember when Loki turned into Captain America briefly. That was funny. I actually saw that clip before I saw the movie, and I was like, I might watch it just for that now. But In that fairness, that was the, the only <laughs> good part of the whole movie. That was the highlight. But yeah, uh, I can't think of it being a, an absolutely reasonable. S Anybody got anything for this? Because I really can't think of why Thanos would assume they would be there at this time. Uh, it's a matter. Yeah, it's the matter of the time scale. How long would he have waited there, been there? Hmm. So. It does, yeah, it's, that, this one. What if he just, like, waited there for a few months and was like, <laughs> um. I've been really so bored. Or... I've been hanging out with Benicio Del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> telling he me, just keeps him alive just for that. Telling me about his time on The Last Jedi. It's been really shit. <laughs> like, aww. <laughs> them about the reality stone and that she would agree to come here this is f***ing impossibly brilliant he didn't even tell thor he'd be coming here he just told his minions to get the two stones on earth and meet him at titan the only reason he pulls the oh yeah but thor assumed that he'd go for the next stone uh because it was he knew it was taken to thingy so that's not that unreasonable that part trigger here is because the movie knows it's going to undo the act and keep gamora alive for oh so this is covering his ass for the earlier sin then because he's now saying the only reason he pulled the trigger is because he couldn't kill her. But that's like meta as hell. Peter definitely thought he was going to kill her. Well, no, it says the movie knows he he, he can't kill her. So he's uh, saying he's saying that he wouldn't have pulled the trigger if, if the movie didn't have a way out of it. That the movie wouldn't have the balls to just kill Gamora here. Which... As, as if to imply they would never kill Gamora. It's like, oh, but... Well, <laughs> no. his love for her and dopey. He's, he's digging a hole, isn't he? Further and further with this. The puppy dog nature 100% does not jive with his willfully pulling the trigger here. Is Quite it really willfully? What do you mean? I mean what? Are you, it, what? It, it's <laughs> kind of a big deal to him. He absolutely did not want to pull the trigger. Joe's that's it's going such a to weird undo the to act make. and keep Gamora alive for now. His love for her and dopey puppy dog nature 100% does not jive with his willfully pulling the trigger. Yeah, it takes him a while to pull that trigger. Yeah. She has to, like, convince him there. Thanos has to convince him there. Yeah, it never would have worked if not for Thanos actually encouraging it, like, because he wouldn't have had the time. Like, Thanos would have stopped him, but, uh... Thanos was basically that kid on Xbox Live who's like, Do it, bro! Do one it! One me! One me, one me, Rust. <laughs> Rust with pistols only. No, it's one me, one me, yeah. Yeah, it is. M93 Rafticus only. only. <laughs> Intervention, no heartbeat sensor. If you use heartbeat sensor, you're a fucking fag. 
Asperger here. <laughs> Why do Drax and Mantis go back to normal when Thanos leaves? The stone powers aren't proximity based, but somehow the damage. I have no idea how the reality stone works, so any issues he brings up either. with them, I agree with. She did was only temporary. This is a hologram of Ross, whose physical body is in a completely different room somewhere in the country. And yet he's able to walk around this room, like he's physically in this one. Is he- I think we're supposed to imply, assume that whatever Ross is seeing right now is like a, a CGI projected sort of room on top of his room with all it's these- like say every, We don't know how it works. Every time we get uh, holograms in a movie- But how does it work? And it's like- I think he's just kind of, like sort of realized, hey, I can send this, and people will be like, okay. And now yeah, he does every time he sees it. Explicitly explained. I, th I think it can make enough sense. Have they never done this before? I feel like they must have done this before. I mean, they've been in that room before. Yeah, but... Fully fledged walking around holograms that can react and thingy to you. Look, I get that that's, that's pretty high tech, but... Uh... I mean, you got the nanotech earlier, like, isn't this just par for the course now? They're, this is another problem for the MCU, their technology is getting to, like, extreme limits. But, I'm, um... This, th when I watched the film, this never stood out as something unbelievable. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, it's, it's literally... The functionality of this is a phone call. Like, who cares? Yeah. Hell, he could have fucking showed up. He in a replica room with a virtual reality display? And if so, there should be a camera somewhere in here tracking his eye movements. So Not necessarily if it scans the entire room and projects it to him, and it scans his entire room and projects it to them. That's kind of what yeah, I was trying to say. he would be looking at his version of their holograms. Yeah. He can face the right way. Oh yeah, someone yeah, brought up just... Boff, the thing in Civil War. That's what, technically speaking, is another version of this, so... Um, that's a, that's an extremely ridiculous technology. It projects your memories as like move aroundable videos that you can walk in. So, you know, sci-fi, sci-fi, sci-fi. Way when he's talking to people, right? No one in this movie should own a Rickenbacker base and have it displayed on a floor stand in some kind of library. This guitar is the biggest lie the MCU ever told. I've played one of these. Tell me, Congressman, have you ever played no a Rickenbacker base? Play is that a reference? Literally nobody, Jeremy. I'm gonna, nobody fucking cares that you play a guitar. Is he pulling a Derek Savage? I mean, yeah, I get the reference, but is this is this a reference though? Is this some film that this happens in? I got. Uh, it's it's like when people show up and they pull out a guitar. You're like, no, no, don't, don't, please don't, no, no one wants to hear, no, stop, don't do that, go away. I do, I'm, I'm, I get, yeah, the, the, nobody in chat's got anything, so I assume this is actually just him saying this. So, okay. Where's the fight? Fucking Bucky. Aren't we just gonna gloss okay. over the fact- That's a Wait. running joke, apparently. He says that every time Bucky shows up. Just like, okay. Why? You don't like Bucky, I guess. It must have been awkward in Civil right. War, he shows up a lot in that. I like Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're wrong. Fuck you! I like him! Wait, are you implying that you don't like CinemaSins? Um... Yes. That's just rude. What's this? <laughs> Am I gonna? <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's good. <laughs> I I like how he even colored his hands purple. The fact that a Stark shoulder missile from Earth easily blasts a hole in the hull of this alien spaceship. The hell? Didn't we just establish that his technology is incredible? And that was a sin earlier, and now it's a sin that his technology is amazing. He launched a rocket at a wall of a spaceship. What the fuck <laughs> did you think was going to happen? Iron Man broke into this place by lasering it open. It's just metal by the looks of things. It doesn't look like it's any kind of special metal. Fortunately. Special, me special yeah, metal that makes you really smart. Yeah, I mean... That's... <laughs> that you can only find that on Wakanda. So are you saying this giant donut was built in an impenetrable forest? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Where's the fight? A prequel film with the donut chips. Fucking Bucky. Aren't Those we were only half over donuts. The fact that a Stark shoulder missile from Earth easily blasts a hole in the hull of this alien spaceship. The hell is this spray stuff Tony's using here to seal the breach in the ship's hull? Nano magic? Canned convenience? It's magic whiz and it's cheesing me off. Way to introduce a new character. It's partially convenient, sure. I'll give him that one too. <clears throat> Not got much. Um, Character in the movie in the 19th film of a franchise and completely kill him off in an hour. I wanted more of this guy.
Darth Maul yeah. and Ebony Maul are now in some seventh circle of movie franchise hell, where they were told they were special and mole their fates with Maul Flanders at the Hades Mall. So I say we take the fight to Um, Maul survives. Who's Maul? Ma Maul. Maul survives. In, in fairness, oh, Maul's what? survival is bullshit. Wait, hold on. That was supposed to be Maul, as in Darth Maul, and he spelt it M-O-L-L? Yes. Franchise and completely kill him all. No, he actually, Darth he actually did put, see? Darth Maul. He did spell it Oh, wait, it so what's Maul Flanders, then? I think he just r rhymed a bunch of shit with Maul. Isn't that supposed to be Maud Flanders? Maul, 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 Maul. Oh, yeah, because Maul... Wait, so it's got to be a joke, then, I'm assuming. <laughs> I can't yeah, he's tell. Just, he's I just, just thought, rhyming shit. He's sort of decipher this. But yeah, Maud Flad just got booed out as well. But um, yeah, you're right. Darth Maul is not dead. Still bullshit. In fact, well, it is bullshit. But um, he's not just not dead though. He got given like a whole fucking this is a loaded really development. Really lazy, poorly written joke. If this was my joke, I wouldn't have put it in. I mean, I have to be like figuring this shit out every time that he makes a joke. Yeah, but which of these jokes would you have put in? None of them, because they're not good. Like it, so, you can't you can't just be like cutting this one out because at that point you've got if you if you introduce that kind of standard you've just not got a video anymore. Yeah, but is that so bad? No. Well, it's... it is for me because then I don't get to make a video about it. <laughs> oh, true. you have to make original content. Okay. <gasps> yeah, <it's> like... <gasps> hey, he, he actually has in fairness. It's just it's just people like to see him rip apart cinema sins, unfortunately. Fine, do it. Like us. When Ebony Maul are now in some yeah, seventh like circle us. of movie franchise hell, where they were told they were special and maul their fates with Maul Flanders at the Hades Mall. So I say we take the fight to him. Granted, the ship you're on is going to him, and you haven't stated declaratively that you can turn the ship around, despite being asked twice by Strange. Maybe this is less of a choice than the movie or Tony once. I just want to say they literally pilot the ship in this film. You yeah, they do definitely do, and um, he gives his reasoning. It's solid reasoning. Why fight Thanos on Earth when you can destroy and fuck up everything instead of fighting him on his own turf so that they can just have their con controlled group V1, which is exactly what they do. And even... Why is that a problem? <laughs> Granted, the ship you're on is going to him, and you haven't stated declaratively that you can turn the ship around, despite being asked twice by Strange, maybe this is less of a choice than the movie or Tony wants to make it seem. Your planet was on the brink of collapse. I'm the one who stopped that. You know what's happened since then? I don't know. Has 50% of the planet multiplied and brought it back to pre-Thanos population numbers? I guess you plan on snapping the universe back to half its people every people 20- People say this a lot. Like, it's so dumb, because... All people will do is repopulate, and I'm just saying they're like, but could you just do it again? Isn't that a possibility? Especially if it takes like many, many years. Also, don't birth rates fall after uh, technology develops? Uh, no, as, as quality of life improves generally, um, but every twenty years, I mean, twenty years is what do we call twenty years? <clears throat> a generation. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's there's ways like, around it. You understand? This. People are people are at breeding age by twenty. And, Many years um, before that, in fact. Not to mention that I don't know. Maybe people. It's going to be a weird universe, considering every single living life form went through everyone going into dust. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Um. Like the beginning of the the next Avengers movie will be strange, but. Um, years or so? This seems so fing pointless. Don't do this. I mean, if it works for 20 years at least, that's still something for Thanos. I'm sure he feels happy that he wouldn't have to do anything for 20 years. Barmier! Ultimately, sisterly love is what causes her to give up the location of the Soul Stone, and therefore the fate of the entire universe. She begged her boyfriend to kill her, rather than let Thanos- He does understand that people are much more willing to let themselves die than people they love die? Or is that a new concept to him? Maybe he doesn't love anybody. Like, I, I would ask him, him genuinely as a human being, I'd be like, would you listen to your brother slash sister being tortured extensively, knowing that you have to say one word to prevent it from happening? I guess he wouldn't, if he knew that it would it's, save the world. I don't, I don't know if Jeremy's been in the location. I've been in, like, search and rescue and stuff. It's pretty tough to listen to people scream in agony. And not to mention, uh, there are people. It's it's pretty it's pretty fucking gut wrenching. There are people in this universe that would actually argue they would rather keep their loved one alive. Fuck the universe. Like that's to the point human humans get with love. So I just can't believe you're breaking this down like rationally. Like <laughs> rationally, she should allow her sister to be tortured indefinitely. It's like, I, it, you know what? You're not wrong. Must win. 
and I'm getting a new hammer. In Thor 33 and a third, Odin told him his hammer was just something that focused his power. Now that's been forgotten, and a hammer is important again. Uh... Just something that focused his power sounds important. <laughs> I was about to say, that's, that's, Jay, you made the same point in your video, right? I did, yeah. It's I love that he just doesn't notice it himself. Like, Odin's like, hey, you don't need it for power, but it's good to focus your power. And then he's like, oh, and it's suddenly never... it's important again. It's like, I don't know, focus sounds important. It's like, I've never seen this video before, ever, and it was just like my knee-jerk reaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, uh, that didn't pass the smell test. You're gonna need more than one stupid eyeball. But you're handing him a fake eyeball, so he still only has one stupid eyeball. I thought that eyeball does work. Yeah, it's a robot eye. Yeah, it'll actually, it, you know, we obviously have to give the pass of like, I don't fucking know how it works biologically, but it is a, a, an eye from space that R Rocket has, so it's just assumed that, yeah, it, it does actually work. It's a space eye. Space eye. <laughs> Alright, what yeah. the f***? Some random computerized alien eyeball has a connection port that matches Thor's flesh-based eye sock. So then he immediately acknowledges that it actually- Oh. How could you have sinned it for that and then sin it for that? <laughs> you can't do both. This is a great freeze frame, by the way. Oh, mine's probably different to yours. He's just looking off in like completely different directions with each, each of his oh, eyes. No, I'm, uh, I'm on the next scene. Um. Like a connection port? Oh. This is a second Marvel movie to waste. I like that he, he covers that entire scene without sending the r most ridiculous line with, in the entire movie, in my opinion, where Thor like puts in the eye and then he's like, this thing doesn't work, everything looks black. When he has two eyes. Yeah, and, and, and there are plenty of lights around them, whether or not there's yeah. no lights outside the ship. Wait, what other- Oh, Days of Future Past, okay. I... Oh yeah, that's true. Wait, he wasn't wasted in either of these movies, though. Yeah, I don't see yeah. how he's wasted in this movie or Days of Future Past. I like. I was just trying to figure out. I was just trying to figure out which one he was actually in because I was like, I don't remember him being in the MCU. I was just thinking, if you don't, if you don't justify the the statement that he was wasted in this, then people just have to sort of like, be like, Oh yeah, okay. he was wasted. Ha 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 ha. The people who agree agree. People why. who don't don't. Moving on. That's all. I feel like that's how these videos are designed, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Here's a ding. Don't ask me why. He's Peter Dinklage. And he killed everyone anyway, all except me. Let me do some math here. Three hundred dwarf. I wonder if you can guess what his point's going to be, guys. It's not half of them. Hmm. Now, why in the world would Thanos not have killed only half of these dwarves? Why? Why would that happen? Either because there are more dwarves elsewhere, or because he does it because Thanos specifically says that it's the greater good that's more important. Well, my assumption is that he actually wants to prevent these guys from creating weapons that can stop him. Mm -hmm. And then he precisely why the remaining dwarf has been he has his hands melded together. He's been dehanded. He's been dehanded. Wars were here. One is left. Carrying oh, he's so out. condescending over this point as well. The funny it's thing is, just like, does he think this is the entire dwarf population? They just live in a foundry, and that's it. Yeah, found, I. That seems unreasonable. But I, I, I would assume naturally that this is just a place they work. They commute yeah, here. Don't they have like <laughs> fortresses and mines and stuff under mountains? That's what I've heard. They have a mountain planet. Multiplied by pi r squared, that's 99.67% of the dwarf population. Which means he must have let 299 other dwarves on some Maybe. other hammer building station live. <laughs> that's all well and good, but how did she get out of the mid-air suspension thing that she was in? Doesn't that thing make you oh, for tell all... tell me how it works. I mean, yeah, we, we could have had a scene where she, like, uh, I don't know, lets a circuit attach to something and then it zaps it or she fires something out of a thing. Yeah. The movie's telling us she got out. Um, but I suppose it would have been neat to know how. But she is, you know, in, a, robotic as fuck, so I would just assume that she had something that allowed it. Yeah. She, she literally does come apart. Yes. Intents and purposes, immobile. In fact, I'm kind of wondering um, how she was even able to kill that guy. Okay. Wind up and planting eggs in my chest or something, and I eat one of you, I'm sorry. I do not want another single pop culture reference out of you. I'm trying to say that something is coming. Really? Because there was absolutely nothing urgent about what- By the sense, yo. That explain it. Three. <laughs> what you were saying at all. In theory, it could even summon the Bifrost. Because why not? Thor's gonna have to get to Earth faster than a ship can take them somehow. So bake in the Bifrost into this baby. Couldn't Odin's staff do that as well? Can't remember. Or Spear, sorry. 
pretty sure he does I don't it. Remember that. He uses the Bifrost. You know what, uh, remember, he has to summon dark you know what magic the name of or whatever. Odin's spear is? Yeah, hang on, wait. Uh, what's his name? Heimdall's sword does it too. Or Heimdall. In fairness, you gotta like put it in the ground. And, no, like, no, he does it, it in no, this does movie. It at the beginning of this movie. Oh right, forgot about that. You're right. For people like keep saying Mola writing the movie for them to try and turn my criticism on myself. I am not saying these things are in the film. I am suggesting what we could assume. It's the whole point. The, na the name of you're just a hypocrite. This is it's, it's a thing called inference. As long as there's no information to counter it, you can infer. But um, you know, I I actually agreed with him that it's a bit of a jump, and maybe we could have seen how she did it. It would have probably have improved it. Yeah. Like, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Somehow. We've agreed with him a couple... Of, like, you guys are... I'm not crazy, right? Like, we're, we're not... We haven't just yeah, shat on him. Some of them are... Yeah, some of them are... A lot of a lot of them are just fucking stupid or wrong. But some of them are reasonable. Yeah, I agree with some of these. I've so, already agreed with a couple of them. I mean, the you, could, you could essentially, like... You could create pretty much, like, a whole YouTube channel that's kind of dedicated to hmm. going over these points, kind of. Could you? Do you think that would I, work? I don't think it would work. It's, it's possible. I think they'd make loads of mistakes and it would be really, end up taking it would down really like their Incredibles 2 video. In an original, but you could probably do it. You'd need, you would need an animal avatar to really sell it to people, though. <laughs> well, like a spider or something. Uh, spiders can tell the future, so it's not really fair. Oh, yeah. That's true. If you ever get to choose. <laughs> I just looked at my notifications on Twitter. I don't even know what this is. The person said I tried as a as an explanation. Give me one sec. Okay. I, I'm really curious now. <laughs> I, now I need to see it. <laughs> I'm trying to get it on stream first so they can see it. There you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's the Thanos car. Because <laughs> uh, um... of the grill of the purple. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't even... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, man. Thanos Benmobile. You, I mean, I, I agree. An attempt was made. I tried. I feel. Oh wow! Just may as well throw this one in because why not? But uh, he even did like the whole Hellblade thing with only of his face. I feel like you should read this, uh, Wolf. Oh, I should read this. Oh God! <laughs> the, the, the illustration of Jared. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! That's great! I'm the first one to admit oh my God. I put this bulb in the pack, and that never really bothered me, though, because I knew I got the swagger. <laughs> You're in Genesis 33 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even here, time <laughs> It's not a fish. It's great. Someone, someone please send this to Jared. I don't know how you... <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do it, but do it. This is amazing. I mean, I know Jared watches these EFAPs, but that is incredible. <laughs> I can't believe someone went through the... They even got the fucking, the fucking black mark on the door. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. I I can't believe someone went through the fucking effort to make this. <laughs> <laughs> to <draw> Jared. <laughs> fucking put a timestamp. Dramaticin <laughs> Sky Genesis. Is this, is what's known oh for. my god. That is amazing. Oh my god. I, I, I'm just like reading it in Jared's voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first one to admit I'm not the brightest bulb in the pack, and that never really bothered me, though, because I know I got the swagger. Beautiful Jared <laughs> quote. Ah, uh, they forgot the Ninja Turtles action figures in the background, and the skeleton. There's so but much it... Jared lore, it's kind of tough to fit it all in one picture. Yeah, yeah, you would have to, like, it'd have to be, like, a 4K resolution, incredibly detailed drawing, but at least he got the fucking burned door. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, there's a video we're supposed to be watching, I think. Um, <laughs> let me just... <laughs> okay. Got that Jared Into one. this baby and we're set! What are the odds a far-flung planet moon oh, wait, like... Oh sorry, there was probably a point there. 
Somehow. So bake in the Bifrost into this baby and we're set. Oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah, so anyway, I was actually going to say that I actually do have criticisms of how easy it is to make that, that weapon. Um, but the, the only counter I've heard is just that it's impossible for most, if anyone, to wield it. Thor's like one of the only people that remain that can wield it. I don't know if that's sufficient. It just seems pretty easy to make the weapon, you know? Like it requires the forge requires to be active. the full force of a star. Yeah, but it seems that on a good day for this forge, that was normal. It does seem to be the power source that they use for the forge. Because I agree that that's a lot of power, but apparently that was just that was a normal day at this forge. Yeah, it's sort of like it's like the facility is kind of set up to do that. So yeah, uh, it just seems you know. Um, oh wait, somebody somebody just said Etri designed it. Did he? Was was Stormbreaker made in response to Thanos? Like the blueprint, or was it always around? I I don't know. I um, want to say it was made specifically for Thor. Like, like yeah, what I'm saying is like did he make it because Thanos had the gauntlet and he was like I need to design a weapon that can beat that. But the thing is he didn't have any hands. It's pretty difficult to, you know. <laughs> Nowhere did they What is with these people? It's like you're writing the movie again. I said maybe. I have no idea. I know there's no line that says Thor's going to that could use it. I'm suggesting ways that it could be possible. There is a line that says Thor is one of the few people like that most people wouldn't be able to wield it when he uh, says that. Oh yeah, wait. So I'm he fine. He says to the Guardians <laughs> that they'd lack the strength to wield them and, and they would kill set them. Their minds into madness or something. It looks like the movie's right in itself. I didn't have to do that actually. <laughs> it's designed against Thanos. Thor says itself. If anyone tries to wield it, uh, they would go mad. Yeah, and then Rocket says, uh, "Is it weird that I want to do it more now?" Right. That's that scene. <sighs> But yeah, um, I guess my point is, you know, how many other people could wield it? And he has Guardian. Could Hulk? Could Hulk do it? Well, Hulk couldn't lift uh, the original hammer. That's true, but I always thought that was more of a... Um, like some weird spell about worthiness as opposed to... Um, That's true. Like power, you know, like it seemed like it was a bit of an Excalibur thing going on. Molar exposed. Why can't you do it? Why can you do it? The last Jedi fans can't. It's not the same thing. Suggest what? I haven't said it's not a mistake. I've literally just been asking questions. So if I was to make a video, I probably would highlight this as an issue. Didn't I open with saying that? Or am I crazy? Didn't I say some along the lines of like the issue I have with it, and then I carried on? I think you said it could have been better explained. I think the, seems very convenient and easy yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, I do kind of feel about that, that way about the entire forging scene. There's things about it, and let's be fair, we never hear about this thing before this movie. And it's not like we have to, because um, I suppose they would have been providing all of the Asgardian weapons, like the armor and whatever else they have. We can assume that relationship's been going for a while, but it would have been neat to have actually told us it exists. Um, yeah, this wouldn't be in a in a video. Uh, if I made it. Because, you know, I love Infinity War, but I still think there's there's more issues in it than, like, Civil War, for example, for uh, writing. But mm -hmm. I don't know how you could have made a flawless film when you've got the this many elements flying around. It would have been tough. Like, how do you make a reasonable excuse for them to defeat Thanos when you've got no backup from any other writers? Like, um, you have to invent the reason that you can be defeated in your own movie. That's pretty tough. So uh, I don't hold it against them. I think they did a fantastic job for the position they were in. Ryan Johnson, on the other hand, he was he was given Star Wars on a platter. They were like, here's all your setups, do whatever you want. And he was like, they're all nothing. It's like, oh. Okay. What are the odds a far-flung planet moon like Titan would have air breathable by humans? So wait, at the is that the only oh planet he's ever said that for? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what about all the other planets? Genuinely, I would have expected it's just a sort of universal rule that pretty much fucking oxygen is just on every planet. Also, okay. like, all of the aliens speak English. And that's been like that's the whole another time. thing we should sin, I suppose. Okay, guys, I got a quick thing to say. Go it has it. nothing to do with the video. Um, well, two things. One, uh, I gotta leave for maybe about half an hour or so. I gotta go pick up something for my sister. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause she's bedridden and shit. So. All good. But look, 
luckily, you guys will still be streaming for Is a good hot? couple hours. Well, I mean, I could take. Rags, what do you think? What do you think my uh? What do you think my response to that is going to be? I don't know. What Can you answer it objectively? <laughs> um, no. Okay. No, I can't. All right, subjectively well, that... then. No. She's not? You calling your sister ugly? <gasps> yes. Christ. Yes, I am. Okay, well, fair enough. But, well, that's the first thing, but I will be back. We don't all have it, man. That's all good. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll come back when you come back. And the second thing before I go... um. I was looking to see if that timestamp was real, <laughs> and I just typed in Jared Genesis Rags to find it, and one of the videos that I found was, um, you know that that fight scene between Anakin, Obi-Wan, uh, uh, Count Dooku in episode two? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a video where they put Jared's face over Count Dooku, me and Rags are Obi-Wan and Anakin, and Maul are your Yoda. <laughs> 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 And that's the whole video. It's called Darth Jared Genesis versus Jedi Master Mauler and Wolf and Rags. Why has that's nobody made me aware of this video? <laughs> it's only got 85 views, but oh really? my god. It was made two months ago? I've never really? heard of what? this. Jared that's even commented on it. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? While you're gone, Wolf, we'll, we'll check that out. And uh, I'll read Super Chats as well as a sort of Oh, you get. I don't know if it's a good intro for Jay to the, the whole fucking Jared lore, but oh, that's true. It, it's on him. He should have. He should have watched every single EFAB episode three <sighs> times by now. That was. That well, this will be going on for all but three of them. <laughs> 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 all, all but the ones that Jared was actually in. Um. But yeah, off you go, man. Go, go, go. It's okay. All right. See you guys soon. Who knows? Um. Yeah, if either of you guys want to do anything specific, we've got apparently half an hour to, to do stuff. I'm going to try and get through literally every single super chat we've had up to this point, so... Sure. Here we go. Um, what seems to be the officer problem? That is a wonderful reference to Rags from... Last episode? I can't remember when you said that, Rags. Yeah, it was when you were drunk. Yay. Or when everyone assumed something was wrong with you. Alice Straza said, hi, Rags, so... Hello. Um... Uh, I don't, I don't speak Welsh. I don't know Welsh. I'll have to respond. I, I, um, I'm fine. That there we go. Nailed it. Um, Infinity War. You can't deny it's good. Jared Genesis. I don't actually know Jared's position on Infinity War. That would be interesting. I would. Uh, uh, curious. Facet said, "If everybody is alt right, no one will be." <laughs> Once they've accused everyone of being alt right, who is an alt right? <laughs> Um, uh, what happened to calling- is- is it like calling someone right-leaning is just not enough anymore? Like, because if they were to say they- to- to say someone's alt-right means they're like an extremist, I guess, is that the point? Generally an alt-right- all- the alt-right is a, a somewhat loose group, but for the most part what they have in common is they want a white ethno-state. Well, that's I feel not like something that I remember saying, but you know. I feel wait, like wait, wait, the, wait, it's, what? No, I feel like anyone. Um, Sorry, just like... to clarify for right, I, I was saying as if they're implying I'm alt right. That's not something that I would follow. But yeah. Oh yeah, no, obvious. No, none of us are alt right. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I feel like anyone uh, at this point, people who the reason that people say that is that literally they just view anyone more to the right of them as the most extreme right as you can be. It's like the same thing happened with just like people calling anyone more left uh, than them an SJW or that, like just. So many words have lost their meaning because people throw them around for no reason. Yeah, but now when you call people fucking alt right, then fuck, like that's got such a negative connotation now. Well, because it'll make people go. Like, your Whoa, channel can get like, true? shut down, and your Patreon can get taken away, and you can get deplatformed because enough people say that you're alt right when you're really not. I mean, it's like it's the, it's like a scare word. Yeah, because people will. It's, it's happened on that subreddit. The uh, that that shot was from. People will call me alt right, and then some people will be like, "Wait, like he is?" Like, because they'll be like, "Oh shit!" If if you're going to say it so abrasively, then people will be like, "Oh, it must be true if you're saying it like that." Like nobody would accuse yeah, like, someone. I've been called fascist, and I support autocracy, and all sorts of crazy shit like that. No backing for it, but people, you know, enough people just lie about it, and eventually it might catch on with certain circles. Um, but yeah. 
It's just, it'll never end. Uh, Merry Christmas, but with women. But anyway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> on top, babies. Skull Wheels, Honest Dog, and Rages. What was the funniest? Rhino Milk, Green Milk is one of my favorite scenes in the saga. Or Ray Killed Han, mine's number three. No offense, Sin Sins, they didn't know you. <laughs> Pretty sure he's okay with it at this point. Um, which is the funniest? Oh, well, the, the funniest has to be the one where me, Wolf, and Appa Bend almost died listening to uh, Patrick Williams. Have you seen that, uh, Jay? Uh, is this the one where he said, um, this is my favorite edition? Yeah, and we just See. lost our minds, like, just didn't see I it saw that one. I think I've seen all the ones where you covered Patrick. Oh, he's wonderful. Um, I like seeing him covered. Yeah, it's a pity that it, we'd have to search through his library to find some more things to cover, but some of his videos are just like, I've not even seen the films he's covering, or he's doing more a conceptual thing, like, uh, talking about the shots a director uses, where it's just like, most of the time, I'm just like, that's true, they do use those. Doesn't you have a second last uh, Jedi video you haven't... Covered. Oh, we did, we did two of his last Jedi videos, didn't we? Or am I crazy? I thought we did. He did, he did another Star Wars one, one, but it was about the camera work in Star Wars, so... Um, so it was all good. Uh, Mola loved your Infinity War review, thumbs up, thank you. Spaceballs is a better Star Wars film than The Last Jedi. There are some jokes in The Last Jedi that feel like they were taken from Spaceballs, that's the weird thing. Merry Christmas, EFAT boys. Keep being great. Same to everyone on the Discord, except CB who is wrong about sandwiches, Bilbo Baggins. I mean, that's, you can't say that. Everyone has their own opinions about sandwiches. Recommend the animes Haiku and Megalo Boxing. Both awesome sports animes. Also, Unbridled Praise, Dragon, Super Bowl, Brawly, When. I don't, I'm not an anime poisson. No, I've seen a couple of them. Um, well, what animes have you seen, Rags? Samurai Champloo, Ghost in the Shell, Full Metal Alchemist, mm -hmm. um, Brotherhood or the original one? There's two Full Metal Alchemist animes, right? Yeah, I've seen the movie. I saw Second Gig, and I saw Standalone Complex, and I've seen Arise. Hmm. I've seen One Punch Man, FMA Brotherhood, Code Geass. Mm. I think I've seen another two. I usually remember referencing five, but I've forgotten. I've seen some, just not enough. I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, if you have anime recommendations, I pretty much... Smiler Al is my filter. He'll decide on which ones I should put my time into, because I'm usually trying to get through movies and TV shows for the most part, because they like fill up most of my references. Um, Greetings, Mola. Hopefully you can wish me a happy birthday as I travel all the way north of Edmonton, Canada for business. It'll probably be better when I watch The Last Jedi from last year. Well, happy birthday, Chemist Webb. Is that a... Is Chemist a first name? That can't be a first name, right? Uh, well, he could... Maybe he's, a. Uh, maybe he's from, like, a Pokemon game. Oh, actually, would Chemist make a Webb wins the battle. <laughs> da, ba, 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 da. And they would, ha they would have, like, electrodes and Voltorbs and stuff, wouldn't they? Um, oh wait, chemist. What? Maybe. What would a chemist news. have? <laughs> I feel like, um, like Grimer and and Muck would be too like. The chemist wouldn't have that. Did I say Muck and Ooze? Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a Pokemon called Ooze at this point. I don't know. I don't know the Pokemon. It's been ages. Um, he has a Pikachu. Just got here. What did I miss? Is chemical ish. You missed spiders tell the future. You've missed everything. All of the memes. At least we got to see women in Christmas. That's Did true. Did tell the future? Uh, meant to send this two weeks ago. Glad to see the band back together. Been catching up on all the old EFAPs and TDW podcasts to fill the void between days. Also, love you, Wolf. Now do another podcast so I can donate directly. We, I'll, I will throw that on a... We should ask him that once he's back. I'll put Wolf podcast question mark and we'll see what he says. Um... I'm broke because of my Mustang, but here, take my money. I love when you guys get together. Oh, well, we, we, we love it, too, to cover, you know, and, and even when Jay pops around, it's not even so bad. Right, right, Jay? Um, I'm sorry, what? I was on Reddit. Oh, I was saying you're great uh, to have around, too. No. Oh, uh, I, I wish I wasn't being so vacant when you said it's that. It's okay. <laughs> have you watched old videos from Confused Matthew? I've only seen one video from Confused Matthew, and it was in relation to checking out what people thought of The Force Awakens. I don't know his channel very well, I'm afraid. 
Uh, clone of Kylo in episode 9 confirmed. His name is Kyle McCarthy. I mean, uh, anything could happen in episode 9. I wouldn't be opposed. Um, apparently. Apparently, Monkey Jones talked about the drama between Quentin and me yesterday. Oh, I uh, he did briefly. It's kind of interesting. I, I can talk about that for a second because obviously, I I saw it. I left a comment on his video as well. I'm trying to see if it's had any response. Um, but basically, he's he's talking about how Quentin was supposed to uh, come on their, their their interview or whatever, and then they're sorting it out, and it's going to be released soon enough. But then Monkey just casually says, "Do you know that he um." He, he and Rags had something going on, and he apparently lied about Rags, and then they sort of move on about it. And I've said that um, we would come on to his podcast if he wanted, so we could talk about what happened. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. But my comment only got two likes, and it fell into obscurity. You could try commenting if you want on the video. I'll give you the uh, the link. Because uh, I don't think he has a Twitter anymore. It got banned, so I don't know how to contact him. But yeah, you know, if anybody was wondering whether or not me and Rags would actually be up for it, we would. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. I think it'd be fun. A crossover of the state of the YouTube and EFAP, why not? Uh, Mola, just say subscribe to PewDiePie and then you're alright. Oh, don't even need to do that, apparently. Uh, Shapiro is an Aryan name, but anyway, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just popping in to drop this, you guys are hilarious, and yes, Rags eats minorities for fun. Rags? Seriously? What? I've told you several times about eating people. I haven't eaten anyone. I mean, like, not... I always... I taste people. Mm. I don't know about that. Sounds disturbing. Hey, Wolf, Ralph the Movie Maker featured you ranting about Justice League in the beginning of his video on the film that came out yesterday. He did, but it wasn't in any way a negative thing by the looks of things. I was... When someone said Ralph the Movie Maker referenced him, I checked it out, and I was like, please, please be nice for once. <laughs> like, please don't be like... Oh, this guy like hurts the movie, but uh, it seems like Ralph hated Justice League quite a bit as well. Um, Merry Christmas, you lovely folks. Mola, this is for your, your Christmas present. Fallout New Vegas and all its DLC, and for everyone else, you have my thanks. And for those, first those who have played it, what's your favorite DLC? Either of you guys played Fallout New Vegas? Uh, I've played. I have. It for I love it. It's one of my minutes. favorite games. I literally just started it. Well, one of my favorite games of all time. I was gonna say I have it and I need to play it eventually. I'm pretty so sure I have good. it. Um, but yeah, I only ever hear good things about New Vegas. Apart from, didn't a video come out recently? Oh no, it was um, I Hate Everything. Put out a podcast where him and his friends were trying to talk about how uh, New Vegas isn't as good as people say it is. Which was interesting. They were mainly gunning for the, um, I think the, the amount of bugs that are in it. I cannot remember. Based on the fact that I've only ever heard it just verbally related completely, I would believe it's not actually that good. It's it's it is a very it's a very good game. Um, it's got its flaws. It's a little dated, but I think it's still really really good. Like I could I could <clears throat> still play it. Like I've gone back and played it. Yeah, I've heard that it can... just needs uh, patches or you know mods. <clears throat> yeah, couple. and there's tons of mods for it. There's fucking tons of mods for it. Um, yes. Uh, I'm actually curious as to how you decide what is worthy of EFAP. Is there a criteria? By the way, I've been a fan of you guys for a year. Uh, I usually try and watch the first portion of a video and see if it can work. Like, I haven't. I don't know what's going to happen in the rest of this video now outside of what I saw in Jay's video on it. Um, we watched the Joseph Anderson ones ahead of time because I was shocked to see that they were actually as bad as they were. But then stuff like Major Lee's video, like I'd only seen five minutes of it, and then I was like, oh, this will be fun. Uh, but like criteria, complicated. There are, you know, because there's the idea, like, why don't we ever cover a video that's like really well made on here? And I don't think we would never do that. Like that might happen one day. Um, I just don't know the context in which we would do it. And I don't know how it would work. Would we be like play it, pause it, say we agree, then play, you know, how would, what would we do? I guess we could elaborate on why we agree, but, um, yeah, it's, it's complicated, there's not really a criteria, to be honest. Um, fellas, I need your help with the conundrum, you see, I acquired my wife who when I was 16, Parker. she is 14, I'm now 25 oh. years old, is it weird to keep my wife, or is it okay because she's, she's grandfathered in, I do not understand that at all. Say, say that one more time, I can help you out. 
I acquired my waifu when I was 16, she is 14, I am now 25, is it weird to keep my waifu or is it okay because she is grandfathered in? Well, she's 23 now, right? What does grandfathered in mean? Wait, what? Were they just saying she's, th she's 14 now? No, because it, they're the two years apart, so now his waifu's 23. And that's perfectly fine. No, I don't, I don't know if it's a meme. <laughs> like, I'm assuming it's some kind of weird... I don't know. We just say we, we, we nod and agree. I don't know what... What does she's grandfathered in mean? Oh, grandfathered in means that when a rule is applied to something that's kind of retroactive, it means all the things that it applied to that happened before the law took place are exempt under the law. Oh. Like if you ban like if you ban the sale of like a certain kind of firearm, but you've already purchased it and you own it, then it's legal for you to still have it. It's grandfathered in under the new law. Well, um, I mean, yeah, if you're twenty five and she's twenty three, that should be fine. Yeah, fucker. Houston Productions one and Brown Table Vids on TLJ are bad. Well, <clears throat> we got those two, and then we got Sean's video. Jenny Nicholson's video, and a couple of other people, including uh, Reality Punch Studios, I think it is. But the thing is, like, you guys don't want us covering The Last Jedi every episode, or every other, or even every, like, th three, I assume. It's kind of hard I'm for us to tell sure exactly how long. That. What was that, sorry? I'm sure there are people who want that. Well, I mean, you know, you've got to get some variety, but I don't know uh, how much people would, how, how much of a gap people would actually want, but, um, you know, we figure three episodes of things that aren't TLJ would probably be nice before another TLJ, or even more. We'll see. We'll see. Um, oh good, I'm only 20 minutes late. Another 20 to go till the first video dissection. Good to have a new EFAP. I have seen the other ones three times each and they were getting a bit bored. Oh, just infinite memes. <laughs> Is the Gimp Rhino Sin Sins? Will you milk him? I can't. It's a spider now, and even if we were to try and do it, he would see it coming because he could see the future, so... No, that's not possible. Um, did you know Fennec Foxes are... legal pet in the UK? The legal? Fennec Fox. Oh, it's like a little... it's little foxes with the big ears. Aww. They're legal pets, apparently. I didn't realize Here, the... Me, um... Are there laws for, like... Could you... I'm trying to think there are things that, if they're classified as dangerous, you need a license to own. Hmm. A lot of the times, if they're like exotic pets. That is very interesting. Once, when I was in Germany, I saw a, a lady on a tram with a fox. So, make of that what you will. We shall make of that what we wish to make of it. Um, it was on the lead. I still think the right opinion was a dope guest. I mean, we will be having him yeah, back he if he's okay with it. Um, we'll figure out when, you know, like I said, if we cover uh, an eventual Eric Taxon video that's talking about how I don't take criticism, uh, having TRO guest on that would be hilarious, but I don't know if, mm -hmm. if those two are friends, maybe TRO wouldn't want to do that, it's completely up to him. Um, well, he was friends with Quentin. <laughs> yes. So if he could be friends with Quentin. Allegedly, Rags, friends. allegedly they're friends. Yeah, allegedly. Uh, I'm so happy you're roasting this hack fraud. I hate sort of a sin so much. I just want to stick to my two index fingers into his urethra and then using my thumbs for leverage turn his male member inside out like a tube sock. That's you know, um, I can think of a channel you might that like. seems excessive. I was about to say, do you, are you aware of Sin Sins? <laughs> there is a channel on YouTube that uh, responds to him regularly or semi-regularly, I suppose. Um, I've, I've gone, I'm trying to respond to him less because I don't like being reliant on one other person like one individual's content mm -hmm. i have recently in the last like couple of months i have made like four five videos on him do people uh, is that what people that. mostly want do you find in your audience um they are of, of the last couple of months my most like some of my most viewed videos are not in response to cinema sense so oh, there you go. Is that wait? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> no, that's, I thing. I consider that good because it means I can branch out. I want to branch out and like, I I clearly can because people are still watching me when I talk about other stuff. Wait, why did Wolf say what the fuck? What are you doing, Wolf? Also, yeah. So yeah, if you guys don't already know, this is the halfway promotion, I guess. That's Sin Sin's channel. 
He, uh, he does what we're doing right now, so if you enjoy this, then, you know, it kind of makes sense to subscribe, I think. Yeah, but he's a specialist. Yeah, he does it even better than we do it. We're floored. Oh, I mean, he's, I mean, he's got autism, but you yeah, that's it. You that. You can't still ban you from Patreon. They will ban you from Patreon if you say that. Oh, you want rags? Mm hmm? Well, I've been, I've been getting some new info on this stuff. <clears throat> over oh, yes. uh, during the stream like matt christensen's tweet about it and nuance bros because patreon called some of these guys and they had conversations about things oh yeah i've heard about that really weird so yeah matt is saying let me scroll up and get it so matt christensen whom you all should watch and subscribe to said i just spoke with jacqueline hart the author of the sargon response statement from patreon for 30 minutes I am somehow even less confident in the platform now. We'll report back with a video by Saturday. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to release a recording of this conversation, but I will provide you with as much detail as possible. Mm. TLDR, Patreon is explicitly not pro-free speech, not pro-free market, and their terms of service enforcement is subjective by design. In another interesting tidbit, Patreon is watching my live streams and Joe Rogan's on the issue. Cool, I'm sure they're big fans. That's, uh, worrying, isn't it? And Nuance Bro, within the hour, said... Nuance Bro is a great channel, you should watch them too. Uh, just got off the phone with Patreon. I insisted on recording the conversation, but they said they wouldn't have the convo with me if I recorded it. When I explained the context of Sargon's comment, they said, Well, it wasn't just this one incident, and alluded to an earlier 2017 incident. When I asked for the specifics of the case, they said they would email me after the call, which doesn't help because context is everything, and I can't respond to something I have no info on. If it wasn't the only reason, they should have explained that in their post about the incident. And then Nuance Bro posts later, Oh no, they didn't. They just emailed me this. They are citing Sargon's incident at VidCon. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, A bullshit article from Mike? Yeah, the one with Anita. What did you do this there? Is absolutely the... ridiculous. Also, I don't even know what they're asking for me to look for in the YouTube video. But he didn't do anything there, right? He just sat Correct. there? Correct. He sat there. Anita Sarkeesian verbally berated him from the stage, and they're citing that as a reason why Sargon was booted from Patreon. I'm not making this shit up. That's, this is the stuff that they emailed to Nuance Bro, and he's putting out on Twitter. And they're using the bullshit hit piece from Mike, the Mike article. Well, uh, Patreon are not... I, I mean, I, I don't know if it's the same for you, Rag, but I have a lot of people on Patreon basically saying they can't support what? Patreon in general now anyway. Yeah, I've, I've lost some. I, people have told me that they're pulling out and they can't, and that's totally fine. I completely understand. And once I get back into the videos and um, into the swing of things, and once a stable alternative pops up, I'm switching that day. Like, I'm... I'm ready to be gone, man. Yeah, because subscribe star going it, through a bunch of problems right now as well. Oh yeah, it's all, it's all, it's fucking, it's a freaking cartel. I mean, Sword and Scale are the fifth largest content creator on Patreon. They pulled out. Uh, there's a channel um, with 1.1 million subs, and they pulled out of Patreon. Their wh what's their name? Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Any second to look for it. Scrolly scroll. But there, yeah, they made a, they made a channel. There's a channel with 1.1. 1, 1, yeah, Wrangler Star. They have 1.1 million subs on YouTube and they left Patreon. Um, Sam Harris left. I'm pretty sure that Dave Rubin is right on the cusp of leaving and so is Peterson. Mm. Um, I'm going to leave once, a, once an alternative pops up. I'm, I'm jumping ship too. Um, and the fact that they're like sending emails to people and getting into voice calls with people is, uh, it's, if to me, it feels like they were planning something like this and this is just, they're trying to enact it now. Yeah. It's just their excuse to get rid of people who aren't pro political correctness. Um, yeah, no, it's, um, it's a shame and it's just causing loads of fucking issues now all over the place for so many content creators when yeah, they just, it's too, it's at the baseline, it's hypocritical, like, there's people who are still on Patreon that have done way worse than what Sargon has done, so. Oh yeah, absolutely, it's, it's a, I mean, it's like, 
like uh, Matt said, their terms of service is subjective by design. They want to have that as an excuse so that they can get rid of anyone they don't like. Sargon is just a big figurehead, isn't he? He's not like the worst, but he's like the, the big one that people know about. Oh, yeah. Like, he's for a lot of people represents that group. Yeah, it's he's like... he's anti-political correctness. He's pro free speech. He's I mean, he's a classical liberal. He's he's just he's a very reasonable guy. But well, the chat won't agree with you on that one, I don't think. <laughs> well, they can they can disagree, but I don't think there's there's really no positions that he holds I think are extreme in any way. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I know enough about him to agree or disagree with that, but I've, I've seen a couple of like takedowns of him, but I have no idea whether or not they would be biased or like, you know, if they were taking you that out of context. Just watch his stuff. I've watched a couple, I've watched a couple of his videos, but I don't really enjoy them. Like, I, I, I <laughs> it's not what I really want to spend like my time doing. There are creators I prefer. Yeah, so he's very. There's, there's, he's got a huge amount of people who really like his content, and loads of people on the other side of the fence. Uh, but he's been made the poster boy for whether or not Patreon can be trusted now. So he's going to be on people's minds as a topic because of the fact that they've done this. Like, this is the thing. I don't even know that um, there'll be people who are pulling out of Patreon that may or may not have ever seen content from Sargon. It's just because of the principle. If they don't like the principle. It's uh, not. It's not something they want to support, and that's that's basically what the, the the thing is. And it's relevant because me and Rags and Jay actually, and and if Wolf decided to get it back up again, uh, we're all people who like Patreon or at least use it to support our channels. So it's complicated and unfortunate. And yeah, I'm I'm more curious to see how this all unfolds and what we end up with. If there'll be alternatives or if Patreon will roll back the decisions. I don't know if they've gone too far to ever do that, as in, like, they wouldn't want to be seen as someone who undo these things, you know? I feel like if they undid this, they would just piss off the people who agreed with it, and they wouldn't fully, like, redeem themselves in the eyes of the people well, who didn't. Sargon said that if they reinstated his account, he still wouldn't... He, he'd close yeah. it anyway. I wouldn't expect him to carry on in there, because they've done it already. Yeah, and, and they're kind of at the point where no matter what they do at this point, they've already played their hand. Like, they've made their move, and they've made it known that they're not just sketchy at this point, they're just outright. They want to get people that they don't like off, and they want to essentially rob them of, potentially rob them of their livelihoods. Because that's what they'll do. That's what these people do. And like, like, if they don't like your politics, if they don't like your opinions, then they want you, they don't want you to have your livelihood. They want to deplatform you, they want to silence you. of Jack Conti specifically talking about that? Oh, many. Like, he, he was on the Rubin Report talking about it. Like, he explicitly was saying, if you're a content creator and you want to have these discussions, then you have absolutely nothing to fear and nothing to worry about, and we would never take you down for having da 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 and, you know, here we are. Oh, uh, I hate Planet Earth. This timeline sucks. And he was making, like... 12 grand a month from Patreon. And just like that, no warning, no email, no call, just poof, it's gone. You'd think they, if they were doing this from a position of they want to make things better, they could have told him, like, this is your final warning from what we found. Do this again and we'll cancel your account. Because he could at least <laughs> then be like, oh, okay. But um, that's, part of, that's part of the principal problem. But anyway... I will go back to um, two super chats. Will there be a just right seven basic questions of narrative drama EFAP? Um, that's actually you can find that on me and Wolf doing it on on his channel. It's called uh, Muller and or Dishonored Wolf and Muller against Just Right or something like that. But I think we'll cover it again on here sometime because it's quite the interesting video in terms of um, I don't know mental gymnastics, I suppose. Uh, what happened to the acting male stream? Was it conflicting times? I know he wasn't able to show up then. Is there any chance he could show up? I think he's trying to say act man. And, um, Wolf did explain it that he was unable to show up and then we weren't able to do some form of a reschedule. I think that was the last stream Wolf did before he took his break, so. Shame. Yeah, you probably want to set it up again in future sometime, maybe. Um, yeah. Hey, Muller, I watched every your very first video, Dark Descent versus Machine for Pigs, last night. You've come a long way. Also, EFAP Linkara, please. <laughs> I mean, yes, that is a really old set of videos that are interesting to compare to my new ones, but 
As for Linkare, like I said, at most we could play that section for the memes. It's kind of funny, but I mean, it's not not, not much to cover, I would say. Um, have you guys played Spec Ops The Line? If so, what do you think about it? Have you guys played I've it? I've only heard of it. I haven't played it. I played it. It's neat. Oh, Actman calls himself Acting Male. Okay. I don't know that. I really don't watch his channel, I didn't know that either. Um, but yeah, Spec Ops The Line was, was cool. I found... The mechanics a little boring after a while though, um, but I thought the story was neat, and the comments it was making about um, things. I will just say things. Um, if you're interested to do the prequels, I recommend SF Debris video about Lucas, Hero Journey, and Rest. He has an interesting take on decisions he made there. I think there's going to be a lot of videos I have to watch in prep for the prequels. Anakin aimed Dooku's head. Thor sucks. SW3 greater than Infinity War. I'm gonna say I agree. I have no idea what I'm dealing with there. I was off by five minutes, God damn it! I mean... I think you guessed we'd be 40 minutes before we started and we were like 35. I'm so sorry. Gotta go eat supper, don't eat fap too hard while I'm gone. Been a full-on hardy fap today. That reaction is why I always hesitate to tell people I've seen neither Harry Potter- Oh yeah, I did read that one out. Half of America is Erica de Girl with followers. That's probably referencing when I was talking about, um... Justin Bieber, I imagine. Um... Thanos is Darth Plagueis confirmed, but anyway, guys, beautiful. Hey guys, big fan of it, enjoying the EFAB, keep up the good work, and hopefully this video makes Mola do his evil laugh. Oh, I didn't know I had a evil laugh. Might be an impression. Um, I was going to say, by the way, because we could, we could definitely talk about it, but I guess I'll do a reassurance. Um, for those who don't know, I'm putting out a new video on Christmas. It's going to be long, it's fully edited, and more is happening, so I am making content for people who feel like I'm not making content, just clarification. I don't know if you want to make any kind of comment on that as well, Rags, in case people are concerned. I sh I'll try to have it out the morning of the 22nd. Mm -hmm. There you go. We got videos on the way is the point. How long is, how long is yeah. yours, Rags, to reassure Night them? Oh, it's going to be long. Like hours? Hour? <laughs> it's going to be probably over an hour. Well, there you go. There's stuff on the way, absolute guarantee. Um, I'm putting yeah. out a video then and New Year's Eve, but the New Year's Eve one's different from the TFA series, and the, the second part is already on the way, working on it. This is all on the Patreon, I, I throw updates on there, and obviously, if I one day do the subscribe stuff thing, I'll just do updates on both of them, I guess, I don't know. We'll figure that out down the line. Uh, do you guys share the profits from the Super Chats? If no, why not? Uh... Yeah, Mahler. Well, I mean, I just, you know... No, it's fine. Rags, if he does his streams, he keeps the, the, the channel income he gets. Same for Wolf. And, uh... Yeah, that's, I mean, you know, ultimately, even I would consider Rags and Wolf co-hosts. But if they were to be unavailable, EFAP would continue, because it's mainly, like, I'm just trying to bring people on and do this thing. Um... But yeah, like, I think you said you're going to start streaming again, aren't you, once you've got your yes, new video out? Yes, because I can stream, yes. And I will happily will jump be... on them if you would like me to, oh, and yeah, then will be on. it's the same for Wolf as well. Like, I think he's starting his backup once, I think, in the new year, so, you know, it's it's the kind of thing where we just do our own channels sort of stuff. And I try and sort out all of the technical stuff while I just only ask them that they show up. Um, and obviously, if they don't want to, they don't have to as well. It's completely up to them. And then we have guests, like... Time time traveling spiders or whatever it is, that's that sort of shit. Just, just saying. Spiders that can see the future. Time traveling spiders is the same thing. If they can look into the future, you may as well be traveling. Let's be honest. Because they can't go into the past. It's totally they the can't same skip thing. Time. Uh, this is this is the most important point that's been brought up yet. That's another super chat that wants us to cover Linkara. <laughs> Really, people really want us to cover that. Uh, new Lego movie song, everyone's a Nazi, everyone's a fascist, where we disagree, everything is sexist. That's that's wonderful. Everything's racist when it's about me. You, know, you have to squeeze that in, but, but you can. Um, wasn't that song a commentary on how awful society is, though, in the Lego movie? It was almost implying that um, we're encouraged to just treat it as though everything's fine, even though it's not. Yes. And a lot of people did take it as a dumb song that was encouraging that mindset of everything's awesome. And it's like, I think, I mean, it's a kid's movie, but apparently 
I've always felt the Lego movie has a couple of things to say that slip under the radar, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I the like second one's coming out pretty soon, isn't it? I'm not sure how I feel about a second one. I don't think the film needed a second one, but hopefully it's still good. Um, I never watched any Star Wars, but here's an idea to fix the Force and Rey. In every million Force users, one is so special they learn everything quicker and have Super Force. Said special person would die in a few weeks from how powerful the Force is in them. I mean... I mean, if it makes Rey die... <laughs> I was gonna say, she'll be, she'll be dead soon then, right? Uh, you know, they could still do that. Um, yeah, I would just fix from the ground up. Avengers 4... Is Fallout 76? I don't, I don't know about that one. Graphics card is a cuisine art. Nobody expects the British sin cuisition. Nice. Thanos represents socialism because of his Adidas chin. I don't know how to Adidas respond chin. to that. Adidas chin. Every frame of software programming, every frame of getting distracted just like Jared. I'm pretty sure this is, at the, this is the point where we were trying to figure out what graphics card I had. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching this insult interlude. This is why you should never do a Cinema Sins video. There's many arguments for that. This arguing is hilarious. Merry Christmas, guys. That must have been the graphics card, absolutely. Oh, no, wait. What was the argument Wolf and Rags were having? I forget. <laughs> it was, um... There were a few in this stream, I feel like, already. Fuck, I've completely forgotten. It's because the elevator music, it, it's convinced me to forget it. Um... Oh, someone's asked in, a, in an actual thingy what's your take on the whole Patreon oh. thing, so you've got your answers for that already. Uh, there you go. Infinity stones are implied. Right click, start, and click device manager. It should be under display adapter. There you go. This, you can definitely tell through the super chats where we are. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You're toxic because you don't agree with him. Just that. They have no principles or consistency. They're hypocrites by nature. There is no logic in their philosophy or behavior. I can only yeah, well, yeah. assume that's about Eric Taxon, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure, but, um... Well, I mean, yeah, I've, I've met those types all the time. Speaking of Spidey, what are your thoughts of no mention of Uncle Ben in Homecoming, aka the reason why he's a superhero? We don't need to see it. How many times have we seen Thomas and Martha die? I actually thought it was cliche when, um, we saw Thomas and Martha die again in Batman vs Superman. They have the, the quick flashback, and you even see the pearls fall to the ground, and at that point I was just like... How many times have I actually seen Batman's mum and dad die and the pills fall to the ground? Is that in the comic? It must be in the comic, because I feel like somebody's getting it from somewhere. But um, I thought it was great that they didn't show Uncle Ben dying again, because I kind of think I might have started finding it funny. It's a, it's a subtle um, subtle reference to the, the liberation of clams everywhere. And I get that people would be like... But now we don't know how he became a superhero, and it's obviously a reaction you know. to the fact that, yeah, we've had two major franchise movies for Spider-Man that have both ended. Like you all know. And, I don't know, I thought it was clever that they were like, instead of doing an origin Spider-Man movie, we will do a, a, a just continuation, we'll move on, because you can assume what Spider-Man's history was, but because uh, of all the stuff we've had already, but I can understand why people would have been annoyed about it. The pills killed Batman's parents. They slipped on the pills. Uh, Marvel Batman's presents... parents didn't just die. They were murdered. That's actually true in this case. <laughs> well, yeah. Can't be hyperbolic at that point. Well, yeah. Marvel presents Spider-Rhino into the milk verse. I'd watch it. <laughs> um, Can you imagine a rhino with six legs? Oh. Spiders have eight legs. Yeah, but could you imagine a rhino <laughs> with six legs? He's asking a completely uh, different question, Jay. Jeez. Uh... On the note of spider future sets, all spiders have microscopic hairs and fibers all over their bodies. This allows them to detect minuscule changes in air pressure and vibrations around them, giving them a sixth sense. Well, there you go. That, um, sounds, like, that sounds like the feeling of touch. That's a sense we already have. True, but it's like super high. Super high. It's the twelfth sense. It's like Daredevil saying that he doesn't have an additional sense, just all the same senses but good aside from sight. But you know. You know. I never liked Cinema Sins for his smart-ass tone. It just makes him sound like he thinks better for everybody. I mean, you could say that about me and Rags, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean... Just, yeah, but we're, uh, yeah, but ours is satire. Yeah, ours is okay, because it's not totally real, 100%. It's totally a character. I finally learned how to super chat after 10 EFAPs. I'm a smarty boy. Wonderful. Am I the only one who was annoyed about CW saying Leia and Han were on a mission in Empire? Cinema wins, saying they're on a mission in Empire. They were just fleeing the Empire the whole movie. 
Um, oh, he was trying to compare it to Empire, I guess. So, uh, you know, like, we shouldn't be complaining about the B-plot in Canto Bite if we're not going to complain about the Bespin plot, if you will. But there are so many reasons why that's just not comparable. Um, because, yeah, they're not on a mission. They're just running away from the Empire. Um, hey, I'll be right back. It's all good. Uh, love your channel. Really looking forward to TFA video. Love to see videos where you perform surgery with a butcher knife. Beautiful. That's. I don't know if. I don't know if I'd recommend that though. Are oh, you doing Nefap on CinemaSins video? I hope you finish your stream before 2019. We're getting there. Um, I love what you guys do. You should also watch Linkara's review. See, there's another request. <laughs> Unless it's important to the plot, movies don't need to explain every little detail and is needless exposition when they do. But sometimes there's things that are worth explaining. Because like, then CinemaSins will be unhappy if they don't do that. True, so. but you know like the one where she was suspended in midair? It's like, the idea is the movie's told us that she's trapped, suspended in midair, <laughs> and then she- I, I feel like the fact that it cuts away from that, even though it was perfectly capable of showing us how it escaped, is the movie like, literally telling us it doesn't really matter how she escaped. She just, just did. She did. <laughs> yeah. If I was more, more openly critical of this film, I probably would, uh... Uh, that would have annoyed me more, but um, so if I was making like a breakdown of this movie, I probably would focus on that, but you know, I'll employ the just right response. Subjectively speaking, it didn't bother me. I mean, I get the impression that if they wanted to write a way out of that for uh, Nebula, they could have very easily, and they just cut because they like you know, they're like, we don't need to spend time showing you this rather than we couldn't really figure out how she did it. Um, Cynical Reviews has just added me in a post that says, Film director says most of Hollywood secretly hated The Last Jedi and that journalists are forced to give fake positive reviews. That seems unlikely. Let me have a look, hang on. Honestly, I don't know anybody out here, maybe two people in my life and hundreds of people I've talked to that like the movie. All the filmmakers I know that won't talk about it publicly. All the people I know internally, there's all these people that won't even journalists that gave it positive Alrighty. reviews. What One moment, Wolf. I'm just listening to something. Journalists that gave it positive reviews are like, I do You're that because I need something. to maintain my access. Like, uh, by the way, to the person in the chat who asked me if I saw the Hellboy trailer, I thought it looked horrible. Fucking, I openly say I'm listening to something, and then Jay is like, blah, 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 blah. Fucking, Jay's the worst. Yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, I don't know how, how trustworthy of a source it is, but um, I will... Keep an eye on it for another time, but that's interesting if if true. Where are all these little notifications? <gasps> oh, the little fairy <laughs> fox is. Oh, it's just the one fox wolf. Or did you post loads? No, you posted two. two. Oh. Oh, okay. How dare you ignore the second? I mean, you. you know, they're what? adorable. Sometimes, the first one is sometimes two is too many. You know what? I'm saying that. That's what I'm saying. Hey, in the famous words of Tommy Wiseau, two is okay, but three is a crowd. What about four? <laughs> I don't know, I'd have to ask Tommy yeah, about that. Yeah, no fucking answer for four. Um, also, I'm nearly at the end of reading the Super Chats, that's what we've been doing this whole time, Wolf. Yeah, I know, I've been listening the whole time. <laughs> and you, Mr. Guy, who was talking about, like, flipping a dick inside out? What's oh. wrong with you? That's what you were saying, what the fuck, too. Now I understand. Yeah, I, um, was in the, I was just in the car driving over to the pharmacy, and then I hear that, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking uh, about? It was weird, it was weird. Um, would you guys ever host Mumkey Jones or El Eli Walls? I don't know who the second one is, but yeah, Mumkey would be allowed on here, even though he would say such controversial things that would get him banned from, get us all banned from YouTube, I guess. Would the join button on YouTube be a good alternative? Um, apparently I've I've actually approved for that to be on my channel, but it doesn't show up. So I don't What's know. What's that? It's essentially enabling subscriptions on YouTube, like monthly subscription. So a subscription to what? That's the thing. It's it's like Patreon, where you don't necessarily get anything, but you can then keep up monthly donations of a, of a sort, I suppose. That's it, okay. Why not? Patreon has started nuking people, so let's switch to YouTube. Well, which I was going to say, nicer, YouTube, not nuking people. this is a good time for YouTube to bring something like that in. But uh, yeah, I've enabled it, but it doesn't show up. So I'm going to have to talk to like a YouTube person eventually or something. Because I remember YouTube used to have like a donation button. 
Yes. And then it came out that. that like YouTube got most of the donations anyway. They still get most of it. It's like well, not most of it. Oh, it, they, oh, it's they still a, a thing. No, I mean they just they still get a lot a bigger cut of the revenue. Oh, you mean like from super chats? Yeah, like they they have a decent. Okay. They, for example, I think Patreon is five percent, while YouTube is thirty something percent. So that's a lot more. It's a lot. So more. you guys have to send thirty percent more than you want. <laughs> <laughs> So if you send principle. if you send a dollar, you gotta send dollar thirty. Um, someone's asking what what's our most hyped film of twenty nineteen? Oh shit! Endgame. I feel like I have an answer to this endgame. that isn't Endgame. Hold on, I need that. to look up. What the else movies, is coming out? Uh, twenty nineteen. I don't know. I keep I forgetting. Saw, I saw a nine. trailer. Oh for good Captain god! State. There are so many bad movies coming out next year. There is Captain Marvel, Aladdin, The Lion King, oh my god, Dumbo, <laughs> Star Wars Episode Nine. <laughs> I love that. Dark Phoenix. It it's like Jesus Christ. It's like the. You just look it up and it's like, wow, you're you're so, really trying so to prepare went... us for the worst. Dude, uh, who it, asked that question? It Chapter Two. Oh, that that should be good. Yeah. So, good. I I saw um, Mortal Engines the other day. Is awful. Don't go see it. And <laughs> um, there was a trailer for a film called Captive State that looked kind of interesting. So I'm I'm curious what that's all about. So all right. that's my answer, apart from, you know, Endgame. Oh my god, we're getting Frozen 2. Oh. oh. Also, oh. okay. I thought people were like, you know, they didn't like Frozen yeah, 1 well, in the first place. The fucking song lasted for ages. Oh, the Joker was, movie? Yeah, because everyone loves that fucking basic bitch song. All I know about the Joker whatever, movie is Joaquin Phoenix is playing him, and that's enough to say you should go see it. And I was like, fucking oh. Deadpool two pointed out that Frozen stole a song from a different movie. I didn't know that. Yep, it's one of the <laughs> jokes. They actually make that joke twice in that movie. Frozen two freeze harder. Oh, Far From Home. I'm really excited. About that. <laughs> freeze Far harder. <laughs> yeah, Far From Home could be cool. Um. Oh, also Captain Marvel. We're all very excited for that, I think. I hope it's good. Yep. I, I hope I, Tommy I, I honestly makes forgot a rude... that even existed. Wow. You hate women? Is that is that what's happening here? Yeah. Oh, well, John Wick 3. Mm. Is it John Wick 3? In 2019. You know how the last one ended. Well, definitely, I yeah. I'm, I very, I, I'm, I'm excited to see John Wick 3. I very controversially do not like John Wick 2. All right. I'm one of them evil people. I love John Wick. I'm 1, just, though. I'm just really averse to the idea of the fact of them that they're making a fucking Lion King remake. I hated the trailer so much, like to the core of my soul, I wanted to die. Well, it's like why can't Disney focus on, you know, trying to create new classics instead of going like, oh, it's yeah, because you're every to... new movie they make is shit. That's your opinion. <laughs> so no, true. Hey, that... hang on, Disney make Marvel films technically too. Uh, Marvel was doing things. Marvel was doing its thing before it was acquired by Disney. I'm not giving them credit for that shit. Will you give them credit what for Star really Is Untitled Terminator? Project. I mean, look, they're making fucking three remakes: the uh, uh, Lion King, Aladdin, and Dumbo. Like, who the fuck cares about Dumbo? Hellboy. That looks like it's gonna be shit. If Jim Crow isn't in oh. the new Dumbo, I will boycott it. Was oh, the... Jim Crow's not going to be in it. I don't think they'd do that. It's <laughs> not happening. The film I'm least excited for is Artemis Fowl. It looks horrible. Cool. You're more excited Let's for all episode go see it together. nine. I haven't heard the name Artemis Fowl since I was like a seven year old. Holy shit. <laughs> they, they look, the movie just looks atrocious. I, I don't. Oh god, the new Terminator really film too. Yeah, the new I'm Terminator is something Terminator I'm definitely projects. concerned about. Mahler, we're gonna ha I'm gonna have to like fly Wait, they, out to the UK Terminator? to see it with you just because I don't want to have to suffer through that alone. I hate it because I've I need to make a Terminator Genesis video. What's, and before I can get that live? done, I'm gonna have to do the fucking new one. Where do you live, Wolf? Michigan. Ah, oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zombie Land 2 is coming out. That could be good. Yeah. Detective Pikachu could be Maybe. all right. I don't know. Zombieland I don't know how you make a sequel out of Zombieland exactly. Like it's, it's fine. I don't know. I just have him fiddle fuck around for two hours. I'll be entertained. Fair enough. Oh what god! What have to do in Star Wars? Angry Birds two. Oh, oh my god! Yes, fuck. I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, boy. 
Jesus Christ, why, did, why doesn't Slender, or Slender, Sony make another Slenderman movie while they're no, at it? I mean, they Jesus another, Christ. They need to make that another, movie make money. Uh, bye bye, man. <sighs> no, it made practically nothing. Oh, God, the kid who would be king. Have you seen the trailer for that? What is that? Oh, are they are they ripping off the man who would be king, which is like I, one of the best movies I've ever seen? I don't. I've never With seen it. I, I just know that the kid who would be king. I saw the trailer um, uh, recently, and it looks like absolute shit. It's like I, I will give you the premise. It's a little fat kid who finds Excalibur, and then he has to fight aliens or something. Oh. Hey, Rags, I like that you've by seen way, that film, by uh, the way. What, the man who would be king? Yeah, it's cool. I oh, like it's that so film. fucking good. I remember my dad showed me when I was really young. and it's that, such My a... dad showed me that when I was young. <laughs> it's a Jared's in the movie. chat. Jared! Hello there, Jared. It's real man who would be king. Wait, put, put up that picture that chick with for him to see. Bro, what the fuck? I know, oh, right? Yeah, hang on, let me find the picture. Jared, don't leave. Just, just look at the screen for a little bit. I... We're gonna show you. You got some fan art, buddy. <laughs> And yeah, uh, we'll I will we'll read out here. more the rest of the super chats at, at at the end, I suppose. But we'll uh, all right. Here it is. Someone created I this, Jared. I love what he's doing with the hair. Side note: Mortal Engines could lose one hundred million dollars. Cool, isn't that? <laughs> I think that's somewhere near what Solo lost. I can't remember. I need to. It. I remember. Remember, Robin Hood was a movie that came out. Uh, oh, the new one that came out this yeah. year? When you said that, I immediately thought of the Russell Crowe one. I was like, no, he's talking about the other one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, I, I like the Russell Crowe one. I haven't seen but, it. Oh, it's it's good. It's worth seeing. But I mean, it's funny that I remember but that one before the one, one that's dude. just come out. Yeah, I haven't seen the Russell Crowe one either, but that was the first thing I thought of. And then I was like, oh, no, wait, they made another one. Well, they made one. one this year. It came out in November, <laughs> at the end of November. We've all forgotten it. I, I really <laughs> didn't know about it in the first place. Jared says, oh my god, he's a queer. <laughs> I got there, Get on you, Jared. There are more. We love you, buddy. There are more memes as well. There are, there are four memes in which I must share. I, the, that's four the first memes. one. I, I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I mean, it is a meme. So it's worth sharing. Um, the fuck is wrong with his eyes? Do know. you not see the genius of the last Jedi raggers? <laughs> Thanos raggers. Thanos <laughs> raggers. <laughs> And there's, there's this one. You get a lot of creative ideas with this, you know? Please, just let me die. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking spider! Oracle spider. No. Dang, this one's saying <laughs> this it one's a weird one. 150 million, damn. This is a weird one? Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> it's like the layers Wait, of memes. What is it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, so Kylo Ben Sarah Rhino <laughs> being milked by Maul. <laughs> Possibly the greatest of all time. Oh god, another one? This is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Is that, wait, is that the, the, the McDonald's creature? The purple it's McDonald's creature? <laughs> Dude. I feel like I'm on DeviantArt from 2006. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. This is awesome. EFAP is weird. I, th I think we've definitely crossed into that territory now. Um, oh my god, look at his fucking mustache. It just looks... It looks off-putting. Oh. Uh. Uh, Mumkey Jones has sent me a PM saying he'd happily get us <gasps> on... Uh, of the YouTube. Hooray! Cool. That'll be cool. I'll see. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know anything about Monkey Jones aside from Anybody with an animal avatar could be okay. Well, the, the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure Monkey doesn't actually like me. I'm not sure if he knows who I am. Like, because he's said things about me before. <laughs> yeah, he sniped at you a bit. I don't mind, because I snipe at people. I just wonder if Wait, he's... what's he said? Well, he said I'm really bad for film criticism, and I tell people that they're not allowed to like things. Okay, is Mumkey like... I mean, I know I'm being a little hyperbolic since, you know, people call us alt-right when we're all left-wingers. Well, would he be, like, left-wing in our sphere, or lefter wing I have no idea. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. Yeah, I don't really mind. I'll happily talk to him about all this shit anyway, because... Oh, no, I... 
Yeah, I don't really care either. I just heard, I mean, when you said fil bad for film criticism, I was like, well, mm. From what I understand, he'd, he's the kind of guy who'd be like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. I was just, I was just, you know, ranting about YouTube channels, whatever, and I'd be like... Yeah, I know, it's like mo most of the people that, like, criticize us or we criticize they never them. Watched us. They have no idea who we are, they just... Yeah, they're, they're generally very far left, so when you tell me that a guy says that you're bad for film criticism, I immediately think pretty far left. For, for, you're right, but it's like, why though? <laughs> like, why, why is that the case? I don't know, I guess it's like the left just has the worst taste in films for some reason, I'm not sure. You know, label and dismiss is the tactic generally. Which is what you guys just did. You said the left like bad films. Label and dismiss. Well done, Wolf. Well done. Even though you consider yeah. yourself left sometimes. I do consider myself left. It's just like, the rest of the lefters are like, mm. <laughs> The catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm that guy who's like in the classroom full of like retards, and I'm like in the corner, like just just don't associate with them. All right, we we are totally going to continue with the video. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog is coming out. <laughs> we didn't need to be reminded of that, Rags. Man, what is wrong with you? But yeah, uh, you have to see this one. Oh God, is this one going to be even better than the <laughs> deviant art picture? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's amazing. It's got a little Thanos. <laughs> the whole thing is great. I like that. I like that. Kylo Ben Thanos. Kylo Ben Thanos. Oh, it's amazing. We'll never be able to have an episode of EFAP anymore because we'll be too busy laughing at memes. Like, <laughs> it's like oh yeah, we oh, have no. videos actually like laughing at memes. Is say it... like again? Huh? Like? Do I say like weird? Like. This isn't the first time I've heard someone say that. I haven't noticed. Like. 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 Come on, precious crystal fox boy, you gotta give me a little bit more instruction than that. Is Although I do love the fact that you actually made your username precious crystal fox boy. Are you, are you guys, are we, are we, uh, I know this is a weird thing to say, but are you guys good for me to press play on this thing? Oh, yeah, I forgot we were watching a video by yep. a shitty person. <laughs> you should probably... Now this baby and we're... Oh god, I forget. Yeah, it's weird we're, to get back into the groove actually. We're like halfway through and I've been streaming for like three hours. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I feel like we break the record every time. This is actually the longest I think we've ever spent, but I don't know. What are the odds of far from means, though? It's true. Long planet moon like Titan would have air breathable by humans. But yeah, that's in house well, logic apparently. Well, apparently 100%. I was going to say, in house rule for MCU is that every planet has fucking oxygen apparently. So wait, at the end of Captain America, Red Skull touches the Space Stone and is sent into space to be a sort of keeper of the Soul Stone? It really just no, seems like No, he becomes the Witch King of Germany. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, um... Come on, saying, don't you know your Nazgul? Him saying it really seems like a reason to shoehorn Red Skull back into the story, I would be like... Oh, you, you gotta put up the video, they can't see it. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> um... <laughs> The... You see, what would you do without me monitoring the chat and being the word of the people? That Remember the reason the why we did this in the first place? Yeah, I'm like the mouth of Sauron, only I, like, speak for the chat. <laughs> you picture the mouth of Sauron being like, Sauron, you, you don't have the light on. <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to address the orcs, and it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> fucking idiot, put the light on. Oh, he, um... he forgot to put on his fucking armor, and he's like, dude. They can tell you're an elf. Oh shit! Yeah, Wolf, you're officially the hero of the stream now. You did that. Um, oh, was that a spoiler? Hooray! Ignore that. What? That Sauron's an elf? <laughs> let it, <laughs> let him think that's a spoiler. It's, it's it's not really important. Thank but you for, <laughs> thank you for Spawn Camp for sending two dollars to let us know the video isn't not on the screen. That's, uh, <laughs> Mate, that's, that's a hero right there. Someone video. said mouth of Sauron wolf artwork. Oh god. You never no, you got me for that. Afraid, I'm afraid of what would happen with that. Um, what, like, horrifying monster... Oh, they shot, probably just put, like, a wolf's muzzle popping out of the helmet. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that uh, could yeah. actually be funny. To say that they did this to shoehorn Red Skull back into the story, does he even affect the story? He's just there. Uh, yeah, it's more of a cameo, there. isn't it? Yeah, I'd say it's a cameo at most. Like, it's meh. Um, making him Red Skull, it could have been anybody. It doesn't really matter. I don't know, I guess they just made him Red Skull because it- they could tie it in in some way. That's it. But they don't have to introduce a new character for it. I guess it- I guess it's so that we have the answer of what happened to him when he got absorbed by the- the goop in Captain America now. 
Because it didn't look like he died, he like got transported, and this is apparently <laughs> where he went. He I, I would give it that it seems... Who wants to go? <laughs> go ahead. I'll leave. I'll I give it to him that it seems kind of uh, arbitrary that this is what happened to him. That he he touched like, oh, the uh, which stone was it? The space stone, and then got sent to guard the soul stone. He didn't even guard it. He's just he apparently guides people to it. Oh yeah, Wh and, whatever he does. And this is the thing: you could be like that. Is, why why is that happening? And I'd be like, why not? I don't know. There's no rules on what happens when you touch the tesseract, is there? Even though Fury touches it, but he has a glove on, so. Oh, I mean, look, this is just what happens when <laughs> elves go to Valinor. I mean, look at what happened to Elrond. He got fucked up. This is true. This is what this is how Elrond ended up. This has nothing to do with Red Skull. <laughs> yeah, this is what Tolkien forgot to put in the appendices. And you know, when it comes to in Hugo Weaving was in Mortal Engines. Oh, oh dear. I it saddens me when good people are in bad things. <laughs> it wasn't like, it wasn't bad in the film. Good people. Like, 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 it wasn't bad. I mean, I mean he, did, Patrick, he did a fine job. I mean, it's just played look, a good dog character. Fucking Patrick Stewart played a shit in, <laughs> like, a literal shit in the Emoji movie. No, That's a literal true. shit emoji. He was Huge a, difference. Okay, he was still a shit. Yeah, but these days, if you're a good actor, what are your what are your options? I've literally he got was, a list he, of no, 2019 movies. No, no, no. He wasn't shit. He Look. was the shit. Okay. Yeah, it is tough, Wolf. How does an actor know well, if a movie's going to be bad? He, he can't even know. be the shit because he had a kid who was also a shit. No, uh, he the kid was being a little shit. Oh, you know, you're both being little shits. How about that? Dun dun dun. You see, Mauler, this is why me and Rags hook up, but we don't involve you. <gasps> yeah. You guys hang out without me sometimes. Well, nope. <laughs> Rags is like, no, no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, I don't think anybody cares the Red Skull really turned up here, because it doesn't really matter, that's what I was saying. Shoehorn Red Skull back into the story more than anything that makes sense. Guiding I'm sorry, what would have made sense when, when he got transported by the sto the, the Tesseract? Yeah. What, what exactly is the outcome there that's supposed to happen? <laughs> <It's> like, <Yeah. laughs> uh, obviously he was supposed to go to heaven, idiot. He, he was supposed to, to turn into a constellation like the <laughs> dragon at the end of Dragonheart. He goes to Nazi oh, yeah. heaven. Wait, which Dragonheart movie? The first one? Well, that's typically the one I think like about. I try, oh, yeah, you I, reviewed yeah. the Dragonheart. Four yeah, I reviewed the fourth one that had Patrick Stewart in it, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, is it like Patrick, uh, Patrick. Aladdin, King of Thieves, where they bring back Robin Williams? There was a, wait a minute. There was a second Aladdin? There was a third Aladdin. What the fuck? Okay, listen. So there's three Aladdin movies, soon to be four, right? The the second and third were straight to VHS, but I want bear with me. The third one is actually good. They got Robin Williams back. I know that they like had an Aladdin TV show, or maybe there was a Herc or no, yeah, I think they, they, I think they there was an Aladdin and a Hercules TV show. But it was, it was 1996. They made Aladdin and the King of Thieves. And it's actually good. Oh, There's a okay. party here in <laughs> Um, Yeah, I guess, I guess I guess Zenith needs the clarification again. So, uh, uh, like I said, it has no effect on the story whether or not Red Skull is here. So to say that it's convenient that he ended up here, like, wouldn't make sense. To say they're shoehorning him back in, I could agree with that, but who cares? What, what relevance does it have that Red Skull is here? And how do you know it wasn't possible for him to end up here as a result of the Tesseract? It's just, it's the same inference back and forth. If someone said, he was hit by the Tesseract, he couldn't possibly end up here. I could be like, he was hit by the Tesseract. It doesn't make sense he'd go anywhere but here. Nobody ain't got nothing. But uh, yeah, I mean, if he turned out to like, take over the world as a result of this or something, I'd probably be like, yeah, this is kind of weird. But, you know, whatever. Others to a treasure I cannot... I actually thought, by the way, I don't know if you guys agree with this, but you know when... I think I talked to Wolf and Jay about it when we rewatched the movie, but, um... The line where, where, where Thanos is crying, and then... Gamora's like, what? what? You're crying because you're sad about not being able to take over the world? And then it, it pans over to Red Skull, and he's like... Such tears are not f for him. And then she goes, oh my god. And it's like, I think she could have figured that out, or at least we could have figured that out, just by having the seed without 
exposition, man. And I wonder why Red Skull would even say that. Like, what would be his investment to let her know? He you know? broke his little Nazi heart. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's just... That's sad. Hey, he's a ring wraith now. He, he doesn't help. have a heart. Well, here's the thing. You don't know that, that. This is Nazi hell. He has to spend Nazi. eternity helping people who are not white. I have to say, Nazi hell is a lot less brutal. Than he that. has to spend an eternity amongst people who aren't white. Well, yeah, a purple, a purple guy and a green chick walk up, and you have to help them, and you're, an, and you're a Nazi. How do you think you're going to feel about it? You have to help a purple man take over like, the universe. It, it's God, there's so many more layers to this scene than I ever thought. Satan's Fucking sitting brilliant. there, and he's like, what do you think of that, huh? Green people, the man. Nazi is red, so he's not even white now. Didn't think about that, did you? And he's like, green's not so bad. It's like, what about purple then, huh? What about that? Uh, purple. So, <laughs> do you think the planet is just so big that all the Nazis, like, they couldn't possibly find each other, so they just have to deal with all the multicultural aliens that just show up to get well, imagine, rocks? Imagine you landed on the other side of the planet. And you were like, right, where's this stone? And they just have to walk around for ages, and you just see in the distance, Elrond is like, hey! hey. <laughs> Alright, save you some time. Right what here, do you think guys. Elrond does up there all the time? Does he just, like, play Sudoku? Masturbates. <laughs> that would be a long time of doing that. Yeah, well, what else are you gonna fucking do? I, I don't know. Is there... Space alien solitaire? Maybe he's got like fucking Minecraft on his oh, Game Boy or whatever. Uh, someone said that um, the reason he's there is to explain like the stone and how it works and everything. And uh, what I was saying about him, it doesn't matter that it's him. We could have had any other person do that. It being Red Skull doesn't really change anything. It's like could okay. have been Kyle Ben. It could have been a spider. Could have been a spider. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're just, just on the same wavelength right now. A lot of people looking for the Soul Stone since you got sent here in 1945. What happened before you were here? Was Warren G. Harding guiding people back then? I don't know. What do you, hey, guys, hey, what do you, you know, guys think was happening? What's the problem? You know what's the thing with this movie is that something that isn't related to its plot in any way? <laughs> I like the idea that he's genuinely concerned about this. He's like, guys, you have to, like, who was the ward of this planet? And the Russos are like, there wasn't one. And then Sins is like, that's unacceptable. Hey, the real the real okay, problem look, with uh... if this is Nazi hell, then clearly this was just his shift. He was working the afternoons. That's true. There could be several people here who commute. Man, yeah. What, what if they do? just like, all right, I'll take the shift. <laughs> what do you do? I work nights in Nazi hell. <laughs> the hours are killer, but I am dead. So, so what do you do exactly? Well. You know, I, I guard a rock at the bottom of a really big cliff and hope uh, that someone is going to take it. I what? get five Deutschmarks an hour to save up for a ticket to Limbo. Yeah, Jared, Jared. Oh, God, no, no, Jared, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Rex, can you, can you see that in the chat? <laughs> Jared. From, from Jared. 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 Oh, I see it. Jared, no. Jared, are you a top or a bottom? <laughs> okay, even if he was a top, I would not allow him to be. <laughs> even if he was a top. It's all holds a special place among the infinity stones. Why? You might say it hit. <laughs> Doesn't he That's... like proceed to explain it? <laughs> oh. My best, my best, my favorite thing is you could take that single clip and play it after like half of his clips, and you yeah. would have like. More valid criticism of but, him than he has of this. Before playing this, doesn't Red Skull say the reason it's special is like it's not it's not in a location. It's something you have to like earn slash sacrifice for. You can't pick it off a shelf. You have to, you know, do a thing. I, mean, for I, think, it. I think what he's asking is why is this the own? Why is this stone different from the other stones? Oh, we don't. Well, I mean, we don't give it a real reason for that. Soul stone. I don't know. Do do we? I'm curious though. Do we need a reason? But it does. I, I, I guess it seems a one. little arbitrary, but it's like it's a two and a half hour movie with well, all the I will say I can is accept it. Space, mind, uh, reality, time. I forget the other one. And soul. Soul seems a little like it, if you were to pick a special one. I don't know because the other ones you can actually tie to to something. I would I would imagine people would argue maybe not mind, um, but uh, soul. Right, that's how how tangible is soul. Not very. So I, I maybe that's why it's special. I don't know. Oh, Men in Black International is coming out next year. Oh god, isn't it? I watched the trailer. Why? Why? Right? Why? Wait, they're making another Men in Black too? Yes, and, Chris and Hellboy. 
Oh my god, why can't we just get like original movies that are shit? I watched the the Hellboy and Men in Black 2 trailers back to back uh, earlier today and I was very sad after both of them. That's literally yeah, I, the exact same thing I did. I was just sad. I just watched them and I was like, well, oh, okay. I, I watched the Hellboy one and I was like, why? Why? <laughs> why? Why, why, why don't you just come out with Hellboy 3 like everyone love, wants? They hired a guy with a, a larger than normal chin, the guy from Stranger Things, and then they tried to give him makeup to make him look like Ron Pillman. And it's like, why Wait a minute, that's... Ron Pillman? Wait, so... That, that's, that's, a uh, what, what's his fucking name? Dennis Hopper, is it? No. Hopper! Hopper him? is the guy in the show. <coughs> I can't remember what his first name is in the show. But yeah, Hopper. Him? He's playing... That's him. I mean, I will, I will confirm. I thought he was kind of fat. Wasn't he? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he lost weight for the role? I... Let me have a look. Lost just... weight and gained about 300 pounds of muscle. Look, his name is his, David, David Harbour. Harbour. Yeah, Very he's, fake. he's Hellboy. Jesus Christ. I like you as an actor, Mr. Hopper, but please don't do this movie. Just say no. He's already he's already done it. Just stop doing it. Just Go let it's too late. just give the the film is finished, Well, Just you should give... have asked a spider whether or not it would be good. Look, just let Del Toro make Hellboy 3. It's what everyone's fucking wanted since Hellboy 2. I don't get that. I thought Hellboy 2 was like Successful? Like, what happened to Hellboy 3? I don't really know. And man, the special effects in the Hellboy 1 and 2. So cool. But then again, that's just Guillermo del Toro, so... Um, I, th I think I'm gonna have to take off here in a second. I'm getting super tired. I've been up for a long time. That, 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 I mean, um, do you wanna, we'll, we'll try and push through a bit more of this video, shall we? And then Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah do it. But I'm just, it's, it's getting tough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we've nearly reached the four hour mark, which is, I think we're supposed to reach that, <laughs> and then we're allowed to quit before everyone's angry at us. Wisdom. But why? The stone demands a sacrifice. We've only why been going this... for four hours? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like longer than that. Oh, yeah, so That's why. That's because the time stone. Why does the soul still require all this shit? It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. This does, though. Goldstone requires so many more parameters to acquire- I guess the question is, why wouldn't it? Have we been presented anything that would suggest it wouldn't? It's like, well, the other stones. It's like, yeah, but none of the other stones is... are like the other stones. What's the power of the soul stone, exactly? We don't ever find out, I don't think. Oh, no, wait, he does use the soul stone on Doctor Strange to figure out which one is the correct Doctor Strange, I believe. It controls souls. Uh, you could argue it's just that if that's the only time he uses it in the film, which I'd have to check, it allows you to tell who the true person is? Question mark. I'm when guessing it's going to be with illusions. I'm guessing it's going to be really important for wiping out half the population. That too. Maybe. But <clears throat> yeah. So the stones themselves said, "Okay, if you're powerful enough to hold the other five gems, we'll let you change reality, move across space at will, increase your strength, and harness the most powerful energy in the universe. Go into the past and the future, and access other people's." Did minds. he say the creators of the stones? Go into the past and the future. Can you only rewind? I didn't. Know. Well, <laughs> I guess you can go into the future. Yeah, that's true. Did, um, he, did he say the creators of the stones? Because weren't they just sort of? Didn't they just sort of happen? According to the movies. He said, "During wasn't it in the when the universe was created, six st stones were hurtled across the universe." That's what he said. Yeah, it's basically the backstory of Bionicle. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I don't think anyone said they were created, but maybe they were in the comics. I don't know. I doubt but, he's gone and read something to be like, no, in the comics. You it's could different. just stop there. But yeah. yeah, but how do you read it in here? When it comes to controlling all life in the universe, that's where we draw the line. Dude's got kind of a thing for bubbles, I see. I feel like the sacrifice- Why is that a sin? I mean, I would agree that the bubbles that kind of- uh... Yeah, like I, I did say when we watched it, I would have preferred something else. In fact, I would have preferred nothing. I think bubbles are just typically associated with... Instead. Kind of like, <laughs> bubbles. You should have turned it into a rubber chicken. Yes, that would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and she squeezes it and it makes that <laughs> annoying it noise. It's really oh. fucking meta, and it's a, it's a still in package blu-ray copy of avengers infinity war <laughs> if someone said more, if... more look at chat and now i'm looking and i'm like wait what am i supposed to see 
<laughs> Jira Genesis said that your British accent jingles his bells. Oh, oh. good lord. <laughs> What doesn't Jared, Jared I thought we had something going. <laughs> so Gamora would have played now you're a trying to get the British? Thanos had been given his own proper origin film, and if we'd had more reason to suspect his love for her. I agree. Does anyone else disagree with that statement? Yeah, sure. It's like, how could you not want that? Yeah. This death is sad, until you realize that A, the Time Stone will end up figuring into her coming back to life anyway, and B, that despite all the problems since the firing of James Gunn, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was ready to go into production after this movie. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I don't know if it was guaranteed that she was in it, was it? If it was, fair enough. Um, apparently it's been leaked that she is confirmed, but she's only confirmed to appear in it, and that could be like, you know, flashbacks yeah. in the Soul Stone, any capacity, we don't know. Though something script. I'm curious about, what if Thanos had the Time Stone already? Sacrificed it, got the other stone, and then reversed time on her. I feel like the Soul Stone is smart enough to know that, that would, <laughs> you know, like that's what it's like, intended no, to do. The Soul Stone's like, no backsies. <laughs> the Soul Stone's like, wait a minute, you can't do that. Soul Stone's just like, hey, you can't do that. I feel there like the goes. Soul Stone would punish him for it, like kill him or something. It just squirts, like has a little water squirter and sprays him in the face, like, no! <laughs> Pulls out a no! Gun and shoots oh, him you got me. <laughs> What the hell happens here? He kills her, the weather gets weird, a flash, and suddenly he's in a pool of water with a stone? How and where is there any water here anyway? It's like an ice dimension with- Yeah, no, I, I agree. Since I don't know what's going on in this scene, really. I don't think it matters, though. It's like, yeah, it's, it's unusual. I was mostly just put <laughs> off by the fact that this is like the ugliest shot in the entire movie. How would you feel about that if the shot said you were ugly? <laughs> Well, I, I like am... there's a big sign on this on the moon back there that says you are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine Red Skull was next to him as well. He goes, "That's the Soul Stone, by the way. You have it now." Like, you know, <laughs> I don't even have a nose, and I think you're ugly. Thanos is like, "Yeah, no, I get it." He's like, "You have to put it and in the like glove." It, He's I like, "Yeah, it. no, I, I got it." <laughs> you should use that Reality Stone to change your fucking face. Oh. Snow? Is he not on Vormir anymore? I'm actually so confused by this cut, I suspect the next movie might hinge in some small way on it. But whatever. It's still a weird cut location change in the movie, and I shall sin it. Something's in As if he had to justify sinning something. <laughs> it's like, come on. To the atmosphere. Just one line about how Thanos or something with the stones tells him exactly where each one is would be f***ing terrific. It I agree didn't help Agreed. him at all with the Soul Stone. He needed Gamora to tell him that. So why the precision knowledge with the- Unless there's something they're saving for the second one? I mean- I, uh, Why wouldn't they have just- it's, it's possible that there's something we haven't thought of here and it's gonna be a reveal for the next part. It's kind of a difficulty when criticizing yeah, things- Yeah, as soon as Endgame comes out, it'll be much out. easier to criticize Infinity War definitively. In fact, there might be more about Infinity War that will be worse once we see Endgame. Because we'll be like, oh, so why didn't this happen? Why didn't it, you know? But at the same time, there might be stuff that's like, oh, so that's why that was like that. True. There might be stuff that gets better. The others. These ships hit the Earth at massive speed. I don't understand. Sorry, did you just say massive speed? I... Their speed yes. is very large. I don't... Is that... speed is Could enormous. you say that if speed was a number? They have... they're, they're such big speed. <laughs> oh, wait. What's, I mean, what's the quote? Their speed is huge. <laughs> From, uh... Uh, fuck, well, it, very... It, it was would from, be it was better to say, like, insane speed. It, oh! You could say massive amounts of speed. Rags, Down With Thrust said it, and you fucking pointed it out. I, it's something like, huge more, I think he said? Was that it? Something he, like He described that. something as, there was a huge more amount, and you just pause and go... <laughs> no, it was, it was Big Little, wasn't it? That might be another one. No, that, that big sounds... Little? That, is he stupid enough That's to say that? That's a big little mistake. <laughs> no, I, I swear to God, I think that there was a point where we at least... It was either Downward Thrust or someone else who said Big... No, wait, actually, I think that might have been Jared. <laughs> well, either way, huge more, I'm almost certain, is something Downward Thrust said. It was hilarious. Um, yes. <laughs> huge more to tell him that. So why the precision knowledge with the others? These ships hit the Earth at massive speed. I don't understand why they don't do to the planet what meteors that large would do, like in Deep Impact or f***ing Age of Ultron. I... you might be right with that. Sure. Yeah. And yet, they don't. They just cause little fire ripples and loud noises. This battle at Wakanda doesn't make a whole lot of strategical sense. Thanos already has enough stones to wreck these Earthlings on his own. He needs Vision's stone. That's basically the only reason he sends this army. Feels Doesn't it imply that they're doing something? something? You just answered your own question. Yeah, like, he needs Vision Stone. That's the only reason he sends the army. Pretty big reason. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. 
I, I only need this goal? stone to nuke the universe, so... <laughs> and and this is going on while he's getting the other stones. Like, it seems reasonable. And obviously Thanos is like, hey, if they're unsuccessful, I will mop up. Is what he does. It's fine to me. Something action-y to do with a bunch of our characters that didn't make the trip to Titan, and we came up with this. I'm gonna hold it open. That's suicide. So is facing Thanos without that axe. Okay, dude, you f***ing had a magical hammer made by this guy at this place, and your sister smashed it like it was chocolate. I take offense to the idea that an axe from here could defeat Thanos and the fact that it near- I mean, to be fair, I don't know, Hela could have- or Hell, what was her name in- It was Hela in the movie, it's <laughs> Hell in the myth. So Hela probably could have done some damage to Thanos, well. honestly. H-E-L-A. Hela- uh, she seemed OP from Ragnarok, really OP. And can you imagine her fighting Thanos? That could have been cool, to be honest, but I imagine she could do some damage before he uses Yeah, she could just, like, lower her head and run and, like, stab <laughs> him with her stupid CGI antlers. But yeah, the fact that she could destroy Mjolnir doesn't tell me that Thanos is immune to Mjolnir. You know? Like I mean, look, Mjolnir was, like, really, really small, but the axe is really, really big. There you go, Sin, Sin, that's one you can catch him on. Counted. The hammer is smaller than the From other here. hammer. Okay. And even, well, it's a ham axe as well. Ball. It's like a hammer and an axe. <laughs> Someone said, Hella ER. I believe <laughs> a, a hammer axe is called a mole, I may be mistaken. No, but... ham axe. It's in ham -axe. Uh, Terraria. They call it a ham axe, I believe. I was- well, when you said a ham axe, I imagined an axe made out of ham. Well, so yeah, I'm fucking with you. I don't know what the actual name for it is. <laughs> now I want- now I want ham. But if it's called a mole, that's- that's, that's- that's interesting. A mole. I believe so the it idea is called a mole. Meat. Smoked ham. Axma. That an axe from here could defeat Thanos, Axma. and the fact that it- Also, the fact that he's complaining and it's like, what else is Thor gonna do? I mean, this seems like the best plan. I don't know. Even though, you know, we didn't know about it before now, I just- what I'm trying to imply here is that Thor's alternative is to what? Not use it? You may as well try. These Star Wars-esque kid-style troop transports are super inefficient in that only 20% of their surface area can hold troops. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that one annoyed me because I felt like there were ways to counter it, but I couldn't think of any. I, was I mean, well, I, I I mean just... he's right. It's a shit design. I mean, I, 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 the problem is, it's like, well, how much fucking technology space do they need to be able to generate the hoveriness of it? I don't know. For inefficient. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm assuming because it's Wakanda, yeah, but so if they it probably. Ran, if it ran on, yeah, yeah, if it ran on gasoline and wheels, it would be more efficient. Well, these are probably faster, and they're Maybe. all terrain. How fast are they going? In that only 20% of their surface area this is slow mo. can hold troops. Also, 20% <laughs> is such a reach. Yeah, I don't think I'd call that 20% of its surface yeah, area. Yeah, it's a reach. I get his point. I agree yeah. with his point. But... Hyperbole, but. Yeah. Uh, they could have been better designed, I suppose. But I mean, the army gets here anyway, so I don't know what difference it would make. Look at that distance between the shield and the Wakandan troops that everybody, including Natasha, just traversed in three seconds. And that pissing match confrontation. Did you miss the hovercraft that they used <laughs> to get there? Well, I mean, I don't even think. This is, like, not to quote Patrick Willems, but isn't this, um, aren't they using montage? Aren't they saying, look, they walked from there to there, but we're not going to show you it? Yeah, isn't that what like, this is? You know, a jump cut. Yeah. So, yeah. I've heard that films use those. They, I don't think films have ever used those. It's only ever in oh, anime. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, so, it's, it's a fair Maybe question. Infinity War is just trying to give it a go, like, <laughs> pioneer this technique. The patient at the shield was 100% unnecessary to the story and the battle. I agree. There is no reason this takes place. I don't know why they have it. Yeah. It's, it's almost as if it's, like, a reference to how this is a thing that would happen in, like, older wars. You know, you meet up and be like, hey... They just really wanted to replicate that one scene from the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie, except they forgot that was the worst of the three. Uh, <laughs> that sounded funnier in my head. No, I'm sorry, I was reading something. Um, Florida man has sex with Pitbull in his yard as neighbors beg him to stop. I can what? imagine that that would distract you. <laughs> so I was posted on Twitter, I was just like, oh my, oh, of course Florida man. Um... The Adventures of Florida. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Mahler, it's like those Florida and Africa games from DP. Oh, yeah. 
All right, there's there's more memes too. Well, uh, we'll keep with the video, and then uh, and then we will co more more memes. Oh, good! Just what I wanted to see in this giant Marvel movie: swarms of easily killable CGI monster clones. Thanos could easily just do the job right now, but no, he couldn't. He's busy no, on he's Titan. Really busy. <laughs> Yeah, he's elsewhere right now. He does he's come busy. here he's and finish busy. the job himself as soon as he can. Come on, Jeremy. See, I remember in my video I put, uh, I, I specifically used the wording Thanos can't be in two places at once, which was apparently a mistake because in the comics that the reality stone literally lets him do that. <laughs> but, you know, this isn't the comics. There, We've not seen that ability of the reality stone. Well, that's what everyone says about he could generate resources reason. with the glow. And I was like, when do they establish he can do that? I mean... To be fair, they established that when he has all of the stones, he can basically just control like all aspects of reality. I feel like it's a fair well, assumption. This is the thing, if that's something he could do, like he can just do anything, then... But, there's, the questions just never end with that one. Wouldn't it be just like, why don't you just make everybody feel happy and good forever? You know that what I mean? Just be like that would just be like taking away their free will and <laughs> lobotomizing them. And I, I think Thanos has got too much of like a moral high standing to do that. Fair enough. We will see them address it in the second film. I am certain of it. They probably won't. But why do that when you can reenact Braveheart? They went to the trouble of showing him getting a Wakandan made but brain. How is this arm. a reenactment of Braveheart? I don't. It's just but because that, two fight. Oh, but that gun, so, I would much rather have that gun than that weird spear thing. You don't want to fire blue goop at them? <laughs> First right? off, I know how to operate a weapon. I don't know. Look, I he's got sights for starters. That's true. But he doesn't have a spear. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And in battle, so, all we really see him do is fire a machine okay, gun. And how many arms does it take to hold and fire a machine gun? I'm confused. Does he expect the arm to be firing things? Is that what he's trying to say here? I don't... I feel like I the he's... fact that we get shown it specifically means that we would expect it to come into play and it just sort of doesn't. Well, I'm assuming that they showed... It holds the showed... machine gun so that he can use the machine gun. Not only that, but we do see him use it on them. Um, he uses it to defend himself at one point because one of them jumps on him. Um, oh yeah, but I, I always thought the point wonder... of it was to tell us he's got his arm back because <laughs> he got it torn off by Iron Man. I just trying to figure out how he came to the conclusion that fucking this movie's battle scenes were anything like Braveheart. <laughs> he's still stuck oh, right. on that like, he's like, Sidma, since do you know what Braveheart is? Because there's can... nothing like Braveheart. I can explain this one, and my very expansive experience of this channel. Um, one of the main things he likes to do is compare things for the most arbitrary and sometimes like just completely like manufactured reasons possible. I remember he compared uh, the Warcraft movie to Rocky and Monsters Inc. What? <laughs> yeah, can you can you even guess why he like like he would compare Monsters those Inc. Because yeah. it's got kind of... what the fuck? Um, so... because it has non-white humans in it. I, I'll tell you the parallel between uh, Warcraft and Monsters, Inc. It was that uh, in Warcraft, Gul'dan uses humans as fuel to power his magic, and in Monsters, Inc. they use humans to get uh, scare energy from them to power their stuff. Okay. Look, know, that, just... was, that was too similar. Oh, wait, isn't... Didn't you say this movie, that movie, or something, when you just... I did. It, I, I had to stop doing that because it got too repetitive because of the sheer amount he did it. <laughs> the amount of times he's done it. <laughs> Well, yeah, all right. So I, basically, I, every battle scene is just like Braveheart. Like just like if a FPS adds ADS, it must be a copy of Call of Duty. Every moment we agree with him, it's like the next sin will be like, blah, 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 blah. we're like, oh. I, it's like the idea that the the trained military guy is using a machine gun is like that seems really appropriate. A machine gun will fuck you up. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, because I have my, I have my own issues with the the Wakanda fight. I'm waiting for him to bring them up, but uh, the ones he's brought up so far are a little bit fifty fifty with me. I'm no War Machine fan, but this shit looks hella useful, and he should just do that all battle long. I don't think he has infinite things. I'm, I'm just just gonna say as well. As soon as they open the barrier, you see War Machine just like pummeling the opening with explosions. Like they're not the same explosives, but he is. He is doing similarly effective things. <laughs> Someone yeah. said Bucky must be uh, Mel Gibson because the hair. That's true. That's uh, true. 
In order to keep the aliens from going around and flanking them, they open the f***ing shield barrier directly in front of them. And honestly, it's one of the most baffling military decisions. Uh, the way I, even when I was, I was watching this film, I think, I can't remember where it was, but uh, my sister and her, her boyfriend were watching it for the first time, and they're the kind of people who never point out anything wrong with films, they just, quote-unquote, enjoy them. And uh, it, my sister, like, when this happened, she was like, what? And I was like, what? And she was like, why don't they just put more people on vision in case someone gets through? Now loads of them will get through. And I was like, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was a good idea at all. You br <laughs> polluted your sister's mind and now she's got to... Now she's not going to let anybody even... have opinions. Because yeah. the fact that you they, see what objectivity does to a family, they they open like open section, blah blah blah, and I'm just like, oh man, couldn't you have opened a smaller section? Because <laughs> it's like a really big. I thought the idea here was that it's so that they wouldn't break through a bunch of different places on the wall. Yeah, because you can only look, you could only cover a certain part of it. You would bait them into coming out of the same one place as a choke. Which is, I agree in principle, but then you think about it and you're like, how many of them th things were getting through when you had an entire army plowing into the wall? And it was like, I'd say about 10 per 100. So if they were doing that all over the map, then you just post everybody around everywhere. So they're taking on maybe three at a time at most, as opposed to they just get utterly annihilated here by the, uh, the dog things, because there's like hundreds coming through. Should have just opened a gap just big enough for one of them to fit through well, at a time and had someone just, like, keep shooting the same spot? I wish you'd told Shuri to open and close it every ten seconds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck him up. I came up with that one. It'd be good shit. It'd be good shit. On no, films, because they have vibranium. That makes them smart for some reason. <laughs> Apparently not. Denzel started firing on friendly tanks and courage under fire. Why not leave Cap and you and Falcon and War Machine here to get the stragglers getting through one at a time and send the entire rest of the army to the back to fight the alien foot soldiers? I agree. I love how they both leap in here punching. Like they somehow know these aren't aliens with poison skin or acid blood. F there are frogs here on Earth that have poison skin. Also, say, why didn't Thanos staff his army with- Wait, so he's like- He's surprised that they just assumed they could attack these things. What else do you want them to do? I, I just find it amusing, so he's like, they could have had poisoned skin. It's like, you know what? Yeah. yeah they, they could also, have. Black Panther's wearing sure. gloves. That's true, but Cap wasn't. Yeah. That's a sin. Cap might have died. Cap, Cap, might, Cap might have been poisoned. Yeah, Cap, Cap might have died in this battle. Oh yeah, by the way, see how many there are? It's just like, oh god, opening that portion of the gate. May not have you know, been the it, plan. if Black Panther just used his silent shoes, he might have been able to sneak behind all of them. Yeah. <laughs> he should have used his shoes and his balls. And that, like, punch thing where, like, they punch him and then punch him in the same spot and they explode or something. I do think you see him using that in the background of this one. Yeah, no, he does uh, use it a couple of times. Um, say that. I think. Oh, With aliens the purple that orb. Oh, okay. Poison skin or acid blood. A bunch of whatever. If Thor can withstand the energy. Wait, of a, a bunch of whatever? Was that just. <laughs> I think he's giving up. A bunch up. of whatever. <laughs> a bunch of whatever. Fuck it. Star, okay. then what can kill him? It's almost like this movie is saying all that stuff that could have killed Thor in the other movies. Well, forget all that, because he can take the brunt of a star's energy. Honestly, if you look at all the things he's survived and all the things that come close to killing him, I can't even draw you up what can kill Thor. But I think if you chopped his head off, he'd probably die. That's my guess. I don't know. What you what could you use to chop his head off? Well, uh, he does get stabbed by Loki in Avengers. He gets stabbed by um, what's his name? Hella, Hell. I keep forgetting which one they use. Uh, Hella. Uh, I, I think more than once. One. And then you've got yeah. So th you can stab him, and you need he could have been killed in Ragnarok, from what I understand, being captured and zapped and shit. I don't know. I don't know what it would take to kill him, I don't. Because this movie really needs him to. But he is, they've always implied that Thor's one of the most powerful Avengers, right? That's always been a thing. Yeah. And he's clearly one of the most powerful Asgardians, because, I mean, seems to be the only person who's better than him is Hela. Groot finally looks up from his video game, and don't tell me it's because he cares about Thor. The movie just needs him to get involved here in a second. Teenagers do not act moody for a long time and then sacrifice a limb They're for a cool creepy back. stranger. Well, no. tree. Most no. teenagers aren't made out of wood either, but Magical you know. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, the, the problem for me was that they didn't prep a handle before doing this. Uh, like, it's kind of weird to me that he'd be like, yeah, let's do this whole thing. And it's like, oh, because Tyrion's like, oh, fuck, we need to get the handle. Look for the, the handle. 
Yeah, like, I could be wrong about this, but my understanding of it was that the metal filled the mold for the top of the axe, but it didn't feel like there wasn't enough of it to fill the mold for the hand. Oh, really? I am I am not sure if I'm pulling that out of my ass or not. That so what was I, their plan I beforehand. thought Tyrion was looking for a handle, though, because he says, like, you have to find the handle. Do you mean that when they smacked it open, there would have been a handle in there had there been enough? Yes. Okay. That might be it. I don't know. I'd just like to think that Tyrion was drunk as usual and, like, <laughs> totally forgot that he needed a handle for it. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'll, I'll do a set of a sins here, be like, how is it that a tree put wood a rope on it is able it around. to connect two pieces of scalding hot magical metal? And it's just, like, magic wood. I don't know. That's how it works. Magic also, tree he's not, person. He's not sacrificing a limb. He's going to grow it back. Well, th yeah, that's the weird yeah. thing. I don't know why he picked that to sin. Like, why would you go for that? That's something yeah, that we know he can do. Yeah, he sacrificed all of him in the first movie. <laughs> Needs the axe. Why? He's not the god of axes, is he? So oh. He wants to kill Thanos. So <laughs> well, it, it, he's, it does regenerate him, from what I understand, doing the you thing with the axe. But he does he it in Avengers, right? Guy. He strikes himself with lightning or whatever, and it, like, boosts him. I don't remember that. It's when he's, like, all sad. <laughs> because he got booted out of the aircraft carrier. I can't remember if he gets hit by lightning, but he, he has a moment where all his armor, like, attaches it to himself, and I think he holds the hammer up to the sky. I can't remember. I'd have to, uh, yeah. So now he and the weapon are one? You know, I usually he's... forget about Thor's involvement in the previous yeah, two that's... Avengers movies. And you're not gonna catch me defending that Thor makes sense. He's, like, one of the most nonsense characters in terms of limits and abilities, to be honest. I don't know what he's capable of, really. Yeah, I oh, mean, as much as I didn't really like Ragnarok myself, I gotta say, like, what was Thor prior to Ragnarok? There was just nothing to him at all. There's not much to describe character-wise. He was, uh... All I remember was when he went into the cave in the middle of nowhere with a dude to look at a pool to go into a vision where Heimdall was, like, evil or something, and then he smacked Vision in the face with his hammer, and then oh, and Vision came to life, and then he was like, I did this for a reason. We know that, that was, he's um, yeah. referencing Odin saying, you're not, the god, you're not Thor, god of hammers, but it is established that is the weapon helps with Thor. It gives him a boost. And he even says that it'll help you focus your power. You could interpret that however you want, really. I thought he and the hammer were one, but ultimately that hammer didn't matter. And he didn't help make the hammer either. My point is these movies give zero f**ks about how the magic space weapons wielded by gods work or don't work. That's a pretty no, funny yeah, sentence. Yeah, tell us the rules. <laughs> yeah, tell us what the rules are. I mean, they're not as clear as they could be. I'll give him that, but you have to admit that's a funny thing to say. It's all right. Audience applause break. How the f did Thor know where to go? He's not gonna unsin this moment. It was awesome. How could he? It's like the best moment in the movie. He hardly removes any sense for this entire film. I'm gonna like, there, there were a lot of opportunities for that, and I don't think anyone would really have minded, to be honest. Well, he's got more dislikes on this one than usual, right? Like, it, he annoyed oh, yeah. a couple people. But so I guess that happens whenever of, he takes on a movie that's loved. All of the comments are like, like, all of the top comments on this video are people correcting him about stuff, which. This is the thing, so, I think if he had better writing, bad. that wouldn't be happening. <laughs> like, he would be yeah. okay. This, the one thing that's really interesting to me is uh, one time they did a switchover episode with Honest Trailers, where Honest Trailers did an episode of CinemaSins and CinemaSins did an Honest Trailer. And it's my opinion, I haven't, I haven't looked in it, I haven't assessed it properly, um, but from my opinion of it, the Screen Junkies version, the Honest Trailers version of a CinemaSins video, the writing is so much sharper. It's just like, here's, here's uh, someone who actually has like a real, like, like a, 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 good, a good writing team behind it doing a CinemaSins video. Yeah, generally, see, like, I don't watch CinemaSins, but from what I've seen of the writing on this, it's just like really first drafty, lazy. Just not, yeah. it's not good. It's not um, clever or witty, really. Um, so, I looked at the video because I wanted to see how many dislikes it had, and oof, there's a lot, but I looked at the comments, and I feel like I have to read this one out because it's breaking my brain at the moment. Okay. Um, it's by a man called Kremit the Frog. Kremit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and he says, if the people who caused the Big Bang, George Bush, 
actually thought this through, they would have had about one million Infinity Stones just to make sure they couldn't be reunited. <laughs> and I'm I'm struggling to understand what he meant by George Bush created the Big Bang. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I just don't get it. There's there's a lot to break down from that. <laughs> I don't understand it, but I like it. Oh. You guys will like this, so, because I've been checking my Twitter, obviously, because of, uh, the memes. You know that thing we read out at the beginning, with the guy who said that I hate movies with minority or female protagonists, and that I am yeah. sympathetic for genocide? He said that I've taken him out of context, and uh, I guess a fan of <laughs> mine's- read like, it verbatim! And a, a fan of mine is like, you're gonna tell us what the context is, and he said I do his work for him, and he said that I've hurt his pride. I was like, you, oh, you have <laughs> wait, wait! You have hurt his no, pride. No, well, he's hurt my pride. That's why I've done this. Is what he's saying. Oh, done um, what? There the is stream? no context that justifies you saying I hate movies with minority oh my God, or that female protagonists. You need to read that super chat. Holy shit! Um, the Big Bang was an inside job. <laughs> 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 but that's some delusional shit. Like, as what context could make it look good that you're accusing me of? being sympathetic for genocide. Also, I mean, what context makes George Bush creating the Big Bang make sense? You know what, you've taken that guy out of context. Oof, that's fucked up. I read it verbatim. No. No. <laughs> well, Mola, George so Bush died for our sins. sins. Well, Mola, can you name a single movie with a minority protagonist that you actually like? I did in my tweet. <laughs> The, no, you know the, the no, first one I thought of, because I'd watched it recently and, and thought how interesting it was that it wasn't politicized, was um, Predator 2. You got a black lead with two Hispanic co-leads, and then a white guy as well. Look, Lord of the Rings had so much diversity. It had the Hobbits. How many movies do you see with Hobbits? Dwarves. Elves. Dwarves. Wiz elves. Wizards. Literal Orcs. wizards. Orcs. Orcs. I don't think that counts. There's a lot of orc representation, and Urukai, and Nazgul, and cave trolls, and goblins. We, we brought up Men in Black today. I actually really like Men in Black, the first one. I'm not sure about the second one, but I remember liking the third one. And uh, I know the movie's not perfect, but I do still like I Am Legend. I like I Am Legend. But then you have to, you know, the problem with this is that they might have some kind of weird thing where they go, oh, no, that doesn't count because X. Why wouldn't it count? Will Smith is like the only person in that movie. It doesn't because because they're weird like that. They've accused me of not liking any movies with minorities as leads, so of course they're not going to let me get away with it that I like a thing with the minority lead. <sighs> that means their narrative isn't quite correct. Um, yeah, no. The, the reason I find it hard to think about is because I don't think about that shit. It's like, what movies do you like with minority leads? Like, I've never categorized films as have minority leads, I just like good characters. So then it's like, I have to look through them, and it's like, oh yeah, I guess, um, female protagonists, like, well, you can just roll out aliens, like, every single time. Because for some reason people think that that movie never existed. Terminator 2 is like one of my favorite films of all time since I was a kid. It's like, oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's John Connor as the protagonist technically, but Sarah Connor is absolutely a fucking main character. Um, Oh, Last a... Samurai, my favorite character was Katsumoto. He was Asian. That doesn't count. He's a, he's a male. He's probably cisgendered too. There was fem well, there was a female in the movie. <laughs> I remember <laughs> seeing one. It was like <laughs> Kill Bill. Like, I'm pretty sure she's a girl, right? Uma Thurman's a woman. We confirm. Want to ask? Um. Uh, yeah, so tiring. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> go once he got his new axe. Why'd he go to Earth instead of Titan? Why not New York? Or Norway? Thor doesn't even know what Well, how would he exists, know what's going he? on on Titan? I don't- well, so the question is, why does he go straight to the Wakanda fight? Who could have let him know that's where he needs to go? I got nothing. Sure. Yeah. Um, but still, Titan? That's not- that's Well, a bad then the question is, like, if- he just knows where everything fucking is for some reason, then why wouldn't he go to Titan? And again, I've I, I, I got nothing. I don't know how he knows to come here. I don't know how he doesn't know not to come here. I don't know anything. They don't explain that. So. 
<laughs> you know, the best I could think is like, I don't know, the axe told him. <laughs> the axe has its, its own little internet attached to it. That's how it works. Yeah, it's got the Dustin Elysian tail rules where the axe just talks to you. Bad CGI floating head Bruce gives me nightmares. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's why it looks really, really bad. I'm not sure how to I'm fix a... it exactly. I'm going to Don't, I'm gonna don't do it. it I think it's the lighting, isn't it? It must be the lighting, yeah. Also, yeah, yeah that's... I'd... That's all good, Rex. We'll, uh, th thanks. Next, yeah, I've been up for ages. Um, Next EFAP will be the three of us playing Aliens Colonial Marines. If It'll be great. We figure it out how to get that sorted. I oh, mean, yeah. do you want to, should I do one more run around with memes before you go, just to see the ones that have been made? Yeah, sure, you bet. All right, let's have... Oh, it'll be easy. We just do an EFAP, but instead of watching a video, we play a game. Just, but we'll, yeah, we'll have to test it, I don't fucking know. It'll be really weird, but I'm pretty sure we'd be able to pull it off. Is it, how long is the game? Like, no, that's a problem. That's no, a problem. it's only like four hours. Okay, so... It's super short. It's like the, half the length of a normal effort. There's a couple yeah. of um, ones responding to the whole w wolf mouth of Sauron thing, so... <laughs> oh my god, that's nightmarish. Yeah. Well, there's another one. <laughs> that's uh, horrifying. Take it back. Kill it. Oh god. My lord, you scream! <laughs> these, these smiles, it's amazing. <laughs> the eyes, like, the eyes. Three are of black, the four man, I've man. got are all that one. But then uh, it's absolutely just, just we've we, we've got the end trees. Are coming Sarah, back you, in. you don't have the light on. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that! Wow! Wow! This is oh, the same person who good. did the three last time. <laughs> <laughs> who made, who made that horrifying sketch of the the balloon dog thing? Yeah. Oh man, we got some good artists in our community. It's genuinely beautiful. Um, what's that? Thor went to <laughs> Earth. So someone said Thor went to Earth because he knows there are two stones there. He doesn't know about Titan at all. The question is, how did he know to go to Wakanda specifically? That. He Wouldn't went to the he perfect not know spot. of Wakanda at that point? Oh, I'm sure. Actually, that's a good question. I don't think he does. Know what about does it. It? everybody on Earth know about Wakanda now? But he hasn't been to Earth for like years because he's been in Ragnarok times and stuff. But it, it either way, uh, he, it's a really good position for him to land exactly. That's all. Um, but yes, that's if you want to get going, Rags. Thank you for being on for so long and sleep well. Sir. Oh, you bet. That was really good. That was really good. Yeah, we've only got five, six minutes left. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, make sure you go buy the terrible game. Oh, it's already... It, oh, just, yeah, you I already have it installed. It. It. Oh, yeah, already, I'm already there, already, Mauler. Oh, now wow. it's your turn. You got plenty of Super Chats to pay for it. That's that's true. I, I, we'll re I'll <laughs> read the rest of them out once we get through this video. We're nearly there. We're doing it. Yeah, I'll see faced okay. extinction. See you. Goodbye, Ristrex. Solution. Oh, Genocide. But random. Just passionate, fair to rich and poor alike. You know what would be awesome, since the Death Snap doesn't discriminate, if it killed Thanos too. Imagine Thanos actually deciding for the greater good that he could even die with such a snap. But we we don't know that he didn't decide that. We just know that he survived, like half of the people in the universe did. Didn't he? Um, he looks at himself in the dream state that he goes into, as if to imply he's like, "I'm still here." Mauler the screen. Oh shit. <laughs> you see, this is what I'm here for. I'm sorry. Okay though. Uh yeah, that's um that's weird. This that you don't really know that that's not the case. I think it would have been a cool line to have in this though. Though I know that for a fact Cinema Sins would be complaining though, he'd just be like, Oh fucking convenient that he survived the snap. Like it's fifty fifty. Yeah, this is fucking convenient though. Guess what? You don't have the balls for that. With all six stones, I could simply snap my fingers. They would all cease to exist. Why though? Why a snap and not an okay sign or salute or... <sighs> a lot of his sins are just asking why. It's like... I don't know, Jeremy. <laughs> I don't know why it's a snap. But why not a snap? I don't know. Middle finger or the shocker. To be fair, I think it should be the shocker. That's true. I feel like with just the, the four stones he currently possesses, he could easily end this fight right now. Yes, he turns 
all this rubble into like bats or whatever and it's like why not just turn iron man into bats or sludge why not turn any of them into anything and for some reason thanos just doesn't and it's like mm, okay see my answer to that specifically would be um i assume he's he's trying to permanently kill iron man and the effects of the reality stone appear to be temporary from what we've been shown. Oh, sure, but it neutralizes them. So you yeah. can just walk up to him then and stand on his face. <laughs> like, I feel like you wouldn't be able to kill him once he was bat. Yes, but it would make it so that he could take these guys out much easier, right? It could be like, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Take them on one at a time with that. Yeah, Snap is cooler. Whoever's, you know, that's why he snaps, because it's I cool. I can currently manipulate all the energy in the world, reality itself, and let's not forget, control all life in the universe with three of those stones. Don't let him close his fist. What? He can't use the stones if he doesn't close his fist? Since f***ing when, movie? And um, I thought they were consistent on that. Is that not true? Yeah, I mean, it's not like the, the stones are powerful, but he does need a way to wield them and communicate to them what he wants them to do, right? I was gonna say, I thought, is there a time in the movie where he's using them and he's not doing something with his fist? I thought he always closed his fist. I think he does. And if he's if his problem with this, he says since fucking when, and I'm saying that I thought it was always that way. And then why? As for why, I'd be like, well, how do the stones know to be used versus not used? I mean, clearly, it's not just him closing his fist. Clearly, there's like some kind of you know telepathic or whatever element to it because you know he, he's able to make them do basically anything by closing his fist you know i what he should have sinned here is that he rips the uh the cloak that upset me that that thing does not deserve i didn't even notice he did that it it made me Wait. sad it's like don't rip that thing That's it's friendly so and f***ing why movie honestly for a bunch of all powerful when they're combined together magic space gems the infinity stones are super restrictive <laughs> that punch somehow doesn't kill peter so God, hang on. What? Yes. Why would it kill Peter? Why? He's a good punch, but... But he's... So would... He's super strong, super regenerative, and he has an eye and a helmet. What I wanted to bring up there was also that, um... He says the, the stones are super limited when it's not the stones that are limited the gauntlet. Like, how he's interacting with the stones that's limited, not the stones themselves. The thing that was built to wield the stones is the limited thing. Yeah. And that's yeah. fair. That was a good punch, but I mean, Peter isn't just a guy. He's got lots of things. <laughs> isn't it? A lot of people talk about how Spider-Man is probably one of, if not the most OP Avenger outside of stuff like Thor. Is he? Yeah, because he's got a lot of powers. Like, a lot of really good powers. Like, he's really strong, Spider-Man, from what I know. There's got to be a Spider-Man nerd in, in the chat who can answer that question. So I have heard from several people who really like Spider-Man that that's the case. Specifically, the Infinity MCU Spider-Man, do we have any conf like confirmation that he is that power level? Oh, well... Continuity. Not... Yeah, in the MCU, he's... Okay. <laughs> from what I... Well, think about this. The fact that he, he closes uh, Winter Soldier's punch with his metal arm with ease. Like, Peter's strong. Also, he has precognition, I guess. 20 times his weight, like a normal spider. You can tell the future he's a spider. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Stones are super restrictive. <laughs> that punch somehow doesn't kill Peter. God damn, that was a punch. Okay, this how many guy. times do we see someone, like, get horribly beat the shit out of and they don't die in these movies? Well, that's your opinion. I mean, look what happens to Thor when he fights the Hulk. Or what happens to Loki when he also fights the Hulk? A lot of people have been beaten to shit, yeah. And, well, we, we kind of just went over it. It was like, he's also superhuman, and he also has a suit of armor, so I don't know. How can all these superheroes be so emotionally wound up to make the same fatal mistake when they hear about losing their loved ones? Yeah, sure, it's within his character to do this, but I'm sending the movie that this is the reason why Thanos escapes. Hey, there you go. That's like one for one how you feel, Wolf. Yeah. And I don't necessarily disagree, um... I do get frustrated if people say it's out of character, but if they don't and they just say it's eh, then yeah, I'd bring in my other criticism, which is once we see Endgame, we will know the answer to this, but why didn't Doctor Strange just stop Peter from doing that and then they just beat Thanos that way? What happens then? Yeah, my problem was more just it was kind of cliche. Cliche within the MCU? Or like, How many times in movies have you seen this happen? seen this exact scenario pop up i obviously only this time but i mean like the whole 
someone loses their shit, and because of that, it fucks up everything. I'd have to think of some examples have, for you, I have but. To show you something. <laughs> oh god, what's this one? Oh my god. Oh my god! That's amazing! <laughs> saw this stream with no context of what EFAB is, you'd never be able to understand, would you? You'd be like, what is this nonsense? <laughs> I mean, it's been so long since we last saw Jared that there's probably people who watch us regularly that don't understand this. Myself included. Oh, I've, um, I've watched like, most of oh, the EFABs and I, I don't understand this. Oh, Pla Plas oh, Plasma Warrior said there was no other way from Doctor Strange. Come on, Mauler. As I said, once we see Endgame. Once we see what the plan was, which is going to end with some people definitely staying dead, uh, I will be criticizing this film for not being able to just do this. What is preventing Doctor Strange from knocking Star-Lord away from this fight? I don't understand. And I just then, want to appreciate it. Uh, so all this way in is Endgame to provide me a reason why he couldn't do that. If Endgame does that, fair enough. If Endgame does not do that, then... Mm. But yes, go on. So I just, I just want to appreciate how <laughs> glorious the CGI is right there. Oh yeah, the Thanos CGI so, is amazing. Someone said, I just came back from a shower and I see fucking Jared <laughs> hugging a <around>. rhino. <laughs> Mantis is thrown several hundred feet away from Thanos, Spidey reacts to this, and apparently can jump said amount of feet before Mantis lands. Well, he finally answers the- uh, Yeah, that, that seems like he, he must have jumped really fast. But, um, I feel like he could do that. But... Low gravity there, so I suppose he would have had the time. I don't know. The question I have never asked. Gravity. About what happens when a film character uses a Bruce Almighty moon as a projectile, and I've got to say, I should have asked this question years ago. But also, everybody survives the moon's meteor shower, so you can see the bind I'm in. I know we like him, and she loves him, but honestly, I mean, yeah, Iron Man gets hit by it. You get that? Spider Man dodges all of it. Which, if there's going to be a character that can dodge a meteor shower, it would be Spider-Man, right? Yeah, I mean, he can tell the future. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, to clarify again, so if Doctor Strange prevented Star-Lord from hitting Thanos, they got the glove off him, and then killed him, and then something worse happens, somehow, like something goes even wronger, then yeah, you got me. But I don't see what they're going to do to explain that, but I suppose we shall see. Kill his ass and destroy the stone, you idiots! The universe is- Isn't that the conflict in the film? What he's describing here? I, mean, I guess he's saying that they should kill them sooner, but... <laughs> but... That's precisely what is happening. Vision is actually in favor of what Jeremy is saying. It's just the other characters don't want to kill him, which is what I thought was the running theme in this movie, that no one wants to sacrifice a single person to save the greater collective, even though it's the most pragmatic choice. But if I remember from my comment section, this, uh, I can't remember specifically, but he contradicts himself with this sin. I will see if I can find something on it. Mm. If, uh... Is it stake? Not once during this battle do we see if they're making any real progress against oh, these Oh, he CGI does use that thing. Just a bunch of quickly yeah. edited fights that act as filler until Thanos gets here. That's true, but is that a negative? I mean, it's a battle. I was going to say, like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of how this battle ha takes place, but now they have to show people fighting because that what else would be happening? I don't understand the problem here. Sure, it's kind of cool to see Bucky pick up Rocket and perform a 360 death ballet, but in the end, who cares about this stupid army? It's like watching the Harlem Globetrotters beat the Washington... Isn't that the point? That we, we like it just to see all these new characters interacting with each other? Well, new yeah, new imagine if, like, at the Pelennor Fields, Rohan, like, breaches the Oracle line, and then it just ends, and we go... We skip to everyone. when they win. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's like... We well, don't need filler, what? guys. But yeah, uh, Bucky and Rocket interacting, Cap and Groot interacting, Thor and Cap interacting, they're the bits that everyone loves in, this, in the Rokanda sequence. The pack, the, them killing these random dog things. Yeah, no one really cares. You got me. That's true. Yeah, I found the uh, I found the contradiction. He uh, earlier he says uh, that there's no way Star Lord would kill Gamora because he loves her so much, and now he says, "Yeah, but they should kill Vision, even though they love him." 
Well, it, the, the, the convenience of sinning, isn't it? It's like, you'll just sin, even if it, it just, whatever happened, sin it. Michael Bay coaches both teams. After Thor's arrival where he thunder grudaxed everyone, seeing him punch foes one at a time here makes me wonder why he doesn't just keep doing that first thing. You heard okay? Wait, so he's saying that you should just activate the Bifrost over and over again? No, no, no like, like the AoE swing, that he has. Like swing oh. the axe around. Which I actually don't think is a unfair criticism. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it would, it would be boring as shit, but practically, that could actually work pretty well. Yeah, I don't necessarily We don't disagree. really know how Thor's power works, if he has to charge it up or he has to wait. He has <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a cooldown timer. Sure. Like, Notice you've copied my beard. He's only a level 60, okay? There's no one to fight for a few seconds, oh, so we can have Oh, please, fuck off. We, we just love the fact that they got to say something to each other. You can't let them have that. You have to be like, guys, you keep fighting. Humorous exchange about hair. F***ing dicks. Why was she up there all this time? Because Scarlet Witch was there to destroy the Mind Stone as Shuri got it out of vision. Jeez, lady, who do you think you are? You're worse than cinema sins. I'm not saying I like... Is he like hey, proud of himself a, for that? He, hey, we made a self-aware joke, that means we're okay, and all of the bad things that we said don't count. Yeah... You know what? Good, good on you, Jeremy. You, I wish you'd do that a bit more. But I hey, also look, it's Hellblade. A lot of hey, we're things. being lazy, but we know we're being lazy, so it's okay. Um, yeah. The Wakandan battle rhinos? I'm just saying they would have been super useful in this battle. I agree. <laughs> Vision X Machina! He should be vomiting magenta rhinos. He should be vomiting magenta computer code at the point at this point, but somehow he has the strength to stand, grab a weapon, and kill a fool. Why would we not expect him to be able to do those things? He's been stabbed, but that just stopped him from phasing and it made him a lot weaker. It didn't make it didn't like immobilize him. He's I feel like he's desperate to make this a sin. The fact that he said he should be, and then all these things, when we have no reason to assume that he should be doing all these things. I mean, you can say that about a lot of these things, like... Well, I, the, one of the major criticisms I know that he receives is Ex Machina not being Ex Machina. And this is just a yeah. really great example of Ex Machina not being Ex Machina. Vision does not come out of nowhere. Vision is not able to do this for no reason. He, it, <laughs> this whole seed is about Vision. Like, I just... Sometimes you just you just can't say anything. You just have to go. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop saying things. Computer code. Can't wait until point. we get our vision solo trilogy. Oh yes. But somehow Where he, he just runs around zapping people with his forehead. <laughs> and he meets the, some kind of guy, and he's like, "What's your name?" And then he's like, "V." And then he goes, "What's your people?" And he goes, "I have no people." And he goes, "Hmm." Oh, vision. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. We are not doing that. <laughs> To stand, grab a weapon, and kill a fool? Come on, movie. Have just 25% more consistency. Wow, really? He doubled on this as well. Jeremy. Consistency, damn Stop it. it. Holy sh! This fight between Strange and Thanos is, first of all, amazing as f. I'll take off two sins for it. Doesn't he sometimes take off like 10? Yeah, the number he takes off is pretty arbitrary, but I feel like. Yeah, you know, I remember he's... the uh, the Force Awakens trailer where he took off every sin for Han Solo. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought the, the, the 1v1s with Thanos and Doc Strange and Thanos and Iron Man were amazing, but yeah. But also, it's so evenly matched. Bring up the Force Awakens trailer, I remember that he also uh, sinned just Han Solo having something in his pocket that he didn't know what it was. It's like, I don't know what that is. Sin. I'm like, amazing. This is, you're sending a trailer. This is, the, this is what you're going to run into. You're not going to know. But like... Mm. Yeah, he's des desperate for content, I guess. So long that it makes the group fight against Thanos that came before it seem silly and wimpy and underwritten. <laughs> so Iron Man's shield can apparently withstand that? Good to know. It's not like these stones are the most powerful f***ing objects in the universe or anything. So the question is, should Iron Man be able to withstand the power of that for a few seconds? Yes or no? I think it's pushing it. I think it's 50-50, it's yeah. It's like... Well, how much technology does Iron Man need to be able to put up with that? I don't know. I'd also like have to know like what kind of energy is being shot out of his hand anyway, so... I'm, I'm happy to concede that he shouldn't be able to put up with that. <laughs> but I mean, what, Iron Man what? does lose this fight, just FYI. I'm thinking, what do we see like the Power Stone not destroy in Guardians? 
Also, uh, Matthew said it does fail to withstand it. It's like, it does put up with it for even a few seconds, and I guess Sins is saying, Cinema Sins is saying that uh, it shouldn't even be able to do that. And it, they do vaporize Ronan with that power in Guardians. And it is pretty <laughs> OP, you know? Someone said, uh, I think Robert Downey Jr.'s paycheck for Avengers can withstand a few seconds of the Power Stone. <laughs> this is very true. Thing. Cap, that's him. <laughs> man, he skipped right past all the Iron Man thing. Surprised, but okay. He skipped past most <laughs> like, of Titan. Yeah. That arrival needed some kind of narration or verbal confirmation. What? What's the... He... He's the only person who has seen Thanos, correct? Out of all these guys? Assuming, you know, because for some reason he has the memories of Hulk if he's not supposed to. Oh, I mean, what, what, do you think every purple person is Thanos? <laughs> you racist? But, you know, that's clearly not for the audience, because we know it's that. I don't know, whatever. I'm not even 100% sure of what his problem is there. I understand my child better than anyone. You could never. If we're about to see a reenactment of Spike Lee's old boy here, I'd only like to see one specific scene. The Soul Stone. I know what I don't get that joke. To. Um, I don't get that joke. There's there's a scene where she gets a little bit naked with uh with with Thanos is played by uh, Josh Brolin who is in Old Boy, and Scarlet Witch is played by uh, Elizabeth Olsen who That's is in Josh Old Boy. Josh Brolin. Yes, and those two. Have 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 the 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 um you can't see because it's just so explicit. They do things in the film, you know. He wants to well, now that makes scene. a weird kind of sense, but that's so weird seeing him in Deadpool too, and then seeing him here. Okay, yeah, they that's joke it. about it in Deadpool too, don't they? I think so. They call him Thanos. But yeah, most people oh, don't did. like the the remake versus the original, as far as I know. They do the nasty. <laughs> Stone is the only one to demand a sacrifice, so you. Wait, so was a wild bowler I expected better. Are you referring to a specific scene, sin, or something specific? I'm not. I'm, or are you referring to the fact that I was being coy about Thanos and Scarlet Witch having their way with each other? Understand its power. Uh. But the Mind Stone is the largest one and takes up the leader position of all the stones in the glove. Honestly, should anything be able to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that that's that way either. Wait, did he did he say that you had a problem with that, or did you just say it? When you said it, and then he rolled the dinger, which would imply it's either a joke or a problem, or blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> it's either something or it's not something. It's one of those two. So, hey, Honestly, I should... just said words. Honestly, should anything be able to defeat the glove? Anything right now? be able to defeat that glove right now? Let alone a new axe that we only just learned about. We um, now interrupt this. I will grant that all of the Infinity Stones in a single glove. I I feel like just the axe shouldn't be able to defeat them. But the fact that we just learned about it has nothing to do with that. Yeah, like, um, it, it, in terms of power levels, you wouldn't expect the thing that's much easier to construct compared to the gauntlet plus all the stones to defeat the gauntlet and all the stones. But, you know, it's it, they, they tell us that apparently that's how it works. It, it, to me, I thought it was silly that uh, it overpowers the glove or gauntlet. But it, ultimately, Thanos does still win. So it, I wonder if he, uh, Thor was successful, that the problem would have been, you know, oh, that's pretty convenient that you managed to make a weapon that stopped him that was way easier to construct than collecting six stones across the universe. You know, it's complicated. But uh, yeah, I don't think... How would you do that scene, though? Would you have it so the axe is propelled away, but Thor still somehow gets a strike in, I guess? I'd have it maybe so that Thanos uh, is taken by surprise by Thor? Maybe he throws the axe, Thor boosts the axe back, Thor grabs it in midair as it's coming back and swoops underneath the, the beam and then stabs him with it. Maybe something like that? Sure. Just to make yeah, us a bit more satisfied. But yeah. I feel like it's fine as it is, but the power levels do feel a little... Yeah. It's... yeah, it's, it's complicated. And, and uh, do I think they could have done it better? Yes. Of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, starring Josh Brolin as Dumblemore. Here comes the part of the movie where the snap of death plays again. Can you see how similar they are? What now? The uh, Harry Potter, uh, the Deathly Hallows, and that scene from Infinity War. I can't even remember the Deathly Hallows, honestly. I'm pretty sure the scene he's referring I'm, I'm guessing that the scene he's referring to is the one the, where the, the train station, the train like right station. after he dies. Yeah. Because they're, that, they're sort that, of. What? <laughs> That's. That, they... What? 
<laughs> Judging from your they, reaction. They did, not only do they not serve even remotely similar purposes, but they don't even look remotely the same. Exactly. I, I'm not even sure how we can tell what scene he's referring to, because I can't think of any real scene. Interesting. Game, who's gonna live and who's gonna die? And apparently it takes its time picking and choosing because all the dramatically relevant deaths wait for each other so we can see them all rather than happening at the same time. Also- I think I think it's safe to assume that these things happen at similar times, but we just see all these guys' it's not perspectives. Gonna split the screen 16 ways. The only argument he would have definitively- You took that joke from me when I- know. Oh, that's true, you did make that joke. Uh, uh, How dare you? You should ban him, Wolf. Just ban him from life. Kick V. <laughs> Imitation is the purest form of flattery. That's true, he flattered you. Which is a good thing. But yeah, uh, the only time you could say it is on Titan, where they all disappear one by one. In like, one cut, so it's just like, yeah, okay. Uh, but, again, I don't know. How does this work? How is it supposed to work? I don't know. <laughs> how, how, how fast are people supposed to turn to dust? I don't know. So his gun stays solid, but the new vibranium arm turns to dust? And his clothes do. And, and, I feel it's kind of weird, but it's, that you've got to draw. I mean, I guess it would make more sense if everyone's like clothes fell where they were well, before. In in Buffy, when vampires are in a mirror, they go they, they can't they have no reflection, right? But their clothes don't either. And then you're like, wait, what about things they're holding? And then what if they grab somebody? Do they go invisible? Like, how does this? Work? And obviously, the show never answers that because I don't think there is an answer for that. I don't think there's an answer for this either. Uh, you know, yes, you're right, Cinema Sense. I don't know how that works. I don't. I don't think anybody does. Well, it's distressing to see your favorite characters wasting away. Don't you just know they're all going to be back? I mean, the interesting part to me is that I don't know which will be back entirely. I know a couple of guarantees, but there are some where I'm like, I wonder they might kill them. I feel like the snap is going to be fully undone, and then the people who die are going to be killed off by different things. Oh, okay. That could happen, too. That is that, that is my... I mean, that is what I was assuming would happen. I don't know really what I'm basing that on, but, you know, I, I assume that everyone who was snapped away is going to be coming back, and then maybe some of them will die anyway, but the snap will be fully undone, is, is my guess. Mm -hmm. This kind of death scene is reminiscent of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, where the movie stages a free-for-all with death why are you referencing Twilight? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Stages a free for all with death galore and just show us that it was a vision. I actually know about that scene because I did actually watch that movie. Um, oh, you, 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 it's not not by choice. <laughs> I, will, I will happily admit that. Um, but yeah, they show I was about to every, say like every, you should never admit to this. Isn't it like everybody gets brutally murdered and then it's it's like the future vision that someone shows the bad guy and then the bad guy's like, oh shit, okay. I, I don't know. I don't watch Twilight. I as far, it is my understanding that it is what happens. Yeah. Um. So to death everybody and then undeath them. I guess is. I don't know why you need to compare to Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Two. In order. It's the ultimate movie humiliation being compared to Breaking <laughs> Dawn Part Two. Yes. Only to show us that it was a vision. Like a new chapter of Final Destination with sexy vampires. It has emotional impact as an idea, but absolutely none because you know it will be reversed. There was no other way. Glad you could mention this just before you waste away into nothing. I hear the snap loves letting people have final words before they go. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to respond to things like that. You managed to speak before you went to dust. What the fuck? It's like, yeah. Apparently you had that amount of time. I don't know. Geez, did Thanos move out into Camazots or whatever the fuck that was in a wrinkle in time? You know what that means! Chris Pine is gonna complete the Chris Quadfecta in Avengers 4! Woohoo! Yeah, by the way, you can't judge me for watching that. You watched A Wrinkle in Time twice, Wolf. Um, that's at least hilarious. <laughs> I don't know how hilarious Breaking Dawn Part 2 could be if I had alcohol. I guess it's a good thing Nick Fury always carries around his Captain Marvel X Machina pager with him where- Why X Machina again? Those- he literally just inserted those words, like- Hey, I need more words in this sentence. The convenience is not do. that he has it, it's that he was able to activate it in time. Because if the whole point of this is to activate... What, what does he say? Code something when he sees people start turning into dust? Samuel Jackson, he says something like... He says motherfucker. No, no, no. The 
it says something like code red or code one or something like that, as if to imply we're dealing with something that's extremely bad. And then he immediately goes for this. So, like I said, it would be convenient that he managed to get it done right before he got pooped, but it's not Captain Marvel X Machina. Not. No. Wherever he goes. Stop it. And that the snap waited for him to use it. <clears throat> We're done. I feel like you could have you could have criticized this movie a little more, um, but he also could have praised it a hell of a lot more too. I don't know. Like with his structure, I always expect him to do more of the he celebrates the really big payoffs, but he sort of you know like the one with Thor smacks down to the ground. You'd think he'd want to go like that was awesome. Ding 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 ding. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, the the sin removal always confuses me because. There are so many opportunities he has to do it that he doesn't take, and I don't know what makes the difference. He's a very strange man, strange content creator. Flop, flop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is! I don't know that reference. That no, same, yeah. I dissolved. Don't, I don't Could it be? All I've got is because it sounded old and it's dissolved. Is it like to do with Wicked Witch of the West getting melted in the water? Oh, it could, song? I think that probably is it. The. In, yeah. The green witch getting watered to death is my guess. I have. Is no that idea. what happens in that film? Can chat. What, <laughs> what yeah. was that a reference to? We'll find out. I'm sure. But yeah, that was that was that. It took us way longer than we should have been. That was 22 minutes over five hours. So that's a certainly a record. Um, <laughs> well, it doesn't help that me and Rags decided to fight several times. <laughs> Elevator music fixed it, it's fine. Um, Did you actually play elevator music for the stream? At one point, yeah. <laughs> and everyone in the chat was really happy about it. <laughs> um, I'll have to watch the replay. I'm gonna I'm a read out some super chats, and then we'll probably do our outro because, my goodness, it's, it's genuinely actually five hours. Um, Jordan Peterson is building his own alternative to Patreon for free speech. Eventually all Democrats will be on Twitter and YouTube, and all Republicans will be on BitChute and Gab. Left is going radical. Oh god. Who knows what's going to happen. That's why I wanted to st stay off that topic until we see more results, but I mean, we have sort of talked about it a lot uh, with me and Rags. So we'll see, I suppose. Uh, for Sin Sins, his describe my favorite gladiator joke had me in stitches. Keep up the great work and thank thanks for making my commute less boring. Oh, there you go. Uh, was, I've actually got um, a lot of criticism for that joke, so don't, don't. <laughs> um... Be happy. Be happy. Take it. Uh, see my super chat? I wasn't here. I've read all of them out, so I should have. I'm just not sure which one it would be. Uh, when are you publishing the EFAP law book slash grimoire slash omnibus? Um, they're all they're all ready. They're all out there. You can <laughs> you can totally do it. Uh, bets on the Artemis Fowl movie turning out like the Percy Jackson movies. That series really went downhill midway through. I've not read them. I think the. Uh... Artemis I read Fowl. the first three and then never really finished Percy Jackson. I think the Osmos Fowl uh, movies are going to start low and then continue to be low if they are continue to be made. If they are continue to be made, sure. Let's go with that. Um, hey, the video isn't on screen. Well, thank you for that. Welcome back to EFAP, Mr. J. Is that referring to Wolf? No, J. Hello. But he's been here the whole time. You left. Yeah. He hasn't been here for a while, though. Oh, but I, I was yeah. on EFAP before, and now I'm on EFAP again. I, okay, that does make sense. I, I thought they would have been referring to Wolf leaving and coming God. back. I, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. I don't normally like degenerates like Rags and Wolf, but it's Christmas, <coughs> and your channels are growing on me. We can come together to celebrate the travesty that is cinema sins. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a very beautiful message. The Big Bang was an inside job. I don't remember that one. George Bush created the Big Bang so that Kyle Ben could drink my rhino milk with Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> See, I wonder if Mark Boggio, the one who did that, I wonder if he knows where the Bilbo Baggins meme comes from, because I'm starting to be convinced that nobody even knows. <laughs> is, that, is that from the first EFAP? It's from a stream on Wolf's channel from well before EFAP was a thing. Oh. Which I is, was covering Jared before it was cool. And yeah, and it's 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 like I wonder if I wonder if people know. 
Who's your favorite female author? GQ, Jordan Peterson interview, mine is Deborah, Muck doesn't exist. Oof. Who's your favorite female author, Wolf? Uh, hmm. Wow, sexist. Let, let, let me look behind me, because I'm sure I'm going to fucking... Uh, dun, 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 uh, actually, you know what? Michelle Paver. She's, I haven't read her books in fucking forever, but Chronicles of Ancient Darkness was like my favorite book series ever as a kid. Well, so I say her. Also, Al Bernardi, if I've missed it, just at me in chat with what the super chat had, I guess. Uh, did you as non doctor? <laughs> Someone said Ayn Rand. <laughs> oh. Doctor Strange had already seen every possible outcome and letting Star-Lord free Thanos probably was the only way to make the sure they'd ultimately win. Like I said, we'll find out in Endgame, if that makes sense. Uh, cinema Sins doesn't understand cinema. I mean, he understands some of it. I don't think that he's 100% awful. Would you say that, Jay? No, I think that he has merit. He just fills his videos with a lot of stuff that sh doesn't need to be there. Yeah, and he gets a lot of stuff wrong to the point where you're like, okay... You did that on purpose then, and then you find out that he apparently does it on purpose, and you're like, oh, why? Uh, if Thanos closed his fist, it would be physically impossible to pull off the gauntlet. Uh, well, not while he's asleep, right? Or in whatever stance thing he puts him in. Just just tear the stones out of the gauntlet. Why not? Just shoot him in the head with a pistol. Can you imagine Iron Man doing that? And he just falls over and the gauntlet comes off, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just another request to look at Linkara's video. Oh, okay. He says that TFA is not a retread of A New Hope. Well, Linkar is welcome he, to think whatever oh. he wants. He's just unfortunately horribly wrong. A, a little bit horribly wrong, yeah. Um, but yes, that is all of the Super Chats. Um, oh, I, before we leave, it's we probably aren't going to pause it too much, but just, I, I think, I think we have to. I think we're obligated to. Oh, right, that one. I know um, what this is going to be. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, yeah, of course you know. I described it to you. You know what? Shut oh, up. Whoops. What the fuck? Install extension. This is from YouTube, though. Yeah? Why is it telling me that? Oh, it worked this time. Know. Okay. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Oh, I didn't know they put- I didn't know they put this audio in. <laughs> Has this been, I wonder if this has been claimed. I don't know if this is enough to prevent it from being claimed. <laughs> Pausing it every, like, ten seconds or so is probably gonna be wise if you don't want to get claimed. That's true, we'll have to do that. You're gonna pay for all the Jedi that you killed today, Dooku. Why am I Anakin? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I Yoda? <laughs> No, no, I, no, I, no, I I'm sorry, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Rags is what? What the hell, bro? <laughs> Hello, punky. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rags. Hi, Rags. <laughs> Hi, Rags. <laughs> oh. I, I feel bad that I have to keep pausing. <laughs> Oh my god, he's a queer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's a queer. <laughs> you know, I thought this was just the unadulterated scene with the with the icons on there. I didn't know that they put the audio from our streams in. Amazing. I can't wait to see what he says about you. Because yeah, a lot of this this must be the whole scene. Like I can't see how it would have been cut down. And this is the thing that <laughs> I think is some candy debate is that they're all just fucking computers. And yet they make it seem like they're different. They're all just machines that rise. Wait, are those dog barking sounds? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it, it, it's, it's Gabe. It's Gabe the dog. <laughs> wanted a PC that ran the same as an Xbox, it still would have been more. I don't care what anybody tells me. I um. <laughs> you just said you lived with your parents and they're like... <laughs> Queer. Uh. Don't talk. Brave, boy. 
What the fuck are these noises? <laughs> I would have thought you had learned your lesson. I am just not learning. Fuck, it, I don't know when to actually pause, to be honest. Uh, quoting uh, James Ralph. <laughs> James Ralph. <laughs> James Ralph. <laughs> Oh god, not this one! I know what song's playing. I covered this on one of my podcasts. I think it was before I even met you, uh, Mauler. Um... <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> it, 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 it was some cringe furry rap. Oh wait, it's actually quite loud for... Discord, apparently. Uh... I wonder if they're actually safe from copyright with how big the pictures are now. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> of Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Oh my God! I thought he was going to spoil everything about the film. So please get along and come back to him. This is so much better than I ever thought. Why have I never been made aware of this? This has been out for two months, and I nobody told me about it. I, I only just stumbled upon it. Powerful you have become, Dooku, and the dark side I sense in you. I become more. I was, I'm just waiting for a Jared response. <laughs> Even you. Uh, I don't really have much of a comment, nor do I really. <laughs> <laughs> It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force. But by our skills with a lightsaber. That's bigger. <laughs> That's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's for my what Predator a, review. What a strange quote for you. <laughs> Well, have you seen the Predator video? Like, the the kids in the film call him Asperger, and I was like, yeah. well, I guess I'll call him Asperger. <laughs> because fuck you. Kind of glad I killed Luke Skywalker, and I'm sorry for the spoiler there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for the spoiler! Holy shit, what a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> people with Asperger's also happen to have no regrets about murder. This is amazing. This this would have taken a decent amount of time to make, by the way. I know. <laughs> Mark Hamill is an amazing dude. And, <laughs> you know, he seems like a really genuine guy. Like, you're not gonna find many people like that in Hollywood. <laughs> These quotes. You can totally make soundboards for all of us, apparently. <laughs> I guess so. Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's uh. Every everyone, I'm spamming this link in the chat. Go like this video. That is too good. Wait, I mean, are you spamming it? I can't see it. Uh, yeah, I just spammed it. 
Damn it, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, the guy even um <laughs> apparently he uh noticed when I mentioned him two hours ago and he said I got mentioned on EFAP. I yeah. didn't understand any of that, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, for, EFAP for the two and, of us, this is amazing. EFAP one, two, and three, or one and two, or whatever. Like, Jared is a miracle that happened to the internet. Um, and this is important lore. Yeah, I, I can't believe that was a thing we just watched. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to wind down from that. You know, <laughs> it's like where do we go from here? Um, Dave, I can't be found. Oh, did it? Hang on, let me just get the actual YouTube link from... Go to this... Uh, link. Okay. If it, if it ever posts. There we go. Apparently. And if the links don't work, it's literally called Darth Jared Genesis versus Jedi Master Mauler and Wolf and Rags, and then EFAP is in parentheses. It capitalizes the F. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I guess first thing would be, so thanks very much for guesting, um, Mr. Sin Sins. Would you like to talk a bit about your channel at the end? Even though you've been here before, you can be like, hey, I do other so, things. Uh, I have a garbage channel where I leech off other people's content to, uh, do nothing but get views. Um, it's, it's all really bad. Um. If like you've you've heard me on uh, EFAP, you've heard me say Brian and Milk and spiders can predict the future. Mm -hmm. So if you're curious, like what actual stupid shit I say on my own channel, uh, then then you know you can find out by by giving it a click. Yeah, and I mean you know if you liked what happened on this stream today, you'll get more of it on his channel. He does a lot of um, telling c cinema sins to just chill out. You know sometimes you just need someone to do that. Even though there's a couple of them. He does do it pretty well, so would recommend. As for <laughs> dude, he even got he even posted a video called "When You Get Mentioned on EFAP." <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's literally that it's a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one scene. <laughs> we had uh, there was a super chat when you were gone, um, asking. Uh, well, I was just gonna say, do you want to say anything about potential future for your channel, Wolf? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm for uh, focusing, focusing, focusing on. <laughs> uh, I'm just focusing on other things right now. I don't really have any immediate plans for when I'm coming back to my channel. The specific thing was about your podcast. I don't know if you had um, separate oh, plans. Well, well, that's a part of my channel, so yeah, you know, I don't really have any plans for it. But I will be on here. So mm -hmm. here's that. Well, fair enough. Uh, for, for my channel, you've got a video coming Christmas and a video Christmas, did you, New Year's Eve. They're the two videos. The first one is the TFA analysis part one. All right, it's on its way. I'm working on part two. It's going to be a slow release. These things take way too long to make. And then Christmas, God damn it, New Year's Eve is um, going to be something else. Uh, but yes, you got those those to look forward to, I suppose, and I think that about does it for EFAP number nineteen. I think this is we've we've nearly hit twenty episodes, guys. And EFAP number twenty shall be aliens, colonial marines. That's very possible. I don't know when though. I don't know if we'll get another one done before the end of this year. Now I think that might be it. Yeah, it may be just like the beginning of January. Yes. So, <laughs> so Mary... said Bram Stoker's Jared. Happy Christmas and a Merry New Year, everyone. Uh, next year, there'll be... Who knows what'll happen? All kinds of things. Uh, 19 episodes of EFAB within however long we did, which means, you know, we might even hit 100 in a few years, you know? Who, who knows? So much potential. Oh my God, that'll be like 5 million hours. So many possible guests. So many everything. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. Anything else anybody wants to say? Drink more rhino milk. Very yes. Generous. Thank you all. Consult for... the spider first. That's that's just a that's a given, dude. Come on. But um. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the very kind donations, and we shall see you next time. You can catch. Sorry, obviously, in the description there is a link to the channel. This will be uploaded on if you guys want to see it past live. Um, it'll be up there in a I guess like five hours from now or something. But um, goodbye all and good night. And good luck.